thing in this heavy car. James is going to throw anchor where he's at. Welcome to Two Stands Fishing this morning. We've got the king of the Tennessee day, number two. So we had one last Saturday, got one this Saturday. So we're going to be fishing today from nine to nine to three. And uh, we're going to be having a really good time today. Got some great anglers out here. And uh, really, really appreciate y'all being here with us this morning. Guys, you got, uh, it's nine o'clock, 9.01 on my time. You guys get the baits in the water and we'll go. And we'll turn the show over to two stands here. Well, boom, boom, bam. What's up, everybody? We are live. We are live here on day number two of the King of the Tennessee. And uh, good, there's a possibility it could be Queen of the Tennessee out there. You never know. You never know. Um, so, as you can see, there's some wind. There's some damn noise. There's some. And I meant that did as. You say, a, did you say damn noise? That structure behind Ryan there. You know, I, that's, that's a dam. Yeah, that's a that's, dam. That's a dam. The dam behind yeah, yeah. Team My Bad, dude. Yeah, you go down to the dam to catch some <laughs> damn fish, you know? That's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Got to play on words there. Play on words. But. Uh -huh. So uh, we've got fields to water out here. Captain Morgan, Hooks and Hammock, Chris and Telly. We've got that fish sizzle guy and Bobcat. Out here, Ryan Bortz and Miss Jody and Mr. James and Cool Cats Fishing. Wait a minute, who fished last week? <laughs> well, it's going to be one of those days already, okay. I can tell. And, and oh, look, at, we got Ryan's dad joining us. Oh, what? We've got James waving his hand. What is it, James? That water. Yeah, we said that five yes, minutes sir. ago. Yeah, you're, you're about a minute late. They didn't get the memo. Miss they didn't get the memo. But anyway, here we go. We got Ron the Fisher for Whiskers out there. Thank you, thank you, Ron. Appreciate you coming in. Bugman 22's out there. Misplaced Country Girl. Y'all shocked out there. I was on time today. Uh, I heard the conversations out in chat. We're like, no, no, he'll never be on time. He'll never be on time. We did it. We did it. Uh, you know, we could do a pre-tournament show. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's something in the future. Uh, River Rat 3030, good morning, everyone. Great to see you. So we got anglers are angling already. Martin S. is out there from across the pond. Conversations are going. Hey, there's Captain Morgan asking for the link. He's on stage. I guess he worked. Guess he made it. Oh, man. Grab some more coffee and heat up a cinnamon roll. There's Get Hooked on D-Fishing in chat. Let's see. Somebody tell Jody and James they need life jackets on. Disqualified. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days, folks. Uh -huh. There's wind captures fever and outdoors out there. How's it going? Lisa Elliott, good to see you. Cat Daddy Chris in the house. Good morning, good morning. Rowdy Royal. Stonefly, deuce of Stonefly. Appreciate you, my friend. Uh, Dave G is out there. Good morning, good morning. Uh, thank you. We'll get the we'll get all the noise straightened out in a minute here. Warren Farley, they get it. There's our good friend. Smoke is out there. Potomac River Monsters, long time stand day member. Let's see. Wow, I got it on the first try there, JG. I, I, would, I, don't, I don't know. Who was it? 
it was I, I knew it had to be somebody by the oh, dam. So, on the other side of the pylon. So Mike, we got you muted. That's you, Mike. We crawl. <laughs> Been All kinds of action happening already. Don Johnson, how's it going? Trophy seekers out door. Daryl's out there. I only had to work with Daryl a couple times this week, so just a, just a few times. Yeah, we'll keep yeah. going. Somebody was. I don't know. That's uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He was up earlier. I don't know if he's done lives before. I tried to go over that with him. Yeah, I wasn't making great. I was making contact, but not great. Uh, let's see. There's too much water up here right now. Yeah. All right. I, I think, think we're, we're caught up. Forward to get there. If you want to try it again, we can go back up before. We are caught up there. Stand three out there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Stand three. Stand good morning, all you wonderful people and pudding. <laughs> We're up to 65 awesome people out there already. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. So we are, we are missing, let's see. Two people. No, one person. We're just missing uh, Catfish Frenzy. Oh, and wow. I didn't know that was his link. So, Daryl, if you could check the group chat and maybe kind of send a message to him. See if he's doing all right. I was talking with him. I was messaging him this morning. So, Danny Stone's saying, impossible pick a favorite. Let's go, everybody. Good morning, Danny. Good to see you, brother. Let me Dave get up here. Misses out there. Let me get up here to Chad. Hey, Chad, how are you this morning? You and D doing good this morning? Got you on full screen. Where are you fishing at? And what you fishing with today? Well, first, brother, I am great. I had to wear a hat, though. This wind is just jacking my hair up. Uh, oh, poor you. Man, you know. Stuff, stuff being as beautiful. Yeah, it's hard. But we are uh, we're on the uh, we're on the Tennessee River. Somewhere, <laughs> under close, somewhere. Uh, we're we're down here on uh, Wilson Lake Wilson. So you're in the state of Alabama. We are in the state of Alabama. Nice and confusing. Is that, and we've got skipjack. That's, that's nowhere near Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we 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 headed out yesterday morning and drove all day and well, I'm got glad, down here to. I'm glad you did. Uh, that motor looks awesome. Thank you. We, we prepped by fish going on, to fish ca on. Catfish Cabin. Uh -oh. All right. I got a fish on here, Chad. I'll come right back to you. Go off. Oh, he came off. He came off. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh Shut up. man. Uh, that, that would be a bobcat for you. That's what Chad, you get. My, ba my bad, dude. Uh, I just dude. think that uh, Bobcat was trying to take your uh, two minutes uh -huh. of YouTube fame here, Chad. Yeah, I that, know, right? He did that I'm on purpose. Sweep it right out from under him. And Chad, I interrupted you, but you were telling us what you were using for bait. That's right. I'm using skipjack. Hold on, let me see if I got anything up. Are you, you got any chicken in there? Oh, there, there we go. I got me Look some skipjack. That. Nice. That thing, that thing looks a lot like you. Go fish on, fish on, Brandon. Did it come on? Oh God, here we go oh, again. God. Get me off of here. Get me off of here. Uh, That'll be some no. kind of penalty. Come That's on. two of them now. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a two pound. Brain. That's a two pound minimum right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will take that into advisement for future tournaments. Maybe something to look look for in the live fishing tournaments. Where do I where do I file for former uh, formal protest? Yeah, you just put that in writing to management. Hey, y'all get used to hearing that. You're gonna hear it all day. Email dot com. What? Like Captain got off. Yeah, you got off. <laughs> It's like Captain Morgan's still working there. We will leave him be. It's like uh, Jody and James are set up. James, can you hear me okay? Yep. 
can you uh, can you tell the folks out here where you're fishing and what you're fishing with today? So hard today, I had to put my hat on so my hair don't get blown. Yeah, that that's a good looking hairdo. It looks expensive. We're following the kayak around. We're starting at the dam and we're going to work our way down river. Okay. Everybody and then head to head on down. Okay. I don't hear you very well. You're breaking up some. Are you using a Bluetooth? Uh, yeah, where's my, well, I kind of have a Bluetooth thing on, but if I don't, I can't hear you. So. Okay. That's fine. But I can hear you fine, right. man. We got a little closer. We got Skipjack and uh, Fresh Gizzard Shad. We got some live bluegill and we're throwing everything we can at them today. Well, it looks like you're in a, a good bit of current there. Oh, yeah, it's just ripping. As soon as, like I said, the Zizzle made a call to his buddies over there, so they opened it up so we could get off. Yeah. Well, be sure and go over there and catch a fish out from underneath their boat. Oh, this got to be, yeah, so, they got to be dropping some early flips on the pot. Yeah, I still got a wake wash. Uh, yeah. I got a wake wash one Ryan a couple times before I get out. Already. So. You stand up there and sing. All right, right, man. Well, good to see you. Good luck to you, James. Look forward to you catching some fish, brother. All right, we got Bobcat in the house. <laughs> I can see that we're going to have trouble out of this. Danny said that uh, he's not breaking up. He's just old. He's just huh? old and cautious, funny. That's funny. <laughs> wow. That's freaking yeah, right overexposing my forehead. Hang on a second. I was going to go over yeah, there to uh, Bobcat. Talk again. I just had to. So who are we gonna go to? It's all about the bait, the bait. The well, bait. we got Captain Morgan right there. Looks like he's ready. Captain, where yeah. are you fishing at today? Uh, Fort Loudon, Tennessee River. Oh, go ahead, JG. The Fort Loudon, Tennessee River. You got you got any kind of special baits that you're using out there today? Oh my God, white bass and skipjack. Nice. There you go. Well, awful good to have you up here, Mr. Morgan. Well, thank you. Yeah, and uh, Fort Loudon, uh, the Tennessee River, is that's near Knoxville, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. And uh, if you get a fish on, wave your hand, holler at us, and uh, we'll bring you up. Okay. Yeah, and for those that um, that that don't fish on the on these uh, live tournaments very much, if you'll get a fish on and just holler <laughs> fish on and then your name, we can find you a whole lot faster. We're not going to use it. Yeah, there you go. If anybody, if everybody heard that, uh, Derek, welcome. If you could do me a favor, you hey. just, when you get a chance, once yeah. you get your stuff set up, just you got to turn your your phone sideways. All uh, right. Make, make sure you're set up and fishing first. Don't be in TikTok mode. That's right. That's right. Nice. We got uh, Ryan out there. Uh, is he out there bumping? Ryan, yeah. you got yourself muted, don't you? Or is that us? Woo! That's the noise, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, that's how you think it's there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to talk to Ryan much today. <laughs> I, don't think he, I don't think he can hear us anyway. Yeah, uh, that's all. And uh, have, we, have we got over there to Bobcat and uh, Fish Dizzle yet? I'll go back up. I'm going to swap out to a four. Let me see if Ryan can hear me. Uh, hey, Ryan, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it was pretty loud there for a second. Um, yeah, that current's ripping up here to dam right now. Yeah. So you're going to do a little pumping? We were uh, asking everybody where they're fishing at and what they're fishing with today. Yeah, I'm up here right in front of uh, Jody. James right now. Okay. I'm having to adjust my sinker size and my dropper loop on my pumping rod. 
Absolutely. Well, um, for those that don't know, Ryan Boards, he uh, fished the uh, King Cat Kayak Tournament um, uh, last week. I think that was on the 16th or somewhere in there, but he placed third on that. Congratulations to you for that, Ryan. Appreciate it. Yes, I sir. Got really lucky on that tournament. Well, that's all right. We, I, I think that's uh, that's an outstanding job down there, and I. I know that uh, uh, Dustin over with Kayak Catfish, he's not giving you a hard time about winning or anything, I'm sure. No, not a bit. No. Nah, you're, nah. my, you're my hero, Ryan. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're probably in my spot down there, Chad, if you're on Wilson. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. This uh, is my spot. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, unless, unless no fish get caught, then it's your spot. Where's Chad at on the screen? He's up the top left. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, he's out in the middle of the lake. Like yeah, he's he's uh he had to put his uh bonnet on to keep the wind out of his ears. <laughs> Let's see here. We've got uh hi Mike out here. I don't know whether he's here or not. I'm gonna mute you again, Ryan. You may not be able to talk to Mike much. He's over there in that fast water right now. I came over in the slower water to re rig. Yeah. Well, you guys are pros, and uh, you know, be careful out there. I know you can. I know. I know you know what you're doing. All right. Uh, this is definitely geez. sketchy today. Yeah, yeah especially I, weighing you, fish, Ryan. You know, I know it's not your first rodeo, but uh, y'all take it easy with that. And if you need a second to do that, or whatever, make sure you stay safe. Yeah, for sure. All right, Ryan. Good luck to you. And just wave your hand, up. whatever fish you on, holler at us, and we'll get you up. All right. Let's see if we can find Kayak Mike here. He I'm going to mute, I'm gonna mute I'm Ryan. All the way over on the left. Let's see if I can find him here. Hey, Mike. Can you hear us? I can't I can't hear you very good. You got your safe. There you go. There you go. It's. You're good now. I can hear you. Right, we got you. Hey, dude. How are you? Not doing too bad. They opened the gates literally right when we got here, so the plan was to bump above the bridge. I guess we're not doing that today. Right, right. <laughs> so where where are you fishing? What you fishing with, Mike? Jib jack, bumping below Chickamauga Dam. There you go, man. Well, for those I'll that don't know, we got three out. two out there working. Yeah, for those that don't know, Kayak Mike, uh, he is a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He puts on a tremendous amount of tournaments and he organizes a lot of kayak tournaments. He uh, did the uh, King Cat tournament last week uh, with all, I think they had 11, maybe 14 kayakers in that tournament. Uh, so congratulations he, uh, to uh to uh, Mike here. He does an outstanding job with the kayakers and uh, a real pro out there. So we're super glad to have you, Mike, and thanks for being here. Thanks, guys, for having me. Hopefully, I catch one. I know I you heard, will. I know I you heard will. Mike, I heard Mike would have won that one, but Ryan kept cutting his lines, what I heard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you guys were going to talk about his professional midget league wrestling tournament video. <laughs> well, you know, he. We, we don't want to let we don't let all the stories out just yet. We've got a long show, Chad. Yeah, I've got I've got, I've got videos of Mike. If anybody wants to see any, let me know. Uh huh. That's your buddies for you, Mike. They're they're really pulling hard for you, and, and they're not offering up any quarters for you to call anybody who cares either. And let's see. We've got a uh, mom and son train rail fans out there. Welcome in. Good to see you, burrito catfishing lady. Uh, the Swains, right. they were fishing last week with uh, the Yak, so it was the Yak Swains. They yeah. did a great job putting fish in the boat. Once we go, once we talk to everybody, we'll bring up the scorecard from last week. So have everybody we gets, everybody will have get to got, see. Did you get to interview Bobcat and Fish Sizzle there? No, I don't think we've been able to talk to them yet. Every time we tried, something else came up. Hey, Bobcat. Yes, sir. You know, here. You, you need to you need to put uh, rods in the water. You know, I'm new at fishing, but I think you have to put that stuff in the water to catch fish. Brother, you only need one. Oh, is that what it is? If you're good. Yeah. Well, listen. Uh, where's uh, where's fish is the lap? He is behind the camera. He's on the back deck. He's one of them. 
But anyway, we want to bring you guys up, ask where, ask where you're fishing and uh, what you're fishing with today. We're on Nickajack Lake, Tennessee River, below Chickamauga Dam, fishing with giant skipjack at pieces. Yeah. And we are getting her done. Oh. We're in some heavy current right now. We just oh. upped our weight and letting the big motor idle to help us hold us in this current. These kayakers, I feel bad for them trying to bump this heavy water up here. Ah, uh, those guys, uh, that's that's their preferred method of being, season method of being in those kayaks. That's right. Yeah, for sure. But I uh, appreciate, appreciate you guys being up here. Uh, and if you get uh, fish on, just wave your hand, holler at us, and uh, we'll come back to you. Oh, don't worry. I'm loud. And Bobcat, while you're right there, I got a question for you. You know, you see a lot of people uh -huh. bumping and you got one rod. Do y'all ever put out a suspended rod, or is it just too much to deal with, and you'd rather just focus it's on the one bump? too much to deal with. You, there, there's so much going on, bump and stand. You've got to constantly be on the trolling motor, and we even have the big motor running right now. So you're constantly making micro adjustments to your your angle, the, the speed of the boat, the weight of your sinker, trying to stay in contact with the bottom. There is no way that I would want to deal with a uh, – uh, any kind of suspended rod. Who, who is fish on? Is that Chad? Uh, it yeah. is Mike. All right, I got him here. That's a pretty good bench. Yeah, I got you. I got you on full screen there, Mike. Call the motor. Call the motor. All right. Now the current's ripping. I'm not 100 percent sure how big she is, but. Oh, at least five pounds. The problem with the kayak is you don't ever want to be sideways with the current. But when you're bumping, sometimes that happens. I would say especially in current like that and with a fish twisting the boat around, that's got to be. Go. This, is, this one's probably 20 plus. We're good. There's Stuart out there, Martin S. Joe Garrett. Hey, that happens, Joe. You know, that's why it's called fishing. So there we go. Fish in net. Fish in net. Never mind. I'm not allowed to say that on camera, so. What? Did did you did you call uh Ryan a name or something? I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Never hit spot lock until you get the fish in the kayak. It's like yeah. a drift sock. Nothing like a big drift sock. Uh, and even when you get the fish in the kayak, it's not a guarantee because you still got to weigh it and me or put it on the board. And yep. I did not bring my rod rack today because I knew I was just bumping. <laughs> There's Mark, catfish and crappie out there saying good morning, folks. Did Chad win yet? Good morning, Mark. Fishing with Jeff Beal. Stewart's out there, and I saw I saw lovely Wendy out there. Yeah, that's a nice fish. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, now now you can hit spot lock. Tony Harrison's out there. Welcome in, Tony. Good morning, Tony. Oh, yeah, that's a good looking fish, Mike. I am in a brand new kayak, so I do apologize if, if this takes me a second. I got No, you're fine, man. Take your time. I'm sure Ryan doesn't mind if your bait's not in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self never not bring your rod rack. Uh, I didn't take into account. What am I going to do with all the rocks when I land a fish? <laughs> hey, you can put them in your uh, pants pocket. Well, if you need to make more room, feel free. Just put the fish back down. There you go. Put the fish right back down in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Next Chad, one I land, I'm going to have to land in the back. Chad said he'll give you the two pounds. He'll count that fish as two pounds is what he's saying. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do a two pounds on that one. Right, right. about two uh, pounds. Uh. 
And now the way that for everybody out there, the way that since this is the first fish, the way the tournament works, it's the three biggest fish that each angler catches. Baby, calm down. Don't be running over me. I'm going to have to land these in the back going forward. The, the bow of my kayak's trying to go right into the water. Yeah, that's not good. Nope. Come here, babe. Here you go, Woody. Now it's good to see you, Woody. Damn. All right. Oh, Catfish Sumo Hanger Hook. There you go. Well, Catfish Sumo Plug. All right. And there you go. There you go, Doug. D, your phone is looking straight. Oh, uh, so for those that don't know, the kayakers, when they weigh their fish in their tournaments, they use boards. And they they use them measurement because it's it's hard to you know, the up and, and weigh weigh a fish so um these guys are going to weigh these fish but i do not recommend you doing that in a kayak these guys are professionals do not try this at home uh so uh we're just uh, thankful that they're here but they do they do a lot of things and they make it look easy uh but you need to really work uh work on um being a kayaker for years to get to this level so just let the kids that are watching out there know this yeah, I definitely wouldn't try current at your first couple of trips out. All right, um, being being uh, vertically challenged, I don't know how I'm going to lift this fish up in the net. <laughs> well, uh, Mike, the, what you can do is wrap. flip the net, flip yeah. the net over so it kind of like traps the fish. Can you, can you, yeah, you wrap, wrap the fish wrap in. Wrap the net up one time. Yeah, you wrap it in around. the net. Yep. There we go. If you guys don't mind, I'll weigh the, I'll weigh the net after. No, yeah, that's, that's fine. You just be careful and don't fall out. And you only got to weigh the net one time. Ugh. Oh, he's a lot bigger than I thought. It ain't locking, but it's saying 36. So can I say like 35 and then I'll weigh no. the net? Absolutely. Yeah. 3.5. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. No, just going to do it one more time. This is the first time I've ever weighed a fish in a kayak, so forgive me. Yeah, well, you need to be careful, and we appreciate you going through the effort. Oh. All right. Uh. Tired Rick's out there. How's it going? I feel like my shoulder's taking weight away from me. I'm going to do this one more way. Yeah. Mike, if you flip the net, flip the actual metal part of the net, just turn that towards you. It makes kind of like a cradle for the fish. Oh, wait, hold on. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Oh, right when I got it, it turned off. <laughs> yeah, roll the net. There you go. <laughs> well, this is good. Stan three saying someone on a boat show him how to roll the net for the next time. <laughs> I'm glad I brought two of these. That, that one's broke. Lovely. There, there's a good tip though, Mike. When you good tip for everybody out there when you're in a tournament that is requiring you to weigh fish, it's a good idea to have. Like James is waving his hand here. You got a fish on there, James? No, but I was gonna say he's right there. We could go help him weigh that fish if he would like. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> if you'd like us to, we'll roll over there. If you if you would like some assistance with that, Mike, uh No, we got it. Hey Mike, I'll bring you a lollipop if you need one. And a rattle. All right, I knew my shoulder was taking weight off of it. It said 38. I'm going to weigh the net right now. It's probably, The net's probably going to weigh two and a half pounds. Okay. So you're going to 38, and then we'll take, and we get the tear. Yeah, look at the size of that head. That's definitely 38. Oh, yeah, that's a it's, nice fish. There we go. All right. Definitely. See you later, bud. Thank you for being my first fish I ever weighed in a, in a kayak. Please. 
It's a darn good one, man. You should try and start smaller next time, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> good tip, D. Good tip. All right, I'm it's away from that guy. The net's two and a half, so we'll call it, what, 35 or whatever? 35.5? There we go. Okay, that works for me. All right, you don't have to weigh the net anymore the rest of the tournament, Mike. But now when uh, when somebody in a boat gets a fish, we'll show you what we were talking about with the net, and that'll probably be a lot easier weighing it next time. All right, I got 35.5. That's what I got now. I'll be right back. Stan, you want me to show him right now? Yeah, let's right, do that. All right, Ryan, I'm going to take a nap. All right, we got the one in there. Got me? Yeah, I got you. Yep, so once the fish is in the net... Just flip your net over like that. Fish is cradled inside the net, and now everything's compact. Uh, thank you. Works better when there's a fish in it. Yeah, but that's then really all you're doing. Then the net's not touching you. It's, yep. uh, and it's a lot it gets shorter. everything out of the way. You flip that over like that. Flip that over, and everything's straight up and down. We'll just catch smaller fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's another option. <laughs> now I have the uh, I have the Catfish Sumo logo up on my screen. He has uh, sponsored the winning belt for this tournament. So uh, much much uh, appreciation to Daniel Catfish Sumo. Uh, those guys have some great tackle. You go over there and check them out. Uh, and we'll see if we can't find you a code. I know that uh, these guys have. Some uh, some pros out here that um, that are sponsored by Catfish Sumo. I'm also going to bring up a scoreboard here uh, that has uh, from last week, and y'all bear with me a second here to get that scoreboard up. So uh, I'm going to let Stan take the uh, scoreboard and kind of explain what you're looking at here and what we're shooting for today on uh, uh, who the winner will be determined for the King of the Tennessee after this tournament is over. All right, so there we go. So this is uh, day this is day one here. Uh, as you can see here, up in the the blue and the red up on top, uh, that was their three biggest fish. So if you go all the way over to the right hand side, Ray Ferguson uh, was the winner of day one. He ended up with uh, his three big fish was ninety five point zero two. He had a thirty two and a half pounder, thirty two and a half pounder, and just under thirty pounds. Uh, Pontoon Jody was second. She had the big fish of the tournament so far with a 62.89, just under 63 pounds, and then uh, just under 17 and a five pounder for 84.43, uh, followed by Yak Shore. That was the Yaks and the Swains, 74.35. Three pretty consistent fish, 28, 26. I'm going to go down to the bottom here, and that is... That's the uh, total weight all the way across. So it's only your three biggest fish. But as you can see, Ray caught 212 pounds of fish. Uh, the Yak Swain's got 118. All those numbers there is uh, the amount of pounds of fish that each person caught. And if we scroll to the right, it was 552.63 pounds caught on day one. So uh, what we're shooting for is... First, second, third place. So now here is day two. So far we got kayak Mike with 35.5. And uh, that's the one fish caught so far today. So we are only 35 minutes in. So we were averaging almost 100 pounds an hour last week. So we have about 65 pounds to go this hour. Absolutely. And... If we can go to the last screen, 
We also have one more section of the scorecard, which is the overall. And that's the rank overall, both days put together so far. So obviously, uh, it's just starting on day two. So, But that fish, that 35-pound fish. Is... Oh, I'm sorry. You see next to overall weight? This is something I didn't get a chance to do with it yet. There's a to the right of that. There's a little click that, and then there we go. So we got kayak Mike. That put kayak Mike. That one fish. He's already in sixth place in the tournament. So yeah, JG. After we put the fish in, you got to go over there to that page and uh, hit that. You hit that one every time, and then it resorts it. I'm here all week. (laughs) I I didn't get to talk to you about that, but that's it. Yeah, you did. So thank thank you. So there we go. So if anybody's got questions on how the score is going or what we're doing there, that's what we got there. Uh, Catfish and Dreams is out there. Great to see you. Yeah, we've got, um, is that uh, Chad and D? They have on uh, their... uh, Looking good. Jerseys and uh, hoodies and all kind of stuff. Let's see. Hey, Chad, can you hear us? Chad, can you hear us? We'll come back to him later. Yeah, yeah a little busy. Hold on one second. Oh, I'm, oh, no, you go ahead. Take your time. Do your, do oh, your you're thing. fine. Fishing is first. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go down to D on the bottom. That's uh, Derek, right? Yeah. yeah hey, what's going on? Here a little bit. And Derek, if you get a chance, were you able to turn your phone before, or it just kept doing something else? Uh, so I just I uh, hold on one sec. So I, I broke my stand when I went to uh, Swiss it. I'm up here. Oh fishing, no! Uh, oh no! I'm up here fishing down below Ryan and Mike, and I was trying to adjust the, the stand because I remember you saying something, and I, uh, I, uh, snapped. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so well, I am. It's it's gonna be different. So it's all right, man. I just want One. to concentrate on fishing. If you get a fish on, get, yeah, do the best you can with it. Ryan's not catching any fish, so we'll just get him over there to be your cameraman. How's that? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm really. I'm just. I'm right over here, probably about I don't know, 150 yards off him. I I plan yeah. on just destroying his day. I'm, yeah. I'm right, just let Mike seize the day, and then if Ryan has a bad day, then I'll be all right. There you go, man. We well, appreciate you being out here. Oh, and do you have a uh, do you have a channel? Do you have a YouTube channel? No, sir. No. No. Sir. Okay. Mike Greenwell was uh, saying, "Let's go, Derek." Before, yeah, no, I fit. Uh, I'm so I'm from Mike's area, uh, so there, I fit there. with Mike a little bit, and uh, yeah, so we there really everybody in that area roots each other on, man. That's the way to oh. do it. That's the way to do it. And uh, just so everybody knows, all the amazing anglers up here, their link is out in the description for those that that do have the uh, channels. Their links are out there. So uh, please consider uh, checking out their channels. Does Bob have a fish on? Uh, Bob, you got a fish on or you hung up? No. Uh, and there's uh, Brian B. has joined us out there. Right. Of course, you know, you know Brian. He's, he's, gonna, he's saying, let's go Telly and BFFD. Yeah. He's pulling for the ladies already today. Fishing with Big Mike out in chat. How's it going? Dustin made it in. Team Stag and Whiskers. Dustin, great to see you. Good morning, BFF Brian. <laughs> and Deeds, great to see you out here today. We're we're just waiting for you to get that uh, fish. We know that uh, you know we took a poll and it was determined that Chad actually does have a shot. You're in the boat, so. <laughs> So I hope that's true. No wind <laughs> fighting against this but There you go. Well, um, imagine uh, imagine fighting that wind in the old boat. So uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we just said uh, we're not going to make it. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's saying is this ain't the worst conditions on this lake that we've been in, in, in on that old boat. That, well, there you go. <laughs> I still remember the trip here on the James, and we had about two inches of uh, water clearance from the river to the top of the boat. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we made it. That now, uh, let's see. Tony Harrison, what's the rod limit today? Looks. Somebody looks like a CatCon booth out there. Well, they look like the CatCon booth, but he's only using one rod. We've got uh, several people today using the one rod, the bumping method, which is, uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to go over that a little bit today. Uh, basically, it's a, a way to get your bait in oh. front of a lot of active fish. You're keeping your bait ticking along the bottom, which... Uh, not necessarily directly right on the bottom. It could be in that first foot or so. That's, you know, their feeding zone. And you're keeping contact. The bait is ticking off the bottom. So it's moving downstream pretty much as naturally as possible. And it's going to get in front of a bunch of fish. And you just hope it gets in front of the active ones. Uh, retired yeah, Rick. Go ahead, Stan. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, retired Rick's out there. Dave B. I got a little behind the chat. No rod, no rod limit. We on the Tennessee. Good to see you out there, Big Mike. Yeah, uh, what I was going to say was uh, Kayak Mike here. Um, uh, you can go subscribe to his channel. He uh, just put out a couple of videos uh, about bumping, three ways to bump, and then he did another bumping video and caught the fish. Uh, if you get a chance, go uh, subscribe to Kayak Mike. Subscribe to all these folks' channels. Here. Uh, they're all out in the description of the video here. Uh, go check all those channels out. But um, um, bumping is uh, really, really something that these kayakers are getting into. And, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm about to kill my motor. Well, you weren't behind it. I'm going to mute Mike there. But go ahead, Stan. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. I was just uh, looking back here to see what we got going on. My hair roller. But, yes, that's, uh, you know, it's one of the, the ways. I haven't done much bumping yet. It's one of the things I, I would like to do. Uh, you know, we do a lot of suspending, uh, drifting, dragging, all those methods like that. It's basically keeping your bait moving and it's getting it in front of more fish. And, uh, you know, there's, there's different theories of thought on it out there. Uh, it'll catch a bunch of fish and big fish, but some people think anchored is, uh, you know, to catch the absolute biggest fish in the waters, a lot of people believe it's it's going to be anchored. So over the next couple of years, as these methods become more popular and more people are doing it, we'll see how many hundred pounders are caught bumping and drifting and dragging. Oh, absolutely. And then it's going to be a, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to watch these guys and these kayakers do this stuff. It's uh, phenomenal how they can land these big catfish in these kayaks. I know that uh, Stan's son, Stan 3, uh, used to fish out of a kayak a good bit. And he may still do, but uh, it is amazing how these guys get out here, maneuver around in these kayaks, and land these big catfish in these kayaks. Uh, it's, it's exciting. Dude, and I know that uh, Stan 3, Dan, I know, I'm sure Mike and, and Ryan, and uh, they'll, they'll sleep on the kayak out there on the river. Like, uh, Oh, no, surely not. Oh, yeah. small water charters in there with a dollar ninety nine. Here's the bumping. <laughs> boom, and, boom, bam. And with a dollar ninety nine, we'll do a uh, quick one here. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> thank you, thank you, small water. Appreciate you. Make sure y'all check out our good friends, small water charters. Yeah, he's a guy down there in Okeechobee in Florida. Captain's really good out crispy there. fisherman, he and his wife, Lydia. 
go check his channel out. He's awesome. Absolutely. A lot of fun. <laughs> he might be almost as crazy as I am. Really not. <laughs> I believe so. I believe so. I've seen, I've seen some of his. He just dropped a short about uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, you got to check that one out. That one's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, Dustin with Team Snagging Whiskers in the house. Good to have you in here, Dustin. Thank you. And uh, we were talking about small water charters. Been talking with him about bass fishing, so just wait. Just wait. I'm going to put a six-pound bass on, all thanks to him. That's coming up here shortly. Uh-oh. <laughs> Man, we got another... That's from Catfish and Crappie. Thank you, Mark. Here's the 222 plus 10. That's enough for two six packs of Mountain Dew right now. Thank you, thank you. (laughs) We appreciate that. Small Water Charter saying, go watch our newest video. We do a bit of dancing. Yes, sir. I feel like dancing, yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, Chad, I know Chad can sing that. That's right. You that's right. It. Yeah, you know, you, you can do the Leo Sayer, man. Lake is a mile and a half wide, and they literally were 30 yards from it. <laughs> Bass fisherman. Oh. Yeah, there's a bass tournament down here. Dan three said, "Be cool to have everyone stand jig when the music comes on." Hey, we're working on it. We're working on it. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's a uh, surprise rule on stand day coming up. You never know. You never know. You guys are gonna have to do a little better on it. Oh no, I guess if it's a surprise rule, it's a surprise rule. Uh, you don't yeah, know. You know what? We're trying new things. That was one of the things Stan 3 came up with. Okay. You? Hey, let me get Chad back up here. Yeah. Hey, Chad. Sorry, dude. I was Woo! trying to flip hey, us around got... and throw an anchor and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, so let's talk about those jerseys you and D have on there. I mean, those big hoodies, man. Those look nice. Oh, we got we got the jerseys on too, bro. Uh-oh. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in here. Yeah, look at that. Yep, the site gun. FOA Customs and Gear. Made by Catfish. I wear mine everywhere. That looks good, Chad. This thing sucks. It's just irritating. Looks like you got all matching rods there. It even matches your jersey. Yeah, is that, that's called fishing with style, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, it's awesome. That's right. Be styling and profiling, bro. Yeah, Chad kind of- quit. Chad quit uh, school because they had recess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, bam. There's yeah, those are our black horse rods. Yep, we got the wow. you know, black horse rod D got me for Christmas. Mm, that's and a- then we got two rods that we're testing out. Yeah, you can get them black horse rods at Walmart, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That would be enough. Spend some, spend some time at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite place to shop. Uh, JG, I'd, if I was you, I don't know if I'd come into Catfish Weekly on Monday night. Uh, well, I don't know right. how Wild Lyle is going to take that comment. I, I go over there. They never acknowledge my presence anyway. <laughs> Kevin said he's uh, tuning in from LaGuardia Airport. Yeah, Kevin's New traveling York. to Colorado to go see, um, go see some family out there. He and his wife and he was up on the, uh, our show last night with Cat Chat, and was glad to have Kevin, and glad to see that uh, he is uh, making his way over to Colorado. Absolutely. We were talking about the Live Fishing Tournament League that's going to be kicking off soon here. Yeah, I'd like to bring that logo up, too. Let me get that pulled up. April 6th, the first one. Hey, there's Queen Catfish and Tanya Hollis in the house. Good to see you, my friends. Johnny Small Peppers out there. Yeah, here's the the, uh, live fishing tournament league logo. It's a good looking logo. (laughs) Mr. John Parker to find that. What the score be so far, Kevin, is 35.5 for Kayak Mike. He's currently in sixth place. 
I'll bring that up for you, sir. First place today, Kevin was asking. Yeah. There Here you we go. go. It's so the there it is. Top There's three, three biggest fish. We're shooting for over 95 pounds today for the for a winner. We got Mr. Ryan uh, Ray Ferguson with the 95 pounds of fish last Saturday. Great to see everybody. 95 awesome people watching. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate everybody coming in. Nightbot is reminding us, you know what? It's always sunny on Palmetto Island. Just ask Uncle Jeep. Now, this tournament is not part of the Live Fishing League. That tournament will officially kick off April the 6th over on Brian B. Catfishing Channel with a no tournament. Here's some uh, some crazy stuff going on over there with Uno <laughs> card. And you, you guys tune into that for you just never know. The man is telling me last night that you could win this tournament, not even catch a fish. Is that and that's the that's the what yeah, what, I, what I believe if you pull a reverse card right you get the uh, fish that was caught before or isn't that something we we'll have to figure all that out but that uh, Chris and uh, Telly that's on screen with us here with um, hooks and hammock uh, they actually are the ones that came up with this Uno tournament. Yeah, we did come up with the Uno tournament, and we did told Brian about it, told him to run with it. Yep. So we've the got, uh, we've got lots three of... rods going right now. None of them are hooking up. Are you getting small bites? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're getting some small fish coming through. We had a really nice takedown. I mean, it went down real slow, and it stayed down. Until he reeled down on it, and it popped out. Wow. But uh, <laughs> you still got us on full screen? I can put you back up there. Well, I'll just go while we're here. I'll tell you where we're at. Yeah, go ahead. We're on Windy Jack, part of the <laughs> Tennessee River. We're in the part of the part of Nick and Jack that they call the wind tunnel. <laughs> uh, actually, we're on Nick and Jack in the gorge, the gorge, and it is a wind tunnel here right now. I don't know. If oh. We've got the we've got the hair curler on. I hope it's helping. Yeah, yeah, you sound good. tremendously. I'm glad well, you brought that up. Wind is crazy, crazy bad down here right now. We're you can actually feel. We got the bimini up because it started to rain a little bit. You can actually feel the boat move when those gusts come through because oh, of the absolutely. bimini. Well, just be careful out there. I know we're supposed to get it. They're, they're calling from 10 to 20 mile an hour, but, you know, yeah, well, 30 the current hour. is actually going that way. Yeah. What little bit of current there is. And you can see that the boat is facing the other direction Well, mm -hmm. because of the wind. So we're just spot locking and dropping baits. We'll, we'll, every 20, 30, 40 minutes, we're going to move a little bit until we Absolutely. find the fish because it just, the conditions aren't going to let us do much other than that. Well, we really, really appreciate you guys being out there, Chris, uh, and um, uh, you guys are awesome, both you and your wife. And speaking of that, we got the boom, boom, bam, four ninety nine from Stand Three. Oh, man, thank you, thank you, son, and. He said that is for all the anglers dealing with those rough conditions out there today. We don't like to rock, do we, Stan? Look at here. I'm, I'm even learning to twirl the drumsticks. That man is awesome. Oh, and you know what? We never did before. The things you do. Yeah. We never do. We never. We forgot to do the cowbell for that big fish that Mike caught. Yeah, I'm slacking. Enough, no, I'm trying to pick it up here. Uh, let's see. Harold's out there. Great to see you, Harold. So thank you, thank you, son, with the four ninety nine. I do. I agree, Knight. But I, I agree. I age like a fine wine. Isn't that something? I like that not Nightbot guy. He's pretty cool. We got Dagondi. Dagondi Outdoors out there. How's it going? <laughs> That'd be dog and I. 
But we're oh, yeah. sticking with the Gandhi today. <laughs> it just sounds cooler. It does. <laughs> and I wanted to bring up, uh, you know, Chris was talking about, we heard how clear his sound was. Thank you, thank you. And uh, here it is. This is the, this is that foam hair curler that he's talking about. You get a pack of 10. You get a pack of 10 at the dollar store for $1.25 because nothing's a dollar anymore. But you just take it out of the plastic. You take a knife or scissors. You know, I should probably be using scissors because just that stand three, it's not a fishing trip until I almost cut a finger or something off. But you just uh, run your knife or scissors through it. You make a, make a slit down the one side just like that. You pop a hole directly in the other side. Yeah, that's for your power cord. And that's for your power cord. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove mine and see if you can tell a difference. And then you slide it over your microphone part of your phone just like that. And, and totally that blocks does, the wind. It really helps with uh, live streaming a lot. And let's see here. You want me to remove my curler so you can see the difference? Yeah, uh, let's give that a try if you don't mind. That's a great well, idea. Well the wind the wind just died down a little bit now. But. Oh. <laughs> the wind curler is off now and the wind died of course well, well we'll give it a second you know i'm sure the wind will be back and they said that's what the weather's going to be doing there for y'all is uh gusting it's going to be gusting and then it'll die off and then gusting and die oh, off oh, oh, oh. i didn't i didn't finish the word you did not <laughs> you did not <laughs> Um, I, I, I thought we had a number of the year. I thought something I've had, a, I've had a good hit every walk so far. That's awesome. All right, I'm putting the curler back on, sitting down. That wind's cold. Yeah. You can hear, we, we heard the, you can yeah. hear the gusts. It definitely makes a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Burrito is asking me if we can ask Captain Morgan if he got the, did he get the did anchor he needed off of the boat? Did he get an anchor there, Morgan? No, no. You didn't get Lisa Swain's anchor. No, I didn't. I just went ahead and used mine. There ain't no wind out here that much now. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, she said you can get it off the boat if you need it. <laughs> Dude, right I'm now. Only one. I'm barely moving. No thanks, anyway. Them Swains seem like some pretty good people there. It was fun watching them fish with the yaks last week. So for we got ninety nine lost people up there. Hey. For those uh for those that are just coming in, I'll bring the scoreboard up. I think it took forward. So right now we have uh Kai Mike and Lee, thirty five point five pounds. And we're still waiting on the other anglers to hook up. So, you know, yeah, you one, the front cut through two, uh, a lot of rain last night. So uh, we figured the bike might be kind of tough today. Uh, kayak Mike's out there bumping. We've got people drifting. We've got people in the spot locked and anchored. We've got, the two corners got all here. kinds of different types of fish. Oh, <laughs> and now as... As it starts getting a little later in the day, I think that it, you, we might see some uh... more wind. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the action is going to pick up a little bit. You want, you know, when you have the tough conditions and the cool weather, and we got another boom, boom, bam, JG catfishing Ed J. He fished last week with his son Cole. Yeah, he did a great right. job. He and Cole uh, were out there fishing. That was awesome. Good to see those guys. We we'd even commented about Cole like he may have been on a fishing trip or two. That's right. That's right. He but, definitely uh, knew what he was doing. And uh, yeah. so, we'll, with that being said, we'll rock it out here one time. Appreciate thank you, that. thank you, Ed. We appreciate that. And uh, Ed is uh, in charge of the uh, Operation, Operation Vets, Vets with Nets in Tennessee. Oh. I know yeah. uh, Daryl is there, part of that group, and. Uh, John, Catfish Hunters. So uh, if I highly recommend getting involved. 
check out OperationVetsWithNets.org. Trying to get the uh, word out about that. If uh, you got one over here on you're a side. veteran in need of a trip that can't get out to the water, this great organization gets vets out on the water again. Uh, so check them out. Make sure you check out the website. If uh, always looking for donations with that, and also if you're an angler that would love to do that in your area, bring some. Uh, you, know, you would like to bring some veterans out. They always looking for volunteers that are willing to do that. So. Operation yeah. Vets with Nets. Make sure you check we're out. Gonna, that. We're gonna move. All right, all right. Hey, we got double hook angling out there. Eddie G's out good there. How you right? doing, Dave B? There's our good friend Buck Williams. That's make, sure you, make sure you check out Buck on uh, Facebook. Huh? I know, maybe. Make sure you check out check out Buck on Facebook. He does some uh, a funny, funny stuff out there. Let's see. I'm gonna bring up the Catfish Sumo logo here. They are sponsoring the that company is sponsoring the belt today for the uh, King of the Tennessee River. And this is a wrestling style belt. And I saw my good friend. There's Dave, double hook angling. Make sure you check out his channel. Looks like we I got, got my... fish sizzle and Bob here with the boat spinning around. They look like they're going around and around with the rods here. I don't know what all they're doing. Oh, that's a good question. Uh -oh. they, look like going, they look like they've got uh, some stuff going on here. Fish sizzle, did the, did the, um, <clears throat> did the troll motor let go or what? Yeah, I think it just turned off in this little. History, I think we go to Ace Creek. Man. Like a secret technique called the uh, 360 no bump. Why? Good. It's kind of advanced level stuff. Yeah, I noticed y'all were getting into a little chaotic action there. I didn't know what happened. I knew that uh, Cool Caps was fishing the other night live, and he had out about eight or nine rods, and his uh, trolling motor let go. And uh, he had a big old tangled mess up for a while, and he's out there by himself. So we've got uh, Daryl is out there asking if are any of the anglers using the catfish sumo mono or braid? Uh, Mike's trying to talk. Let me see if I have him muted. Mike, I'll are you using that. catfish sumo stuff? I'm using the direct contact braid. There you go. And so far, it seems to be working. You're in the lead with 35.5. Brian B is saying advanced bumping. Hunting stuff is out there. How's it going? And also with double hook angling. Oh, uh-oh. Go to, go to Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, you got a fish on? That looks like it could be a big one. Might be a decent fish. You don't you don't think it's a, you don't think it's a stick or anything? Dang near ripped that thing out of his hand. Yeah, this is a good one. Well we got your full we got your full screen, Ryan. Oh no, it ain't that good. Just stand three. Stand three, saying, "Let's go, Ryan." Now, uh, Ryan is in the uh, has the opportunity today, and so does Bob Cap. But Ryan has to be has the chance to be not only the first two time champion, but a consecutive champion. He currently holds the belt. Uh, Bobcat has also won the belt. I believe uh, Bobcat was the uh, inaugural winner of the sumo belt. So Bob's got a chance to be the two-time, two-time champion today also. Danny said, Ryan's not giving that belt up without a fight. Mm -hmm. Daryl's saying, it's a big one. Trust me, it's a big one. It ain't that big. 
It's a whole lot better than the one you don't have. Yeah. Greenwell saying. Greenwell is saying to tell Kayak Mike, watch how a professional does it. I just went between Mike, Derek, and uh, James. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I knew that was going to be a stand three thing. Eh, it's all right. It's going to be like 30 pounds. Yeah, stand three kits is 20 pounders. And he was like, oh, I didn't even get a video of it. <laughs> Ryan looked like one of those old mannequin robots from a store window <laughs> pumping. What the fuck? Oh, I don't play no games with them, that's for sure. <laughs> I see uh, Mr. Ryan's got on his uh, muddy river catfishing hat. That's one of his hats. And I'm really, really glad for uh, Chris Flores and his family. They were able to uh, get that river back up and running down there. They had shut the water off to that muddy river. And uh, they were able to uh, get the, the water back on down there. All right, here we go. Seventeen nine. All right, and uh, what you want to weigh the grips? You think or two ounces, point two, and you won't have to weigh those the rest of the turn. All right, let me get the fish back in the water yep, first, yes, and I'll sir. weigh those. Yes, sir. That was the catfish sumo hangry hook as well. Hangry hook is that like a hook that's hungry, and it's yeah. called hangry? That's when you get really hungry. You be careful, Brian. Oh. Don't come out. <laughs> Sit down. Good looking fish. Stand three is saying, let's go oh, Ryan. Oh, he team. got wet. Got me wet. Stand three is saying, let's go Ryan, team monster rod holders. Yes, I'll, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll get all that cussing done for you, Ryan. Freaking, 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 freaking. Oh, I had the thing zeroed out already with the grippers on it. So. Okay, cool. Perfect. So seventeen nine. All right. I'll get that in the score sheet, Ryan. Good job. And I'm sure James is cussing you right now. Nothing to it. Yeah, that was literally like he had to roll up one of his lines so I could get through <laughs> with that fish. <laughs> that, James just loves that. Yeah. I uh, that's right, right. under his boat. Greenwell saying Ryan, unlike Mike, is definitely not vertically challenged. <laughs> And, uh, yep, two stands fishing, now part of Team Monster Rod Holders. Uh, Trophy Cat Outdoors saying Ryan's also part of uh, Team Catfish Sumo. You got a score update here for you real quick. Officially, unofficially part of Catfish Sumo. <laughs> so there we go. There's the score update. The kayakers are in the lead. We got Kayak Mike with a 35.5. Ryan Bortz with a 17.9. So we are up to uh, two fish for today. 53-4. Uh, it's going to get loud, guys, if you want to mute me. Yeah, I'll mute all you. Right, all right, all right. See, I told you James is getting mad. Now he's blowing down the river. Was that, uh, who was it that said it was about to get loud? Was that Chris? Ryan. I got him. Oh, Ryan. Ryan said, all right. Gotcha. We got gotcha. you. <clears throat> James, James, uh, rolling down the river in the huge crack. Nice. Roll in. He got Roll the Golden in. Year Golden Whisker Award. Um, rolling down the river. Street. Rolling. And if uh, Kevin with Palmetto Cats was in here, he calls it motoring. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's Kevin's, that's Kevin's thing. <laughs> Cat Daddy Chris is saying uh, 
Ryan is probably using that bird that he caught for cup bait. <laughs> Hey, nothing like catching a seagull while you're casting out with your baits, man. I've done it. I saw that too. I don't know if he posted that on TikTok or YouTube, but uh, or Facebook. But that video is out there somewhere. Ryan catching a seagull. What were they calling it? Kentucky chicken, I think, is what they were calling it. <laughs> is that what they were calling that? Kentucky water chicken. Chad casting out here. Let's see. I saw somebody putting zip code in out there. If you want to check uh, the weather across the country, all you got to do is put in weather and the word weather and zip code or the weather and the city name and Nightbot finds the weather for you. Uh, Randy Swain is saying, uh, asking. Well, uh, once he gets set up there, Randy, we'll ask him got the motor going and stuff but it'd be probably hard to hear that once we see uh and for those and for those that don't know uh d uh broke his camera mount so he's having to lay the phone down so that's what's going on with him it's uh you know and that brings up a point uh, and there you go. There you go, Joshua. That brings up a point that, you know, uh, doing these tournaments and, you know, coming up for the live fishing tournament league. And we you know we do stand day every Sunday morning and you got the pontoon Jody flathead challenge on Friday nights. Uh, live fishing is a lot more than just fishing. <laughs> There's uh, camera holders and it's a pain uh, in the booty. Battery backups, all kinds. Battery of packs, uh, service wow. where you have good service, where you don't have service. But you know, after you do it a couple of times, you know, you get used to what works and what doesn't work, and 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 it goes pretty smooth after that. Absolutely, and you know what? You kind of peep someone like me that was a little, uh, we'll just say, technology challenged. Uh, after a while, you kind of get into it, and you start pick, you, you start picking up a few things. And, uh, you know, and you kind of get that a whole second aspect of it. It becomes a whole new hobby, being able to film your other hobby. <laughs> or I guess it's not called film anymore, is it? What do you call it nowadays? There's no film in there. There's no film in there. What's it called? Record? Is it called record still? I don't know, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Get videos of what you're doing fishing. So, um... Uh, you know, we're getting really slack here, Stan. We we got to get a cowbell in here. Oh, my goodness. For Ryan's fish. That's right. That's I'll right. Get better my cowbell. And we'll give them a little. There's the kicker, Bill. Uh, and there you go, Josh. Here. Listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that wind now. But... Oh, yeah. oh, definitely hear the difference. <clears throat> so it, it is amazing what just that. So if you're going to do any kind of, uh, if you're using your phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got we got it now, Chris. We can okay. hear the difference. <laughs> it's a hurricane out here. Uh, so if you're going to. See my hair flowing? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. If Chris didn't have one of these little foam rollers on, uh, we, he would pretty much be have to be the entire time. Look at that. Wow. That wind is Augustan. Yeah. <laughs> look, wow. Look at that. So what a difference these things make. They are definitely lifesavers. If you're going to be doing the live fishing tournament league, uh, that's one of the big things. You got to have uh, something to mute the wind. So it's called the dead cat or a wind muff, but cheapest one you can get, and it, you can hear how effective it is with uh, hooks and hammocks right there. Uh, let's see. We just had a houseboat go by. 
So now we got his wake on top of these waves. <laughs> Dan three is saying it. <laughs> Speaking of being technology challenged, he says he knew I was old when he saw me screenshot a screenshot. That explained everything. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to put the Catfish Sumo logo back up. He is sponsoring the belt for the day. I'll be right There's, back, Sam. All right, all right. There's Stonefly. Weather for weather for Pomeroy. Conditions are cloudy. Temperature of 32 degrees. 2 degrees Celsius. Wow, 36 degrees. It's kind of chilly where, where uh, Stonefly is at. Wind is blowing from the north at 12 miles per hour. 19 kilometers per hour. Current humidity is 83%. There you go. Thank you, Nightbot. Uh, catfishing. Ed J is saying the gorge. The gorge can get rough. A one mile per hour on the rest of the river will be 20 miles per hour in the gorge. Yeah, yeah I'm, we're, I'm we're real close to the boat ramp. If it gets too bad. Hold his head back. There you go. I'm I'm starting to uh never been there to the Tennessee River, but uh doing a couple of these tournaments and watching everybody else fish, you start to pick up the different areas and I know the gorge it can get uh some bad conditions out there. And uh as far as uh service, some spotty service. So so yeah, far, if we Chris, go if we go that way anymore, we won't have service. Well, you're looking crystal clear right now, so. Nina's kayak crew is out there. Good morning, Nina. Nina! Got some uh, team FOA anglers out there. Chad and D, Chris and Telly. Danny wants to know why am I watching this and singing the theme song to Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. <laughs> they just went out for a six hour tournament. <laughs> Gonna end up on a deserted island somewhere. Chad Thomason's out there. Welcome in, Chad. Uh, that's a good question, Stan3. Uh, Stan3 is asking, why did everyone choose the spot that they are in? Chris and Telly, we'll start with you if you're right there, if you don't mind. What's wrong? Why did, uh, we're going to ask everybody a question. Stan3 was asking, why did you choose the spot that you're fishing? What made well, you start there? We knew everybody else was going to go to the dam and try to block Bobcat. So, and we love the gorge when the, when, when the fishing's on down here, it's on. I mean, there's just, there's no place like it, Absolutely. in my opinion. Uh, we thought maybe this would be our best chance to have deep water and shallow water. All we got to do is go back that way and get shallow water if we really want to. We can move up closer to the bank. So far, it's not panning out for us, but we'll see how it goes. Well, that, that sounds like a good, I like the part of uh, deep. I, I think it's very important to have deep and shallow water. I think I, they, they look for that. I think big fish look for that a lot, especially. So I think that's, uh, you had a great strategy, I think, there. There's, a, there's uh, a big island right back up there. Maybe it would, but we, we checked it out first. The wind was still blowing when we were down there. So I don't think the island's going to block the wind for us. But uh, you never know. And on the bad condition days, that's also another good factor. Getting out of the wind a little bit. Chad and Dee, what made you choose where you went to today? Well, I didn't want to uh, have people yell at me for taking their spots. <laughs> uh, so I will never, ever go there again. But the more reason is when at the beginning of this week, today was supposed to be 70. No, like 
four mile an hour wind. And this is big fish country down here, not up there. All right, absolutely. Wow. And guess what? The day after we booked the hotel room, the, the whole forecast changed, and <laughs> now we have 20 mile an hour winds with 80 mile an hour gusts. That's why I said the other day we try to be good fishermen because we sure aren't lucky. Yeah, we definitely are lucky. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's why we get along so well, Chad. We've got that same luck. I know, right? Yeah, and we've got uh, Chad a full screen on. Uh, he and Dee and his wife are fishing in their new boat, but he has a, a great show on Thursday nights at eight o'clock called the Bait Shop. Go over and subscribe to Fields to Water channel. Um, he did get a golden whisker. He got a golden whisker award this year, twenty twenty three for. Uh, uh, fishing talk show of the year so that was really good for them and we appreciate chad we chad is uh one of, i'd like to give a shout out to chad he is uh the pioneer for live fishing uh, he started that about four years ago three years ago somewhere in there and uh so we have a lot of respect for chad and Dee. we really appreciate them out here fishing with us yeah you know, I would like to take a little bit of that credit myself because I did, after all, I was the one that caught the first fish. Nate, no, 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 back, back that up, back it up, back it up. The first ever fish caught on a live tournament went to your wife. Diane. Oh, uh, uh, well, you know, hey, I was there. I was, the second I was there. fish, the second fish ever caught <laughs> on a live stream tournament went to... Your wife. <laughs> boom, bam, boom. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's try. We're gonna, we're gonna make a move. All right, all this right. Is yeah, and by the way, Stan's wife. Um, she comes in the chat sometimes. She's under D Smithy, and uh, she at, uh, has a, a a bigger flathead than Stan too. So you know that's still <laughs> going on in the house. So I think she ended up with somewhere around thirty six pound flathead or somewhere in there. That's right. That's right. And uh, we had boom, boom, bam. Double Hook Anglin is a new member. Oh, that is awesome. All right. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. D H A Double Hook Anglin. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, Continue to pray for our good friend, recovering from some uh, heart issues he had there, without downplaying it at all. Uh, definitely in our prayers, my friend. Uh, let's see. Daryl is saying, "Tell Chris to go behind the island." Yeah, he's so, messaging me. We're we're talking. We're discussing it. There you go. Uh, Stonefly said they could take two coconuts to make a bomb, but couldn't fix a three-foot hole in the boat on Gilligan's Island. That's right. <laughs> you got Bob, Bob Troxwell, uh, Bob, Bob Troxel, call him Bob T, saying, go, Ryan, go. I don't know, my voice is, uh... <clears throat> I guess I'm coming into puberty. My voice is cracking today. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to bring up the uh, March 16th tournament scoreboard. And what we are trying to do here, we're going to get the top three big fish. And uh, let me get that set up here. Uh, coming in. Uh, this is from last Saturday's scoreboard. So we had uh, Ray Ferguson out there with 95.02. That is the pound uh, for the top three uh fish to beat today so uh good luck with those anglers and uh, at pontoon jody last week uh had a 62.89 fish so that was a really good fish today well, it's today we have the the kayakers two kayakers out here with fish on the board we're still waiting on the other anglers to uh reel in their first fish kayak mike they're out there bumping uh, 35.5 pounds for Mr. Kayak Mike and Ryan Bortz out there with 17.9. So congratulations to those guys. They are out there bumping and uh, getting it done. So we look forward to doing some more fish coming in here. And uh, let's see, where did it go now? There we go. Speaking of a 62-pound fish, 
Uh, fish on Ed Evans. We were talking about this the other night there, JG. He says, no pressure to the anglers, but for every 50-pound fish caught, he will donate a shirt, hat, and sticker pack to a lucky individual in chat. Yeah. Let's go, anglers. Take. Yeah. So anything over 50 pounds, you'll get the um, get a shirt and a hat and a sticker pack from uh, Ed Evans. And I want to tell you something about Ed's uh, shirts and gear. Top of the line. So uh, that is a, a really nice uh, shirt, hat combo there. Sticker combo. But uh Fish on Ed Evans. We're looking for. He is uh, up in the Pennsylvania area. Fish is the. Um, uh, what's the name of the river, Stan? Schoolkill. Schoolkill River. And I and, think uh, I even say it real, wrong. But... <laughs> yeah, that's all right. A lot of nice flatheads up there, but they're still in uh, twenty degree weather at night. So, but he's waiting on his river to come back up to over fifty degrees, and he'll get back out there and fish. And he usually has a really late night show. He'll fish from twelve to four in the mornings, and uh, you can go check him out. Be sure to go over to uh, subscribe to uh, Fish on Ed Evans' channel. Absolutely. And uh, Fishing with Bacon, Chad, thinks it's funny that you were picking on me for my wife catching the fish. Because all the fish, he's saying that all the fish Chad has ever caught on a live tournament were actually D's. Hmm. You go, Lucas. Well, that's what you all get for even entertaining somebody with the name Fishing with Bacon. <laughs> well, okay, you got me there. <laughs> I mean, come on. One, he's he's from the wrong side of the river, and he fishes with bacon. <laughs> Dead to me, bro. Dead to me. <laughs> and uh, Brian B. was uh, saying that the bait shop also won a Golden Whisker Award for the best looking host on YouTube. I, no, we don't want, to, we I don't never did get that, that medal for that. Yeah, I think it went to the wrong that. show, honestly, but I think it might have had something to do with Freddie over at FOA Customs and Gear. Well, we definitely know that the bait shop has definitely has the best looking human resources department on YouTube, that's for sure. Uh huh. She's uh, not she's not sending you the rod combo stand, so quit. <laughs> Greenwell is asking, uh we lost Derek again. Could somebody Ryan and them do you see Derek anywhere right there? Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. You see him over there behind you? Yeah, he's right up here behind me. All right. Yeah, he he. Uh, I don't know if you heard before, but we were trying to get him to adjust the phone. He ended up snapping his camera arm, camera holder arm. So you know, I'm using technological terms there. I'm no, using highly scientific tough. terms. Your yep. camera holder uh, thingy. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> that thingy that holds the camera eye. That, that, you know, that, that's funny. As Stan and I were on a show. Uh, uh, we were trying to. I was trying to name the. Uh, species I'm thing for, for the bait fish, and that was really fun for me to try to do that. <laughs> There's Nina. I felt, like I, was, I felt like I was back in medical school. <laughs> Nina dropping links. And the links for all of the anglers uh, are out in the description. Feel free to drop them in chat. Thank you, Nina. Uh, John Boy's catfishing. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Good to hope see you, is, John Boy. Hope all is going well in your neck of the woods. He's uh, down from neck of the woods back down there where I was born, down in Louisiana. Down there in Creole land. That's right, that's right. So, occasion. Because, you know, when they cook down there, a little onion, a little cayenne pepper. Woo! Yeah, you with see see some you know. filet <laughs> in there. A little filet in there. <laughs> well, well uh, Chad, fishing with bacon is starting to grow on me a little bit here. He's saying if you don't hit that thumbs up, everyone, you got to fish with bacon as punishment. <laughs> 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 Dustin telling me to stop sucking up to D. That's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right. Sacre sacre ball. <laughs> sac oh, man, my 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 voice is cracking and my my voice is cracking and my tongue is tied this morning. Mm -hmm.
Josh was asking if anybody's used the new River Cats tackle hooks yet. Speaking of Creel. Stan 3 is saying it's called the Ram Amount. Man, you're so old. <laughs> That's all right, but who's your daddy? <laughs> oh, Mike is saying he is. <laughs> Yeah, you got you got to keep that one in your back pocket, Stan. When you when Stan three is trying to bash you about the old man, you just tell him that's, who's your daddy. That's a good one. That's a good one. Score so far: Kayak Mike thirty five point five, and Ryan Bort seventeen point nine. We are at one and a half hours in. Uh, hey hey hey! There she is. Ha, la 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 Lana is out there. My favorite niece. I was waiting for a reaction from Chad. I didn't get it today. How you doing, Helena? Great to see you, as always. What do I do? I said, there's there's my favorite niece, Helena, out there. That's blue. Uh, I love you, niece. You're awesome. <laughs> so, Chad and them are... It, Your daughter, you're in the little sketchy area, Chad. You're you're uh, pixelating a little. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Stan's waiting on uh, Starlink people to call his people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Danny Stone is saying, Chad, forget this tournament. I have a huge pile of bacon, eggs, and hash browns with pancakes. Come in out of the cold, brother. I got you. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you what, Danny Stone's got it going on right there. He Be good now, Stan? Yeah, much better, much better. Oh, yep. That... Yeah, it's, you're it, still with us. It's coming and going, but you're with us. Yeah, much better. You're on this show. He said I was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Hooks and Hammocks here uh, making a uh, making a long run here. I'm, they may be trying to find somewhere else to fish to get out of some of the strong wind. They're bouncing pretty good. We went out. We went out into the middle of <laughs> that. It will say one direction. Water. Yeah. There we go. I had to get that banner going for a little bit there. Because Nina is here. <laughs> yeah, you can reach out to uh, FOACustomsandgear.com. Use code 2 stands in Get a little bit of money off there. You know, and check out that website. I've uh, got a fish on with uh, Bobcat. Bobcat and Fish Sizzle. Yeah. We'll see. Hey, they Brandon, can you, do a, can you do a reverse, reverse on that camera? We can't see the, the fish coming in. That's good. good. That's good. Big fish, guys. <laughs> big fish. Little He's there. saying big fish. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we got a lot of wind in that phone. Johnny, great to see wind. you out there. That's better. All right. The wind Butterflies and sunshine is out there. Oh, oh, we may fish in net. We got it that time, JG. Oh, we're we'll getting better. One as big as I thought it was. It's amazing when that current gets behind it, isn't it? That's just my bad, dude. My bad, dude. <laughs> so while we're waiting on them to weigh that fish, we'll get uh, it's like hooks and hammocks made it made it to a little area they're going to scan there. So that's nice. We got kayak Mike down here on the bottom of the screen. He's a bumping away. How you holding up down there, Mike? You got a thumbs up? 
Hang on, I got you muted. I got it. Oh. I've, had, I've had a hit on every walk. It's just a matter of looking up. Yeah. I don't think Ron cares. If he starts feeling another one, I will go cut his lines. Uh. <laughs> 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 Mike can have those things over there. I'm looking for the next bit. Could you so, imagine uh, it? You can imagine if we had this channel rated R, what we would get out of yeah. these ones. <laughs> <laughs> Not may, telephone we, for children. What do you think out there, chat? Do you think we got a new leader here? Looks like a pretty decent fish. Is it bigger than 35.5? I wouldn't even weigh it. <laughs> what do you think? Just give him three and a half and he chucks it back over? Give him 16. Oh, six. Wow, you're generous. You're generous. Uh, let's see. Palmetto's on layover in New York right now. Then he's on the way to Colorado. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Fish. Uh, Mark what? said those sound effects, JG, they remind me of the Dr. Demento show. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, Bob, yeah. I can't see it. What's it say? You can just tell me. It's all right. What you got? Can't hear you. I can't hear you. 28. 15.8. 15.8. That's a big way. That's a long way from 28. It's a big fish, guys. Yeah. It's a really big fish. I think you get. We'll get James up here in a little while. He'll talk about. He'll give us a Daryl rundown on how what a fish. Is. So um, what do we're we got? To wait the grippers in a second. Oh. Uh, Brent, did you weigh the grippers for us? Did you get a chance? Or did yeah, you zero it out? Get a chance. Thank you. Oh, boss, Nate's out there. Six. Point two Break six. Up, That's correct. Point two six. All right, I got. It. Fifteen point five four. Yep. I'll uh, update. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's true. Kevin says that's a big fish. If you didn't have one before. Heck yeah. Uh, Catfish Hunters TV is out there. Great to see you, John. Do us uh, bring the score sheet up. Uh, Greenwell Fishing, Chickamauga Dam, so easy a kayak Mike can do it. Wow. <laughs> that, sounds like, that sounds like one of those Geico commercials. <laughs> Shots being fired. Uh, there we go. So we, we currently have three fish caught for the day. 35.5 by Kayak Mike. Uh, Greenwell says so easy even a kayak Mike can do it. Ryan Bortz at fish 17. On, oh, could we hear a fish on? Fish on, Bobcat. And fields to water. Oh, we got two fish on. Yeah. I told you as the day. Fish, guys. Bobcat hooked up. We got. And it looks like Chad is fighting a nice one, too. Oh, 
Yeah, he's glitching out on me. We'll be, we're gonna go back and forth with these here. All right, Chad is in the boat. So we'll go back over here to. T My bad, dude. Not here. In the net. All right. Both fish landed. So. I was thinking that that was what was going to happen. As the day went on, warming up a little bit, it was going to... A lot of times when you get those cold nights in the spring like this, that morning bite will be delayed a little bit. Catfish Bill says he likes the weather updates. I do too. I think it's interesting seeing the weather across the country. Alana was saying, let's go, Uncle Chad. Yeah. Um. Big monster. Hold on. The grippers are point three four. The grippers are point three four, and what was the weight <laughs> of the fish? We're getting it. What? Five point seven. Minus grip. And you said the Monster. grip for point three four, right? Monsters right here, baby. Yeah. Said point three four. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen, fourteen, eight, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Come on, little buddy. Fourteen eight. Can't get it locky. Fourteen point eight. That'll work. Jackets coming off. And what did we have for fit uh for dad's scales weight? Point point three four. All right. I've got that. I'll get this updated. His fish was five point seven though without with that, right? Yes. So fish sizzle and bobcat's fish with the tear off was uh fourteen point five four. Yep. And Chad Chad and D was five point three six. Action picking up here. Action's picking up. Catfish Bill 66 saying, let's go, Bobcat. There's the score update. You have to, said to go out in the middle of the lake. Well, there you go. Burrito Lisa the Catfish and Lady saying, let's go. Everyone beat Daryl. What the what? <laughs> Here's the scorecard. We have uh, Kayak Mike in the lead, 35-5. Followed closely now, Bobcat and Fashizzle, team my bad dude. But Bobcat with uh, 30.08. Ryan Bortz currently in third, 17.9. And Chad and D at 5.36. Uh, total weight for the day is 88.84. And since we've had a bunch of fish caught, JG, let's go and see what the overall rankings are. Has anybody been passed up? Okay, we still got 
We still got, thank you, thank you. Got a kayak mic. Is uh, sixth and but puts Bobcat and Fashizzle up into seventh place. Uh, Ryan Bortz is currently a ninth, but we still have uh, four hours and 15 minutes to go, so a lot of stuff can happen. Fish on Ed Evans and say, Let's go, big fish energy. That's right, that's right. He he wants to. He believes so much in the big fish, he was willing to donate a shirt, hat, and sticker pack to a lucky winner in chat if any of these anglers can catch 50-pound fish. I think we got a fish on, Ryan. Are you on, Ryan? I have you muted. I got it. Go ahead. Oh, he came off. Oh, Lordy. I just get the flow up, bro. I'm going to mute Ryan again. Yep. No. I know. Dugandai Outdoors. <laughs> Dog and I. Curtis is saying, uh, for a minute, I thought everyone was going to skunk with the kayaks. Oh, there's a good tip from uh, Danny Stone. Danny is saying a lot of people can't get the hog scale to lock because they don't have the, they don't have it set. Apparently, you've got to hold the tear button down till the screen says H on, which would be the hold on. So that is the locking option, apparently. So. Thank you, Danny. So if you have the hog scale and you haven't done that yet. All right, looks like we got Derek back in. King Ability, don't ask. Great to see you, my friend. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we got the Bullock Experience. How's it going, Kelly? Don't forget, Kelly does the, uh, the the spotlight that he's been doing. It airs every Tuesday night on Muskrat Adventures and Creole Catfishing's channel. They're in their 8 p.m. show. So he's got all of those spotlights on his channel, so you can check that out. 113 awesome people out there. Thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming in. If you're having a good time, if you enjoy the fish that's been being caught, <clears throat> and just for these anglers being out there fighting these conditions, if you would consider giving the thumbs up, we would definitely appreciate it. And we appreciate these anglers being out here today. Absolutely. <laughs> There's Austin fishing fever out there, two stand fishing family awesome. member. Uh, saying hello, everyone. How's the bite on the Tennessee River this morning? Well, we'll bring the score sheet back up. End is biting good. <laughs> and uh, Nightbot is reminding everybody that Fish and Fever now has a second channel. Uh, and I think, uh, I think Lyle and Mark will like this one from Panfish Nation. It's called Pond Fever. So make sure you check that out. Uh, solo layout. There you go, Austin. <laughs> there is the score update. We got four different anglers on the board so far today. They are moving up the moving up the leaderboard. came in just in time parker there was the score so far kayak mike in the lead with 35 five
And, um, yeah, Mr. Parker Pursuit has to check out his channel. He's got some great big old catfish over there on his channel. He's great fisherman out there on the Mississippi River. Oh, well, any lake or body of water he touches, he's a great fisherman. So y'all go check out Parker Pursuit's channel. Absolutely. Trophy Seekers Outdoors, Daryl is saying, okay, let's do something different. Let's give away a pack of catfish sumo hangry hooks to the next team that catches a catfish. So there you go, anglers. If you catch a catfish, Daryl is going to give, give you a pack of catfish sumo hangry hooks. Uh, Catfish Bill 66. Anyone got a code for the scales? Yeah, you can use MK10. MK10. We'll get you some money off of that. And uh, right. Catfish Bill, for anybody that uh, y'all go check out his channel, he fishes with uh, Palmetto Cat Sun. Huh? And if you are going to be fishing in the live tournament league, the uh, that is the scale of choice. That is the official scale of the live fishing tournament league. Uh, if you're in the points. If you're in the points, yep. You yeah, can fish the live fishing tournament league, and you know you will be uh, scored in that tournament on any scale. But to get the uh, for the big fish is a. Two thousand dollar, I think, is what the big fish is at. Yeah, it's sponsored by Mad Cats for big fish of the whole season. So to get that, you have to have the Mad Cat scale. Sorry, I've got I've got a lot of wind here. I got to find it. That yeah, was D. Yeah, it, it's uh, one of those days. Everybody's got some. Uh, The uh, code for Mad Cats is M. There you go. MK10. I'm going to put the Jolly Roger up for a little bit. In honor of Epic, our mateys. Yeah. <laughs> epic catfishing was in, uh, came in the chat last night on Stan show, Friday night cat chats. If you guys don't know about that show, you can go over and check out two stands fishing on Friday nights at eight o'clock. Usually, um, he and I are up there chatting about the week's activities, or we're talking about tournaments or in general education of fishing yeah always got some there's always something to talk about <laughs> absolutely stan never runs out of words he just that's makes right. up words that's right i make them up that's right yeah. <laughs> that's right stand three that there is no longer the jolly roger that is the symbol of catfish savages <laughs> yeah that's us isn't it Yo, -ho. yeah. I want to see if I can get a hold of uh, Ryan here for a few minutes uh, while he's out here bumping. I got a question about bumping. Ryan, uh, hey, this is JG. I've got a question for you about bumping. What's up? Yeah, I've got a question for you about bumping. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. So uh, I was noticing your uh, gear there with your... Uh, reel and rod there. I know that bumping, you know, you have to move it all the time, but do you prefer a lighter weight setup for bumping? Can you talk about your rig and why you're using that rig for bumping? Yeah, I've got the uh, Mad Cats. It's actually called a dragon stick bumping rod. And I've got that paired with an Alios. I think this one's a 400. I can't remember now. And then I run braid down to a three-way swivel and then uh one of my sides of my three-way goes off to my sinker one side goes off to my bait sometimes i run a rattle or a float sometimes i don't today most of my bites i've had have all been with uh no float but then i know bob and them are running floats and they're catching fish so right 
So why would you use a low profile reel than a, a bait caster? It's lighter. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then it just kind of fits comfortably in your hand too. Because you've always got your thumb on the spool. I'm trying to do this backwards without. Right. So do you, uh, so when you bump, when you first throw the rod out, and then the and then your weight hits the bottom. When you bump, are you trying to let more line out as it as you go along? Yeah, you'll let it out for a certain amount of time. My my kayak's actually going with the current at about half the speed of the current. So my bait, I'm holding it back and letting it down slowly. But right. every every time I raise it up, I let just a little bit of line out, and then okay. you eventually get to what we call the sweet spot. Uh huh. And it just. You're not letting line out. You're not gaining line. Everything matches, and you're just picking it up and dropping it. So when you're talking about the sweet spot there, Ryan, are you? Can, is it just a, a feel to you, and you know that your bait and the bumping action is just at the right action for the current, so that that what you're as you're working the rod, you know you're in the sweet spot where the the uh, the bait presentation is working good for you. Well, sometimes I'll use a heavier sinker and slow myself down more than half the speed of the current, and that presents your bait to the fish slower. And that's actually what I'm trying to do right now. Right. The water's still a little bit cold at 58.3. So we, we're dealing with 60 degree water. So I'm trying to slow my bait down a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'll let you get back at it. Thanks for taking the time with us. Not a problem. Hey, for, for uh, one more question though, Ryan, for somebody that wants to go out and try bumping, what would you recommend they start with? Get in Bobcat's boat and go with him like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Dang we're it. Gonna, we're going to have Bobcat go over some bumping stuff, too. We had talked to him about that. And whenever he's ready to do that. Yeah, I told you all. He, he looked. My, my biggest fish bumping was about probably 100 yards from where I'm sitting at right now in Bob's boat the first time I ever did it. <laughs> Nice. That's right. Bob Bob Troxel is saying, uh, Ryan, you got to spin on the bait. You get more bites. We, we've tried a little bit of everything so far. but <laughs> I've, I've had several dinks tap, but nothing to hook up. Just that one fish. So 116 awesome people out there. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna go over here and check on Rock James. Ball, yeah. I'm gonna check on James a little bit. He seems a little lonely out here. James. Yeah. Well, how are you, sir? I can't hardly hear you, but I just come over here to check on you and see how you're doing. Well, I know you know you're not getting any younger, so I understand the back issues. Looks like you found you a good spot to get out of the wind. We're, try, we're dragging. We're kind of uh, suspend drifting out of it. Looks like a real fishy spot. Yeah, you would think that. <laughs> are you marking? Are you marking any fish? I'm just, about, I'm just about back to the main river now, so. We're well, gonna I think down, we're, we're going to run downtown here in a minute. Yeah, when you get out, you get out to the mouth of that thing. You know, you keep your eyes glued on that. See if you mark some fish. I can see how windy it is out there, though. Yes, sir. You got some white. Is it white capping? Uh, not quite, but getting close. Right. Yeah, the white caps get a little rough. Well, That's James, we just. So, um, uh, you were fishing last night out on uh, Pontoon Jody's channel. Did y'all do? Did y'all do well last night? Not even a bite. Didn't get a bite last night. Now, what is the moon? James, what's the moon phase right now? Did we just have a full moon? It's, well, yeah, I think it's supposed to be pretty close to full. Okay. The biggest question is solar flares. Any solar flares? Uh, yeah. yeah, James, James is all about that. Uh, big I, I, solar flares actually last night and today, so. Huh. And so far, so far, slower than last week. Yeah, but people are still catching fish, but not real big ones like yet. That 35 is a good catch. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. Last, last week was averaging almost 100 pounds an hour. And we are at hour two. Hey, Bobcat. Cat, can you hear me? <laughs> hey, Catfish, Catfish Hunters in the chat said he's going. He's wanting to get signed up for some bumping classes. I, I think he said uh, something about maybe uh, some freeze dried Skittles involved or something. I don't eat candy. Uh oh, uh -oh. that won't for work, Catfish Hunter. You have to come up with something else. For him, it'd be sixty dollars an hour. Oh Lord, how mercy! I'm not a god. Wow, that's your friends for you. Oh, you gotta love your friend of me. I mean, enemy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I tried, John. I tried, buddy. Where you want to go? Where y'all headed we'll there, Bobcat? Right we're get, we're being strategic. I can't I can't talk about it. Oh, <laughs> he's going to an undisclosed location we're in an, an undisclosed, undisclosed direction. Location. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we're in eleven feet of water. Let's do it. Let me go over here and check on Chad, see how Chad's doing. I'll move us away a little bit. Hey, Chad, what you doing, brother? Oh, wait, what's up, man? Well, do you have any white caps out there? We can here in the middle of the lake. Uh, there's, a, there's some tiny ones, and it's rocky, but horrible out here. The problem is the way this... this your river is like a mile and a half wide to get it to be able to keep the we tried okay. that I'm, way I'm moving that way, way. and every time we would go over there next to the bank we were just so kind of spinning everywhere so we came out here in the middle and it's at least keeping it somewhat straight right now. it's nice having this all this activity in the place boat of the year um yeah, not be scared to death here. Yeah, you're breaking up a little bit there, Chad. We're still we're here. Coming. But we yeah. appreciate you being here, brother. Yep. Yeah. And I, I think Chad you're breaking up, up. Chad brings up a great point with uh with the boat and having the confidence when you're out there. You know, we talk about confidence a lot, not only in the rods and reels that you use, but also in the spot that you pick or the boat that you're using or uh, it all adds up to it, and being able to have confidence, like uh, Chad's old boat, chances are they wouldn't have even been able to make it out there today. The new boat, he's out there. You can see he's more relaxed and uh, able to fish a little harder in some different conditions. So definitely, definitely helps out. Uh, <laughs> the solar eclipse. Oh. Let's see. Uh, there were some good questions out here. Danny was asking what uh, Danny was asking what uh, James thought of the solar eclipse if it was going to affect the fishing any. You know, I have no clue on that. But I think uh, you know, I, I think James might be onto something with the solar flares. Uh, he's been mentioning it now for a couple of years, and. Uh, it does seem to kind of have the effect of, uh, you know, bites being down, bite rates being down when when there's higher solar flares. So something to keep an eye on. Catfish Weekly is in the house. How's it going, Lyle? Bob looks like I need to get you some Harry's razors to get you cleaned up on the noggin. So here is the official score sheet. Uh, Lindsay Wright saying, go, step that, go, Ryan Borch, you the one. So Lindsay's out there cheering for Ryan. We unmuted you there, Ryan. Uh, so let's see. Right now we have... Right now we have uh, Kayak Mike in the lead, 35-5, followed by Bobcat for Shizzle. They've got two fish. They're now up to 30.08. Ryan Bortz in third at 
And Chad and D, Chad's caught one on the boat. Uh, D let him catch the first one. She's going to get the next one. So they are at 5.36. Still anybody's game. Uh, a lot of those fish just came within the last uh, 30 minutes or so. So the bite could be picking up. So we'll go from there. And uh, JG, could you switch over to the switch over to the uh, uh, the rankings, if you could, please, so we can see where everybody stands as a whole on the tournament. Here we go. And this is for the whole this is for the whole tournament. Uh so in the pink there, any of the ones in the pink there, they had fished last week. Currently in first place, there's Ray Ferguson, 95. Jody currently in second at 84.4. Yak Shore, the uh Yak Swains. They were out fishing with the Swains. They fished together last week. 74.35. Woody and TSO Daryl, 60.05. Ed J and his son Cole, currently in fifth place, 42.5. Then you got a couple language from today. Kayak Mike and Bobcat just outside that, sixth and seventh. So there's the standings for the both weeks together so far. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in, Lyle. And while Lyle is here, let's, uh, where did he go? There he is. Let's take a look at those. We've got the, Lyle is out in chat, so we got the full screen on Chad's boat there with those beautiful dark horse rods that are being displayed. Yeah, those are black horse rods. We just can't get we just can't get a good signal out of Chad today, but he's still with us. My oldness hit me. <laughs> I give out. I tried to boogie. All right, what do you say? Did I not say black horse? Did I say something else? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what happens when you get my age. You know, the, the words are there. They don't come from there to there. <laughs> yeah. So when I say dark horse. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and you wonder why you're not a moderator over there on Catfish Weekly's channel. I know. I tell you. I tell you. That's why you're not a moderator. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kidding, Lyle. You just have whatever moderators you want, brother. <laughs> hey, there's uh, Ryan. Your mom's watching too. That's right. The mom's always watch. My mom still watches our shows. Good. Fishing fever is in here, James. You said, "Come on, James, catch a fish, man." It's like that's how these this tournament works. You catch fish and then you win. Trying. <laughs> hey James, do you have any golden whisker awards in that boat? Well the boat's kind of leaning to one side because <laughs> of the golden whisker I awards. Noticed, so, I think that's what it was. There might be a few of them in here. Hang on, let me see if I can locate them. You need to put one on, give you some luck. I need something. Well, I can put the, let's see, I can put the, I can put the second place in the Whisker Bowl one on. Or I can put the, uh, yeah, all kind of wine. I can put the, make sure I'm not crashing here. I could put the uh, second place in the live fishing league last year one on. 
That, does that sound familiar, Stan? Second place? Shut up, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> yeah, brings guess, back some harsh memories. Yeah, that's the and winner over there. Favorite, with the, uh, blooper, blooper of the year. Yeah, it had a whole bunch of mayflies. Uh, takedown of the year. I, I got a couple more, so hang on. Wow. We got a boat of the year, Chad. Woo. He actually probably should have won that with her boat, but I got a dynamic duo of the year. So yeah, actually, you know, yeah, got a couple. Danny Stone in the house saying, James owes me a 90-pounder. I really hope I don't have to drive down there and break his leg. I'm working on it. We're at the mouth of this creek, so we're going to start getting deeper, so hopefully we'll get something here. Boy, but that wind's going to kick up. And for those that are... For those that are wondering, see this comment here from Lyle. I guess you're still trying to catch up with me, Stan. I saw that. I saw that. I, I'm, I'm hey, catching him. I think Stan. I'm gonna. Stan, I might you, pass you were born these. after. You were after. You were born after Jesus, right? <laughs> that's yeah, right. I don't, that's right. Yeah, Lyle was born before Jesus. Woo. That's why. <laughs> that's why he, we got a lot of catching up to do with him. <laughs> I might get there one of these years. That's right. Lindsay is cheering on Ryan Bortz. Catfishing Ed J saying that's LL Cool James pimping it. Uh-huh. With his bling. We got all kind of bling. I got some, you know, James isn't the only one there. Uh-huh. I won these these two medals right here. Isn't that something? I won two we'll medals. Whiskers. What? Oh, they'll be back. Yeah, I won these two medals right here, Golden Whiskers, for uh, Youth Angler nominees. Yep, I won both of those. My thank you, thank you. And then, uh, yep, here's the uh, here's the other award that I won. Live Fishing Tournament League. Right there. Yep, there it is. There's the other one. Yep, I did that by myself. Uh-huh. And then of course you can't forget the uh you can't forget the cup. There it is. That I all by myself won. Uh-huh. Just just saying. Yep, yeah, it does take a whole box of uh fruity pebbles. Just saying. Hey, Mike, I got you on full screen. How you holding up there? So good. A million baby bites, but it happens. That's one of the beauties about pulpit under a dam. Fish are there. They're almost always eat. It's just well, you, ought be, you ought to be in a good bit of bait, man. You got birds everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I keep hitting them. I wish I had a little pelican. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. Did you ever have some bait out there running around? Where are you headed? Yeah. Where are you headed? Hold on. One, give me one second. I'm going to turn around so you can, I can actually talk. I'm going to take a break here. I'll, I'll spot okay, lock. Man. Oh. Oh. What? That's, what the what? That catfish I caught broke my monster. That's a oh, bummer. Man. Ooh, all right. Yeah, no, go I know it's going so well. I love, I love <laughs> it. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, so what's the plan? Fun. What's the plan, Mike? Where are you, where are you headed? What you going to do here, man? Uh, I just moved back up to where I caught that first fish. I had a lot of bumps or a lot of hits here when I was bumping earlier. Yeah. So we're gonna do this pass again. I try not to go through the same line too much. 
Um, if I'm bumping it, because you're in a kayak, you can only do so much. I like yeah. to bounce lane to lane to lane. That way I can come back and hit this lane later and not, you know, completely burn it up too much. Oh, sure. So you're fishing out of a new kayak, and I think you've got a, a new 24-volt trolling motor system on that boat. Can you talk a little bit about that kayak, Mike, and what you like about it and what you uh, don't like about it? Yeah. So this is the new Canoe Unlimited. Uh, I got it from Raccoon Creek Outfitters. Shout out Raccoon Creek Outfitters. They, uh, they sponsored our King Cat National Kayak Trail. They gave us five grand. So, um, yeah, I told them, for the last few years, I've been saying the Jackson Take 2 and the new Canoe Unlimited are 1A, 1B when it comes to kayak catfishing platforms. It's just a matter of personal preference. Yes, sir. So Raccoon Creek Outfitters sells the Unlimited. So I switched over to the Jackson Take 2 to this. And it's awesome. Um, it doesn't hold the bow break, but that's I gotta change my seat position. I'm too I'm too much up front. If you're gonna be in a kayak fishing heavy current, you want as much weight at back as possible. Yeah, um, keep, the, like, keep it from nose diving. Yeah, so every time a swirl comes, you guys can't see it, but every time a swirl comes, water comes shooting over my bow. <laughs> I'm right. like in the water. So so you, uh, have, so you have the plug out of the boat. Oh yeah, I got all my scupper plugs out. Yeah, yeah I, I'd be sinking if I didn't have my scupper plugs in, or if yeah, I had my scupper plugs in. Yeah, of course. But now you said something on one of your videos about the seat maybe being too high as well. Oh, no, no. So my seat's good. It's probably, if you're new to kayak fishing, I would not have a seat this high. Uh, I have it this high so I can put my battery under my seat. That opens up a ton of space in my kayak. Um, but it does make it a little more tippy. But, I mean, I'm going to be honest. These kayaks, like the way they're made today, like I'm leaning full weight to the side in, I don't know, two and a half, three mile an hour current. Like I'm, I'm not going nowhere. Uh, wow. I know a lot of bigger guys get nervous about the kayaks. You could, <laughs> I've seen three, four hundred pound dudes in this kayak and in the take two. It's standing up fast. So they're yeah. made a lot better than you would think. Absolutely. So you can walk the gondola and all that while you're moving around with that kayak really nice. Yeah. Yeah, so like when I when I was going up to the hydros earlier, I actually stood in the back here so my nose popped out. But like yeah. I'm in, you know, I'm in this current. I can walk. I'm I'm literally on the side of the kayak. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, kids, I want to tell y'all something for anyone watching you know, kayak Mike. He is a professional kayak fisherman. So you know that what he's doing out here, he's not. He, he has a really good channel out there. You guys go check that out. He talks a lot about his new kayak. He's got some great videos out there. He's got some new videos out there about bumping, three ways of bumping. Uh, but you guys go check out Kayak Mike. He is a, a definitely uh, a big player in the catfish community. And with uh, his uh, what he does, the kayak catfish, he puts on a lot of good tournaments. Hey, uh, Mike, what's the best way for folks to follow these uh, kayak tournaments? that you're a part of how what's the best social media for them to reach out on uh go to online catfishing tournaments on facebook the facebook page all the how to's are on the online catfishing tournaments YouTube page. um hit me up personally on facebook uh facebook messages i can get you linked into everything our uh our scene's pretty cool like if you're brand new there's a slight learning curve but the learning curve is just instead of having a live well have the edge board. That, that's all it is <laughs> Right, and right. We have all the how to. So if you go to, we have a playlist. It's 30 minutes long. It's not that bad, uh, bad of watch. You can learn how to do everything in 30 minutes in our team. So. Nice, nice, dude. Do you have any uh, how to smack talk videos out there? Oh, yeah. Just get a friend like Ryan. Oh, that's, that's all you got to do. Yeah, you just need a friend like Ryan if you learn how to smack talk. There you go. That's it. Hey, um, enjoy your break, Mike. Thanks for coming up, talking about it, and uh, look forward to uh, you catching some more fish, brother. We, I hope we so. got, All right, guys. We got one more question from Matt. Want to be outdoors? He says, "How do you feel about beating Ryan right now?" He's just asking for a friend. And I'm not kidding. If I see a big takedown from Ryan, I will go cut the line. Like, like, <laughs> that's, that's not a joke. He's not going to be happy. But he'll get over it. That's right. All right, we appreciate you, Mike. Thank you. Hey, guys. All right, so we muted Mike again there. 
so uh, for those that don't uh, know, we've got D here, and that's uh, with the bad cam camera angle. And the reason that is he broke his camera, uh, his, his phone mount uh, at the first of the tournament, trying to turn his phone sideways and the clamp broke. So uh, he's doing the best he can out there. We look forward to uh, D catching some fish here. We have 101 awesome people out there watching, so thank you, thank you. Uh, been over 100 for most of the day so far. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, uh, for all these awesome anglers out there fighting these conditions, we would definitely appreciate the thumbs up. It does help out. It helps promote the channel. Uh, let's see. There's what Matt put the uh, Facebook link right there. Nice. There we go. Let's see who... Oh, so, uh, Chad, we don't, Chad we don't, D, no. right there. They said they'd be back. I think they're moving, and they'll be back mm -hmm. in a minute. I want to go check on Captain Morgan. Let's see what he's doing. Ooh. Captain Morgan. Yeah. I've got you on full screen here. Tell me, uh, how you holding up? What's going on? It ain't. They ain't stay biting. The wind ain't that bad. I'm in the cold. Yeah. Out of the wind, they just stayed in here. I'm gonna, we're getting ready to move in about 10 minutes. Yes, sir. All right. Well, just holler at us if you need us for anything. I hope you guys are, are at least having fun. You know, catching yeah. fish is a lot better than not catching fish, but I get it. Yeah. And, and, uh, and right, Randy, well, Randy Swain there said if you need anything, get in touch with him. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if they let you share that or not, but but uh, yeah, there's the Fishing Chaos app on YouTube. On YouTube. On um, Fishing. Uh, the Fishing Chaos app for your phone. Oh, okay. Where you can track all the tournaments there. Let's go. Let's go. We'll go over here and check on Ryan here. <laughs> hey, Ryan. What's up? Hi, right, um, Kai at Mike over here said he's your daddy. He says that a lot. Then I come to the video, so. Yeah, he even has his screen name. Says Ryan the Daddy. You imagine that. That's his official screen name on any live he goes in. Yeah, that. Uh, I'm, you're going to have to get creative there, Ryan, with your screen name. I, my screen name don't matter. I got the belt right now. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, do you have that in the car with you? I do. Awesome. How uh, am I supposed to take pictures with it at the ramp, you know, after I win it again? There you go. Wow. I hope you do, I hope you do man. <laughs> so how's the uh, how's the current holding up for you, and, and um, is the conditions improving, or are they about the same? Uh, I moved over to the other side. The current's a little slower over here, but the wind is a lot worse, so I'm probably going to end up moving back. All right, all right. Hey, well, anytime you anytime you come up with a good idea to bash Mike with something, uh, just wave your hand. And I'll put you on full screen, and we'll let you uh, do that. All right. <laughs> he, he's going to come up short today. I already know that. Uh oh, I see him. He's over here. Uh, he's jumping up and down like he missed something here. Let me see what he's doing. Hey, Mike, are you out there swearing again? Yeah, it's probably a good idea to keep me muted if I don't have a fish fish being reeled in. <laughs> okay, yeah, we've got all those beep, beep, beep. We got them beeps and stuff. You know, we just put... When, uh, this poor yeah. skip tack head's getting just absolutely murdered. Oh, well, come on. Put you some fresh on there. Let's roll. Matt yeah, wants to know why Ryan isn't wearing the belt while he's uh, fishing. Yeah, that would that thing's a little thick. Yeah, the championship belt. Ryan needs to be doing this right here. Yeah. I think he bought that. He was on Catfish Weekly here a couple of weeks ago. That's right. That's right. Did a great job there. And uh, what's uh, Ryan's uh, YouTube channel name? Ryan Bort's Blue Collar Life. Yep, something like that. If anybody can find that for us, maybe Matt can put that in the chat for us. Yes. All the links, all the YouTube links are in the description. I got somebody coming in. I got a lot of wind. Oh. There we go. No? Yep. 
got it. Well, I thought I did. Does that mean you pushing the same button? No, I'm not touching nothing. There we go. All right. And I got somebody trying to come in here. Oh, my goodness. Do we have room for him? How did he get that link? Oh, yeah, it's in the I I forgot he was in that other room that he created. Oh, yeah, I guess cool. we got to let him come up. Yeah, since he, uh, I want to tell you something. I'm going to bring um, bring up this guest here. But y'all, yeah, it might be a good time to get you some popcorn or get you something to drink or something. <laughs> yeah, bathroom break. Now's the time. Yeah, bath- to do this it. is a good time for bathroom break. Yeah, but- man, yeah. I tell you what, I go in here to say thank you, thank you, thank you to two stands <laughs> and JD <laughs> hosting this show. And they come off the top rope with a dang <laughs> elbow to the head. <laughs> I don't know about all this. Where did all this hate and discontent come from, baby? Hey, you don't uh, want to mess. You don't want to mess with two stands and his crew, man. They're pretty bad boys. They're bad boys. I tell you what, I talk about elbow to the head. No, I, I, I'm, I'm having to work out here. I've been on the tractor all this morning and seen that D and then we're moving. So I want to jump in here and say thank you to, to you two guys for doing this, uh, for welcome. hosting this for me, and. Uh, just had a lot I had to get done today, so couldn't come in here and do this myself. Thank you to all the anglers out there. I can't believe you guys can't even beat my score. My oh, wow. Score. I ain't trying to put no pressure on you. I'm out here. Look, I got 60 pounds, guys. Y'all got to come up and beat that. And I'm even trying to give you free hooks. Now, I'm coming off the top rope on you. Get busy. Get the business going or get out. That's all I got to say. Now, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. Be safe. But it's about time somebody caught some fish out there. Come on, let's win that pack of hangry hooks. Yeah, we were watching for that. Uh, la, 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 la. It would have given me a little pop up that said they were trying to come back. Yeah, I think Morgan's reeling in. I think they're going to move. Is what all he's doing there. We got Team Bad Dude there. That's Fish Digital and Bobcat. Two great <laughs> anglers out there. Hooks and hammocks. We need to we need to go find out what's going on with them. Let's see where they're at. Well, if I can stand up here, it's kind of rocky. Hey, how you holding? How you and uh, Telly holding up, man? Well, so we took Daryl's advice. We come up behind this island. When we first got here, we were like, "Oh yeah, that's nice. There's no wind." And so we started throwing all our rods out, and guess what? Wind. There's the wind. Well, there's always the option to go over to the shore and get the barbecue out and just make some hamburgers or you something. You know what? That doesn't sound bad at all. Yeah, Actually, there's just... some cows walking around up here. We could probably get some very fresh beef. Yeah. yeah. You, can go over, you can go over there and act like Stan 3 and Dan, the Goober Time Guide Service, and one of them cows come out in the lake trying to get in the boat with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we we found fish, little ones. They're just pecking away at the baits down there. So we were just going to give it a few more minutes. We actually got some current up here, so even with the wind, the boat's staying positioned the way we would like for it to, for the most part. So we might do some suspend drifting back <laughs> around this bend back there until we find another spot, maybe some less wind, and try it again. <laughs> Uncle Jeep says, sit down, Chris, you're rocking the boat. <laughs> this, boat's, this boat's a rocket, let me tell you. It almost looks like that video, that the short that you had out a while back with that uh-huh. boat. With all those that boat parade going by, parade, yeah, that actually happened here, just back up by the boat ramp. I thought so. I thought so. Uh, hey, we've got uh, Stan. I've got something I'm going to bring up here. All right. <clears throat> so, for all, I'm going to get Chris. I'll be right back to you. You're good. Do whatever you need to do. The uh, so, what do you think this is? Oh, yeah, I got that same message. That looks like Danny that. Stone has got plates fixed for me and Stan. And and I want you to look at this. Is that not the most beautiful looking bunch of hash browns you've ever seen? I'll I believe we've what. got onions, green peppers, uh, bacon. I- look at those over easy eggs and some pancakes. Oh, my God. 
That looks absolutely delicious. Thank you, thank you, Danny, for thinking about us. And then, you know, I'm sure if we could get some out there to those other anglers, they'd enjoy that too. But that is a good looking breakfast, brother. Thank you. Who knew Danny could cook? Well, or probably looking that good, that was probably Stacia that cooked it. But, uh, man, if I wasn't hungry before, I sure am now. Yeah, Stan, he don't like, he doesn't like food and he doesn't like talking. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I said that to the, I said that to the girl at the, my appointment yesterday uh -huh. or the day before about, uh, yeah, I don't like food very much. <laughs> she kind of just looked. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Girl Scout cookies. I had I had them laughing, laughing, laughing. I, I was in the Girl store. And, yeah, my wife made the mistake of telling... I was in Walmart grabbing some stuff. She made the mistake of telling me that... She's like, oh, look, they're selling... She met, sent a message to me. They're selling Girl Scout cookies in front of the Pizza Hut here. Uh, Cause it's right next to the, right next to the grocery store, yeah. so I got I got twenty extra bucks out, and uh, lo and behold, the box of Girl Scout cookies were only five dollars a box. So you don't you know I walked away with four boxes of peanut butter cookies, <laughs> but I come walking out of the store, and as I'm walking out of the store, I had I didn't hear them making any noise at all. I come out of the store, and they start yelling Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, oh, sure. Oh, sure. You see the fat man. You start yelling Girl Scout cookies. I see how it is. Yeah, Y'all attract the, the business sale. in with the fat guy. <laughs> we got to up the sale there. That's right. I want to uh, I want to check on uh, uh, is it Derek Agnew here with his phone down here in the bottom of his kayak. Derek, can you hear us? Derek, can you hear us? Yep, my uh, my green one wanted us to check on yeah. you. Yeah, we wanted to check on you, man. We, uh, I know, you, I know you broke your phone mount, but I wanted to see, uh, talk to you a little bit and see how you're doing. And uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, I came over here by these pylons to try to hide underneath the bridge and get out of the wind for a little bit. Right. See if it had died down, but you get any bites? No, no luck. Bite? I'm probably gonna I'm gonna have to get back out on the current. I guess try my luck bumping or something. So. Yeah, Mike Greenwell's in the house here. He's saying, do me a favor and, and tell Derek to get his behind up. Yeah, I'm working on it. So right, I'm brother. hooking fish over here, but, I mean, they're suspended. They just ain't hitting nothing, so we'll see. All right, man. Well, listen, man, don't don't hesitate to come up and talk to us. If you got something under your mind, if you want to uh, promote some gear or something, just holler at us. You got any okay. sponsors or anything you want to talk about? Any what? Sponsors or anything you want to talk about? Some of your fishing gear? No, sir. Uh, I I fished with uh, I used to fish with TFRs, but uh, I brought these muddy rivers for with me uh, today. And I bought them from Catcon. Absolutely. And I've been fishing with them for a couple of weeks, and I like them. So yes, sir. That seems to be the the deal with the muddy river rods. You know, once yeah. you put it in your hand, you you don't want to put it down. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I fish off a of kayak. Uh, Light little rod rack, 110 uh, Dakota lithium battery. Nice. Uh, yeah. So, the basics. What, what did so you think good. about CatCon? How did you like that experience? Uh, it was a good experience. Got to meet a lot of cool people, learn a few things. So. Awesome, awesome. Well, well that's we'll good. Be, and, uh, we'll, that looks to me like you've got your rod rack there on the front of your boat. Is that how you have no, it? No, it's on the back. My oh, okay, levels. okay. Uh, so yeah. I can turn. So. Yeah. Okay. My bad. So, yeah. That's awesome, Derek. Yeah, I've got some rods suspended, so we're trying a few things, oh. but just getting blown around everywhere right now. So. Yeah. Let me get get yourself figured out there. I appreciate and, uh, you, Derek. Holler at us when you get a chance. Yeah. There's Bobcat. Were you uh Were you yeah. waving at us, Bobcat? Yeah. I wanted to give a shout out to my sponsors, Tackle Bandit and Demon Dragons. Jeremy's been really good to me. Uh, he didn't dump me. Uh, I was down for about four months. <laughs> yeah. For all my uh, bumping. Sorry. From my swivels and all my swivels and stuff that I use hardware. 
really good to me. I always use demon dragons when I'm bumping the brute chases. Go there and buy some demon dragon brutes. Go Bobcat 20 and save you 20% off. Nice. There you go. And now you said when you said you, you use the uh, demon dragons when you're bumping? Absolutely. That's all I use when I'm bumping. Now, do you think that that extra, obviously, I, I know the float helps keep the bait up off there. Do you think the rattle helps? I think the rattle gets the fish's attention. Uh, I don't know if, if they hit the bait because of the rattle or if it just gets their attention. Sometimes I think it might irritate them or they think it's a wounded bait fish. You know, who knows? I just know they work. That's all. That's all we need to know, right? <laughs> Plus, when, when I have these brutes on, it keeps my bait off the bottom and up in the current. Um, I mean, you can use floats too, but rattle. You know, you gotta use what you have confidence in too. And I have oh, absolutely. Hey, Stan, can you hear this? I hear it. I hear that rattle. Now, I want to tell you something. This, I'm going to take Bob off the full screen. I'll be right back, Bob. Good. So, check this out Demon Dragon. If I can get it to focus in here. There you go. So this is my favorite de demon dragon. This is there it goes. This is the red and black. Now I call a fifty pound fish using this this particular float. Now this is and you, know, you could you could top water. I mean you could fish with these things on top water. But listen to how loud this thing is. It's probably the one of the loudest floats that we use uh is it but it, it is an absolute uh phenomenal i mean you don't these things aren't cheap they're like five bucks a piece but but they work well and then you know there's other options out there you know you can use peg floats and things of that nature and daryl um that was just up here with trophy seeker outdoors he did a show last sunday night on cheaper ways to fish so they they mentioned this product the demon dragon and then using peg floats, two inch peg, peg floats to float your bait. And um, so there's a lot of interesting uh, but, uh, rigs out there. But if you have any questions about rigs, uh, <laughs> any kind of ways to fish, or if you, if you just have a general question, I mean, we don't, I mean, we're not going to get into a seminar here, but if you have a question about, and you don't know, or you have something that's been on your mind about catfish, please put it in the chat. And one of the anglers out here will try to get you a good answer or put you in the right direction. Absolutely. Looks like we lost uh, Derek again. Uh, he's back. Uh, Uncle Jeep was wondering what that rattling sound was. Mm, that's a demon dragon. That's a thing that's really loud. Yep, and Bob brought up a good point. Uh, you know, using what you're confident in, and you know, there's there's a bunch of different tackle suppliers out there, and uh, use the ones that that you like. Uh, you know, obviously we use uh, FOA a lot. Yeah, FOA. Uh, but, uh, here. You got FOA. You got Trophy Cats. You got a uh, River Cats tackle. You got uh, a a bunch of different ones out there. You know, whichever ones you like the best gives you the best customer service, the ones that you want to support. Uh, that's who you go to. There's FOA Customs and Gears logo. Yep. yep. And we did mention his channel. We did mention his uh, website earlier. It's uh, FOA Customs and Gear dot com. Uh, you can use code two stands fishing. Get you save yourself a little bit of money there. We also have two other uh, FOA pro staff teams out there with us hooks and hammocks you can use hammocks 10 there at foa and also uh cool cat no uh also chad and d yep. i was just looking at ryan reeling he was reeling frantically <laughs> i thought he might have been hooked up yep chad and d they had on their uh, foa sweatshirts before so you go hooks and hammocks and mm -hmm. uh chad and d you can use uh chad's code is f TW10, Fields to Water 10. 
two stands. That's right. Or, you know, my favorite code, two stands, ten, just saying. But uh, Catfish Bill, uh, Danny Stone saying the best hook is the one you like. That's right. Mm-hmm. Use which makes you feel comfortable, no matter what brand it is, as long as you get it out there and make memories and catch fish. Catch fish, absolutely. You know, most yep. people start catfishing with uh, worms. Yeah, worms and eagle claw worms. hooks. The old eagle claw hooks, man. You just can't beat it. Go and get the, uh, you know, the rod from Walmart, the Shakespeare rod from Walmart. Or eagle go find you hooks. a cane pole. Go find you a cane pole. And, that uh, bamboo grows wild. But don't just go on somebody's property and start cutting down their bamboo. You know, you need to ask permission. Yeah, Dee's got a link in here talking about using FOA Customs and Gears. You got uh, FTW10, two stands 10, hammocks 10 for 10% off. We've got Austin with uh, Fish and Fever. We've got Team Snag and Whisker codes. There's a lot of codes. So, um, I think the you the team snag and whiskers code maybe TS TSW ten and then maybe fever ten for Austin. I'm not sure. Uh yep, Paul, that's it. I got that wrong. Yeah. What you got here? And uh Oh there you go. That's right. Greenwell fishing. Part of the FOA team. You want to be like Mike? Use code BUMP10 at the FOA, FOA site. <laughs> glad, glad to have Mike Greenwell in the house. Yep. I know uh, J-Dog10, that's right. <laughs> J-Dog10 also, <laughs> FOA. That, that's got to be my favorite code because, you know, J-Dog is my BFF. Even though he wow. never calls, he doesn't write. Doesn't send cookies anymore. I don't know. Yeah, you just been you've been thrown out to the uh, thrown out to the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, never calls me. I say that though. You know what? He's gonna call me live while the show is on. Ooh. Chad, is that fried squash? No, oh, it's fried green maters. Oh lordy! And you got ranch dressing with that or blue cheese? They gave me ranch with it. There you go. You you really are in Alabama, aren't you? <laughs> the only thing that would have made it better is if we would have stopped at the Whistle Stop Cafe. <laughs> Any liver? Oh, Lordy. I want y'all to look. Oh, man, that's good stuff right there. Stuff right there I'm talking about. Uh, Want to be outdoors? That's right. Trophy Cat Tap. Uh, I think Matt's got a code for that. And uh, you got a... Uh, why, why is his name? I can't think of his name. Uh, Terry Rose with the uh, bank tournament that he does on Facebook. Uh, we're, we'll do the score update here in a second. We got a, It's been a while. We got a few people asking. Yeah, we'll bring that up for you here in just a second. <laughs> fish, at, fish on Ed Evans saying, so what's up with Nightbot being up during the day? When my show starts back up, I wonder if Nightbot will still be up. He That's may funny. Be. He may be. Let me uh, bring the score sheet back up here. <laughs> you got that right, Danny. Danny said if the wind blew that plate out of his hands, you'd see Chad crying. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, we'd still pick him up and eat him, but uh, he'd be crying. Just, just saying. <laughs> you might oh, see me go right. in. <laughs> <laughs> And Stan, I'm going to bring up the scoreboard for you here. <laughs> here we go. So here we go. Here's the current score for today. So far today, you got a uh, kayak Mike with 35.5. Ryan Bortz at, uh, I'm sorry, Bobcat and Fashizzle. My bad, dude. My bad. At 30.08, you got uh, Ryan Bortz, 17.9. Chad and Deer at 5.36. We are almost to the halfway point, and I think uh, if we could check the total weight. Coming right up, sir. So 65, 70, 87, around this, 90. This, this is my Flintstone spreadsheet. Well, not bad for uh, 
There we go. 88.84. And if you go to the, uh, so 88.84 pounds of fish today so far. <clears throat> and I think not bad considering it's our first uh, score spreadsheet that we've done. So we get the master going and kind of uh, be able to adjust it for the different tournaments from now on. We'll make that a little bigger. So this is the uh, overall okay. ranking for the entire tournament so far. The ones in pink, uh, they fished last week. So uh, you got Ray in per first place, 95. Jody's in second with 84. Yakshore, 74. Uh, Woody, TSO, Daryl was uh, in fourth with 60. And in fifth, you got Ed Jenkins uh, and his son Cole. They are in fifth at 42.5. Uh, and Ed happens to be the Tennessee representative for uh, Operation Vets with Nets. I know Daryl is also a part of the organization there, and John with uh, Catfish Hunters. So if you want to, if you're looking to get involved with a great organization that helps get some vets back out on the water, make sure you check out Operation Vets with Nets.org. And uh, that all the information will be there and how you can sign up. And if you know a vet that needs the trip, just send them there. And they can sign up for a trip, get back out on the water. And that's right. Nightbot is reminding us that if you'd like to fish with us on stand day, come out fishing live, just like we're doing here right now. Uh, difference is, this is the king of the Tennessee tournament. Uh, we do stand day. You can fish in your own waters, regardless of where that's at. We have people from uh, like Danny Stone there that fishes stand day with us all the time from out there in the on the mighty Mississippi River. Uh, we got people Tony Harrison I saw in here earlier and 202 and Smoke and uh, Big Mac fishing uh, from up on the uh, up on the P -P Potomac River. You got uh, Timmy does the uh, Susquehanna River most of the time, but he fishes a bunch of places. Uh, Jody and James come in on stand day sometimes at fishing the Tennessee. So, uh, anywhere across the country, just get in touch with us. That's the number two stands fishing at gmail.com. We can get the link to you. Uh, let's see. Yep. The Potomac river. I was, <clears throat> my voice was cracking, Tony. I couldn't get the p -p 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 out right. So, <laughs> That's right, Timmy. Can't forget Timmy. He's probably one. It's probably close between him and Stand Three. And Tony's up there too, who won the most Stand Days. Yeah, and we've got a um, we've got another event coming up here on the Tennessee. We'll talk about Stand. It's called the Gathering. There you go. Let me get that up for you. And if the uh, anglers would catch some fish here, I wouldn't well, have to be stuttering to through. Work. That's right. I wouldn't have to be stuttering through my words here. Oh, you're <laughs> fine, man. We got the gathering coming up. Yeah, that's going to be on uh, May 17th through the 19th. That's going to be really fun. We can do some, you can do some pre-order t-shirts for that. Now he's not going to mail them out. If you're going to go <laughs> uh, to the gathering, uh, you can pre-order some t-shirts from Bobcat and uh, he'll you know, have maybe, on you when you get there. Maybe if you know somebody that's going, even if you're not going, maybe they can bring one back for you. Absolutely. There you go, Matt. Appreciate you sharing all the links out there today. Matt doing uh, a manga job. That's right. That's the uh, the gathering Facebook page there. <laughs> we have um, is Dan Danny Stone out there fishing today? I, I guess he's just cooking and eating today. Yeah, well, Stacy was doing the cooking, so he's just doing the eating. I think. Oh, is that I what it is? I'd Glad be shocked if Danny's me. not fishing this weekend at all. That would be... Uh, yeah, he, he'd go into DTs. Yeah. And you guys, if you don't know about Danny Stone Outdoors, um, go over there and subscribe to his channel. Uh, I'm telling you, 
he uh, he he broadcasts live from his phone. He's out there on the Mississippi River fishing. Uh, just a really really fun dude. Um, he's um, he gets out there and just has a really good time. He has a lot of passion for fishing. So please go subscribe to uh, Danny Stone's channel. Got Mr. Tony Harrison out here. Uh, he is a, a bank fisherman up in uh, the D.C. Uh, upper Virginia area. Uh, but he's got a great channel as well. Go sub to Tony Harrison. Right. Tony, drop the mic, Harrison. Yeah, Tony's phenomenal. He fishes on Stan Day a lot. And for those that don't know, uh, you know, Stan has a fishing show on Sunday mornings, which will be up live tomorrow from 9 to 12. And he um, he does a really <laughs> good job there. We, I'm going to bring up a uh, uh, ticker here, so if I can get that to uh, come across the bottom. You can reach out to Stan at Fish Stan Day. Um, you get bragging rights for the week. You don't win anything, but you uh, you win the uh, bragging rights for the week. But if you want to practice for a live fishing tournament league broadcast or you want to practice for any live fishing broadcast, it's a great place to do it. Uh, no stress. And uh, Stan and I can help you. That's right. Um, Let us deal with the stress. And <laughs> yeah, don't have to worry about all that. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Uh-oh. Speaking got, of Tony got, Harrison. Boom, oh, boom, bam. Look it's at that. Me. Remember for 25 months. 25 months. months. Thank you, thank you, Tony. Appreciate you being out there. Thank you, thank you. You're going to rock the house with Tony Harrison. That's right, that right. This this may be, uh, you know, this may be the extra points on Stan Day. You never know. You never know. Yeah, and uh, when you do fish stand day, you can get, if you have any stand day, uh, two stands, fishing gear, a t-shirt, hat, or sticker, um, you can earn a point two two and get on the board. That's right. Even the chat can score on stand day. Uh, uh, matter of fact, uh, LG Bass took second place on stand day from his from his living room uh, not too long ago. So. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like Chad's got a lot better stream going. What we got going on there? Action over there. Team, my bad. On the move. They're on the move. Yeah, and Ryan, Ryan out there just bumping away. My wife has started making some of these. We're doing oh, some let me of these. Bring you, let me bring you up there, Stan. Hang on. We've been what doing you, some of what these. What you got? What you got? We've been doing some of these awesome shirts. So this is just oh, uh, one design God. that she's working on. A little catfish design. But we've got the two stands, and you can get your name put on it. Nice. You can reach out to uh, Stan at... Um... He's got an email here. We put that up for you. <laughs> Aaron Grubbs saying, where's all the fish? I, we're asking the same question. Well, it's, you know, you got full moons and solar flares, solar flares. And where's Tony Harrison's book? You know, Tony Harrison has a book or he, he, he can come up with all the excuses on why you're not catching fish, you know, well, mm. and they're, they're not excuses. It's uh, what happened is. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can find Tony Harrison. Is Tony Harrison still in here with us? Yeah, he was just here a minute ago. Hey, there's oh. Sampy out there. Great right. to see you, Sampy. I can bring him. Hey, Sampy, how are you, sir? I could bring up, uh, I don't know if I could get, um, send him a link and have him come up here and explain, you know, why we don't catch fish. Because oh, he rocks. Yeah, I would, if he's going to come up, I would drop out for a second, let him come up and do that. Right, but you, do, you go ahead and drop out, Stan. Do whatever you need <laughs> to do, sir. <laughs> the show will go on without you. There you go, Matt. Want to be outdoor? I need to get me a two stand shirt for when I fish the tourney. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we also got some, we got uh, the Bank vs. Boat tournament coming up here. Uh, we were speaking about Danny Stone. 
Yeah, I've got um, I've got a picture of that, or I have a thumbnail. And uh, that was uh, that was his idea, and he put fine. me put me on the spot on a stand day. He knew how to get it done. Like I'll just tell you, I'll tell, tell you right on stand day. That way you have to do it. Here we go. Yeah, so we've got uh, another tournament next weekend coming up called Bank versus Boat. And that'll be uh, on Two Stands Fishing Channel for the Bank Anglers. And then we're going to have uh, the Boat Anglers will be on my channel, JG Hill Studio. Now we'll have um, uh, subscriber mode on my channel for that. So if you want to comment, uh, you just have to uh, subscribe to my channel. And, it, and I think it takes about a minute or something, and then you can come up and comment. Yeah. And, you know, throughout this week, we're going to be trying to get some extra people over there to JG's channel, so they're all ready, ready for next weekend. Yep. Uh, but if you're, if you're on, uh, if you're watching the show, the tournament for my channel, you'll be able to get right on over there. We'll have the link in the chat for JG's Fish. channel. Fish on! Woo! Trolling motor. I'm trying, bro. Oh, this is a good fish. Where's he going? He's going. He ain't going uh -oh. nowhere. Uh-oh. We could have a new tournament leader here. I'm going to kill the trolling motor. I think we're going to get through. Back on. I'm gonna bring bring cool cats back in and then we'll get huh? get Bob okay. back up here. Looks like uh oh. he took that troll motor off. He, he, the boat just took off in that current. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna bring I'll bring uh bring Bob back oh. up here. Oh my goodness. That's some that's some sketchy stuff. That's where knowing your waters stage. Shade Tree is saying, let's go, bald cat. Fishing with Jay Law. Uh, saying, uh, I see y'all bumping. Me and Nathan are at the dam getting bait. What? Oh, that's a gar. My bad, dude. <laughs> Danny Stone saying, get it, Bobcat, get it. They got some good flow, absolutely. Don't have the trolling motor on. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Get off front of the boat, dude. He's me. Oh, my gosh, the excitement. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, fish in the boat. Heck yeah, look at that belly. <laughs> Uncle Jeep was saying, uh, what's with the remote? Is that Bobcat watching episodes of General Hospital he missed while he's pretending to be bumping? That's yeah, funny. Gotta watch that remote when they... You got to love Jeep, man. He's our favorite troll. That's right, that's right. Skipjack Cindy in the house. Good to see you, Cindy. Skipjack Cindy's a fisherman down on the Tennessee River as well. Uh, yeah, let's get some guesses going out there. Aaron Grubb is saying 40. Want to be outdoors. I like the way you think, Matt. 42.22. Uh, definitely believe it only needs to be uh, five pounds to go into first place for today. And y'all are only 60 pounds shy, or 60, 65 pounds shy from first place in the whole tournament. Seven, 50. 40. 
Four o'clock in. It, I would say right about 49.6 is what I would say. It was kind of hovering around. Yeah. No, 49. 49.6. Oh, yeah. It's, it's around four pounds, but I'll, that's, a, that's even a point one can matter all way to this. There you go. That's right. That's right. So what are we getting on the weight here, Stan? 49.6. We'll, we'll go with that because it was a... Uh, now... We got Josh, we'll Thompson, Josh Thompson's out there. How's it going? Yeah, he's going to weigh the net. Oh, look yeah, at there, look at there. And another lost this. Good fish, Bobcat. Way to go, Bobcat. Yeah, you go. Uh, he's going back. Nice fish. And that uh, we almost hit the 50 pound mark. Good. For the. Uh, Fish on that Evan T shirt, but wasn't quite there. But these guys did win a pack of hooks. So Bobcat, right, right. Bobcat, Brandon, Bobcat, you need to get in touch with Daryl. Get your hooks. You got. You want a pack of hooks? Yeah, I'm going to talk to him about that right now, Danny. And we're just waiting on a wait for the net. That's right. Big Mike is saying that's a piggy. And Danny was telling us earlier that uh, with the Mad Cat scale, you have got to put the hold mode on. So you hold down the hold button, and then it will go into lock mode, so it will lock out. Yeah, we're going to have a little win. I do have these anglers unmuted. Uh, so if they want to comment. Uh, and once we get this score in there, JG, I think that's gonna that's gonna shake up the uh, top five. Yeah. That that's gonna end up being somewhere around forty six pounds, depending on the net. The net is probably three pounds ish. Point four on the net. Breaking up, Bob. What did you say? 2.84, Brandon. Hey, uh, Bobcat, if you could just use the fingers, was that 2.84 for the net? What do you think, chat? I... <laughs> yeah, it's so loud there, they probably can't even hear us right now. Yeah, he's moving. But I think he said 2.84, but I'm going to hold off. Before I put it to the score sheet, yep. as until as we, I got, know. we got it written down and yeah, yeah, Matt's saying two point eight four. That seems to be what what we thought we said. Yeah. I had to mute Captain Morgan. Um, he had a lot of wind. 
Did we lose yet? No, there's Chad. There mm. we are. Yeah. Oh, the the next. Coming back. Are we back? You're back. Oh, right. I don't know what happened, but Tilly's got a fish on. Oh, good. We just uh, did uh, Bobcat and Fish Sizzle just put a out of 47 in the boat. Waiting on the official waiting here. Enough to get on the board. We like that part. I want you to look how tangled up that fish is. Wow. Goodness gracious. I want you to look that that sinker's as big as his fish. <laughs> that was thoughts by Chad. Oh, did I say that out loud? I thought I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got bass fishing with Paul in the house with us. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, we have 110 people watching. Thank you, thank you. If you uh, haven't yeah. hit the thumbs up yet, you get please, those, uh, please get those little fish in there. I'm sorry, Stan. You, you get good? those little fish in the boat like that. Those are the ones that are really get you. And then when he's wrapped up, and then you get him unwrapped, and then he just goes to flopping everywhere. Oh, Lord. Well, we'll get right to you there. Cornbread. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Cornbread for you. <laughs> like that one. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah, when I get those little ones in the boat, that's where you see me do that technique where I hold them upside down. Yeah, they get a little lethargic that way, don't they? Yeah, calms Calm them right people. down. Nice work, Fish and Fever say nice work, H and H. Glad to have Austin in the house. If you guys don't know, um, go over here subscribe to Fish and Fever's channel. That was a really good job. He fishes the James River. 15.2. 1.52. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you like that 15.2? I, I had a good story going. The are point two. So we got a one. It's bigger than a 1.32, but what the, that's what the whole thing said. Yeah, that's what it said. And what did the grips weigh? Point 0.2. Yeah, it was 1.52 and then point 0.2 for the grip. So, hey, you had a image that I was glad we <laughs> I think, I think the wind was blowing upward direction that time and was lifting the fish. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Got it. Right up here. Cornbread for you, Quarrel says this is Cornbread, the ranger at River Park. If you need anything, let me know. All right, awesome. Appreciate the ranger coming in. Definitely. Thank you. And, thank uh, you. Let me get down here. We definitely and, appreciate that. Uh, we get, uh, let's see, let me see if I can get a whole bobcat and fish his away. Hey, Brandon, you got me? Uh, 
Hey, Bob, what was the weight of the net? I can't hear you. Use your hands. Use your fingers. Use your fingers. Three. Surprise with the bait's bigger than the fish. <laughs> well, he started with a three, so we were wrong. <laughs> this is the issue we had last week, too. So, are we saying 3.8? 3.86. Thank okay. you. Thank you. That's the last time you'll have to do it today. <laughs> okay, so team, my bad dude, their grips are 0.26. And the, the net is 3.86. <laughs> Got the got that updated. Um, got that in there. Got Chris and Telly's fish in there. I'm gonna bring the uh, score sheet up for you, Stan. All right, all right. Well, Mr. Nate said he heard the net was 38.6. That's funny. <laughs> now you know. Now you know what we're fighting. And here we go. So. That puts Bobcat in, in first place for today, 75.82. Bobcat for shizzle. My bad, dude. They are 45.74, 15.5, 14.54, Kayak Mike is in second for today, 35.5. Ryan Bort, 17.9. Chad and D, 5.36. Chris and Telly got on the board with that one plus pounder. So, uh, pounds for today caught so far. One thirty, hundred thirty-five point nine zero, And with that big fish, that's going to shake up the overall score. Remember in pink, the ones in pink fished last week already. So, uh, that, that fish there currently put uh, Bobcat up there into third place. Bobcat and for shizzle, my bad dude. They're in third place right now with about two hours and 45 minutes left. A little bit over that. They need to upgrade one of their fish. What is that? 20, little less than 20 pounds. So they just need a, they need a 34 pounder, 35 pound fish. And they can take the lead. That is awesome. There's Mac fishing. How's it going? So Stan, I got a question for all the anglers. Sure. I know uh, last week we all watched, right? To watch mm -hmm. the competition and see what we had to do this week. Um, how many want Ray Ferguson's problem of? Uh, oh, I can't stop catching 30s. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hate when I have that problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like champagne problems, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> that poor little fella. I, I heard he got a blister catching 30 pounders, you know. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he did say last week, yeah, I got to get out. I got to get away from these little fish to go try to find some bigger ones. No! Uh oh. We let go. We let go. You know what? We may we may end up. Uh, what tournament is it? There's a tournament that that has that. Uh, I believe it's the Whisker Bowl, isn't it? Where if you yell "fish on" and uh, it gets off, it's a penalty against you. Yep. Uh, Anthony J. All day. Welcome in. Hoping someone catches a record cat. And and JG will go. Oh, yeah. Hang on a second. 
We'll go back to the 1999 from the Ranger. Uh, you know what they, the Rangers, your uh, uh, game wardens, law enforcement in general. Uh, tough, tough job out there. But uh, we used to go fishing in Jersey, and we used the state campgrounds a lot. So big shout out to the Rangers for what they do there. Yeah, and we're going to do a uh, Stan has Stan jig for you. Cornbread for you. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate you coming in and watching. Uh, and letting everybody know who you are. The Ranger at River Park. So that must be a great place to launch the boats and stuff if uh, the Ranger is that cool. So thank you, thank you. All right, time to go rag Mike. So we are 114 awesome people. We've got some people over there in the uh, Facebook world. Hey, Mike. What up? Mike, we got to have a 46, man. You slacking. Let's roll. I know. I'm trying. They just cut the water on us, so I think I'm about to go up in the hydros. All right, man. Look, at, he said they cut the water, and that looks like it's still rolling pretty good to me. <laughs> I mean, it, it's going, but like, I wasn't able to get up here when we started. I hear you. I hear you. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. That's one of the things that I, I am uh, in my my fishing career that I have not done much of. Fishing dams like that is something I definitely want to do one day. All right, Mike. Good luck. Go get him, man. Try. Go check on. Let's see where we got here. So, uh, Mac, come in. Good to see you, Mac. Mac does stand days with us whenever he can. Hey, Ryan, you on the move? Yeah. You on the move? Yeah. You on the move? I'm to go back up to the top. Okay. All right. We'll catch you when you get up there. All right. We need a. You need a forty-six. I'm going up there for an eighty. So. Oh well. You, <laughs> did you, you, you quit? You quit school because it had recess, right? <laughs> no, because I had math. Oh, is that what it was? All right. We'll check on you in a minute. Appreciate. You. Oh well. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. I appreciate that. Catfishing with Ed J. Said I could hop on the boat anytime. That is awesome. Uh, Matt, want to be outdoors? Where's S3? He's uh, probably working on his boat <laughs> or fishing, one or the other. Uh, let's see. Big Mike fishing with Big Mike is saying current is 40. 800 at the chick. All right, Anthony J. All day is reminding us 93 likes. We only need seven more to hit 100. We're a little yeah, over the halfway great. point. We can thank reach. you, thank you. Appreciate that. And I saw, I don't know if Fish and Fever is still in here, but uh, after Boat First Bank next week, next Saturday. Uh, we got Fish and Fever has a tournament here on the James River. It's yeah. the Hickory Heavyweight uh, here on the James River. The first hour is all about catching bait. So the most uh, Hickory Shad that are caught in the first hour, I think he upped it to White Perch too this year, but they you get that, uh, you get the first hour is just catching bait. At the real, I mean, at the one-hour mark, you can go use whatever bait you caught. If you haven't caught any bait yet, you're allowed to use chicken. Or you can continue to try to catch some shad. And there it is. Want to be outdoors? Putting in uh, the link for fishing fever there. Who's your daddy catfishing is in the house? 
Look at that. He got the belt right there. Says the real champ is here. <laughs> that's that's funny. All right, Chad is on the move. <laughs> Burrito catfishing lady says you gotta watch you gotta watch when you're with Captain Morgan on a boat. When he drops the anchor, he really hurls it out there, then decides to grab the rope. <laughs> That's how all the old schoolers do it. What's up, Doc? Good to see you. I stole the Dustin joke. That's right. Josh Thompson. Thompson's outdoors more. Uh, speaking of the Tennessee River, just three miles east of Watts Bar Dam. For all your bait and tackle needs and more. Home of the Shelby Riggs. Also an FOA outlet there. And he's probably got a television going in there watching the tournament right now inside the bait shop. And we got another boom, 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 bam. Keith Doc Reed member for seven months, seven months. Awesome. I've got to meet Doc at several cat cons right now. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate you being a two stands fishing family member. Uh, fishing Fever says, I'm here about to be driving my. Oh, gosh. Grandpa passed away last night, so headed to my parents' house. Wow. Well, prayers with the family. Definitely. Uh, sorry for your loss there, Austin. And, uh, Man, that's tough. So, yep. Awesome to be dealing with that. A lot of awesome busy person right now. I got that. Oh, sad news there, but uh, got some bright news coming. Got a new baby coming on the way in April. Somewhere right after uh, your birthday there, JG. Yeah. Oh, Lord, we got another one in here. That's right. Martin in the UK, international. Member for 17 oh, months. And Appreciate that, Martin. Here you go, brother. Heck yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Martin. Appreciate that. Well, JG, thank you, thank you. your birthday? Jolly would like to know when JG's birthday is. The 4th of April. Ah. Jolly's is the 16th of April. And my my newest granddaughter's is the 2nd of April. So some pretty awesome people born in April. Absolutely. More awesome people born in December. Right, Chad? Uh huh. I don't think he can hear. You. He's moving. <laughs> I'm kind of fond of October myself, but uh, just saying. Stan's a Halloween baby. I am a reversed Halloween baby because I'm on the 13th. Uh -huh. I, knew there think, was, I knew there was you, something wrong with you. You would think it would have been the 22nd, you know, with the twos, but uh. Uh, fishing with Big Mike says cornbread is the coolest park ranger on the Tennessee River and a, a great, great friend too. Well, absolutely That's awesome. Thank you, cornbread. Yeah, and I, I you know, I, I recommend trying to get a relationship with uh, the Rangers, your game wardens, uh, the DNR, whatever. I've met a few of them here and talked with them, and uh, really good people. And if they know that you're out there trying to do the right things, uh, they, they've become pretty good friends. And that's right. Night, Nightbot is reminding us that Fish and Fever now has a second channel called Pond Fever. Check it out. All of his uh, pan fishing adventures are going to be going over there. 
Oh, now Brian's trying to suck up. That's right. His, his birthday is in March. My mother's birthday in March. My wife's birthday in March. March is busy. So, yeah, that's like a, uh, that sounds like a good month to uh, go broke in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Save up. There we go. Greenwell is saying October 29th, baby. saying hello to who's your daddy <laughs> we need to get over here daddy and on, June we need to get over here and check on James you know what I hear who's your daddy you know what I think of and it's a sad another sad uh oh Doc's the 13th shares the birthday with me what do you know about that awesome but when I when I hear the uh, "Who's your daddy?" it makes me think of uh, "Who's your daddy?" "Who's your baby?" "Who's your honey?" "Who's your <laughs> man?" <laughs> Boy, my my voice is just a cracking today. Everybody hear that? <laughs> You're all right. Hey, go get you some lemon drops, man. Mister uh, Toby Keith, there. That's a sad. I haven't sad, seen you. Uh, I haven't seen you uh, sucking down no melon Mountain Dews. What you got? I, I got my regular old school Diet, Diet Mountain, Mountain Dew. Yeah. Let's let's uh let's go roll up James, man. What is going on? Yeah, I think James's uh back is getting to him there a little bit today. James, you all right? Can you holler at us? Yeah, I'll holler at you. There you ain't gotta get up. I can hear you. <laughs> no, I'm getting ready to reel in and move to another spot. Well, get your weight up. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Let's roll. I know you know how to fish. I've seen you do it. I, got good bait too. I think uh, James needs the Snickers or some of Jody's cooking, one or the other. Yeah, he sounds a little down and out. I, I think he needs to go for a Snicker bar or something. Yeah, I can go for a Snicker myself. I'm just you saying. know they usually they usually got those um, jelly little Debbie cakes in the boat somewhere. We need to get something for James. I can't stand those little Debbies. <laughs> How about them? I'll take cookies or something, but maybe got cookies. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure you got plenty of food in that boat. James back there with his 70 pound sticker on his boat I after feeding. So James would definitely not like that background screen then. Oh, uh, we got the little Debbie uh, fat cakes here. Nope. Ice cream cake, man, is some good eating. He definitely wouldn't want that one. James has got his jersey on today, looking good. Palmetto cats are flying. Get back to comments here. There we go. Burrito catfishing ladies saying Randy's birthday is before the wedding and after. And mine and hers is after. Uh, I saw Freddie saying that uh, FOA was in here. Oh. Saying that his birthday is tomorrow, but he's sick. What a birthday present. Oh, man. So Freddie's sick. He said he was struggling. He was supposed to fish this tournament, and he uh, he said he was not going to get in all this win. He'd been sick, and he did not want to get any better, any worse, I mean. Yeah, and I think he was going to fish that, uh, what is it, the King Cat tournament? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah. Missy Kennedy's out there. How's it going, Missy? Uh, look at there. Palmetto is. Uh... He's going out on a limb. Yeah, he is. I think that I think that jet lag's getting to his brain. Yeah, I'm saying because uh, old old bald uh, <coughs> bald cat and for shizzle there, my bad. They only need a. Let me bring that 30, up for you. They need a 35 pound fish. Is all they need. There we go. Let me go down there to the overall weight. So here we go. The ones in pink have already fished. So Ray Ferguson. Still in the lead right there with the 9502. 
Jody's still in second and still has the big fish of the tournament. Jody's big fish, just under 63 pounds. She's well, the eight. Did I, hear, did I hear fish on? I thought I heard something. Uh... I don't see a fish on. No, no, guess not. So looks like well Ray Ray Fergie Palmetto was thinking that he's gonna win. Currently right now you got uh Bobcat in third place. He needs uh, about 20 more pounds, so he only needs a 35-pound fish to take over first pace. There it is. Freddie's birthday tomorrow. He's sick. Boy, that jumped way back up there. Palmetto cats are flying. We did a motor in in your honor before, Kevin. Yep. Who's your daddy catfishing saying Ryan Bortz looks like the belt is leaving Kentucky? I don't think that's affecting Ryan much. He's still got that. He's got still his, got his, Ryan, Ryan, I've got you on full screen here. We're, we're talking about your game face, man. What is it? Yeah, we're talking about you get you got your game face on. Are you better at when you're not very deep bulls? <laughs> oh. Got a head. I think it took my bait. Yep. Are you fishing on credit? Fishing on credit. Oh, who's, man. Who's your daddy catfishing saying looks like Ray Ferguson is Ryan's daddy? Woo. He is today. <laughs> a smack talk. At least if I lose, it wasn't to Daryl. It like, wasn't to Daryl. That's funny. You know that it, it's funny. Uh, everybody that I talked to in this tournament said, "Yeah, I really want to win it, but as long as I don't lose to Daryl, I'll be okay." Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was everybody's goal was uh, to win, and if they didn't win, as long as they beat Daryl, they were good with it. All right, we hit a hundred thumbs up. Thank you, Don R. He said he was number 100. Uh, Missy Kennedy getting ready to be discharged, so she's ready to go home. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's some great news. I hope that that means you're uh, on the road to recovery. Parker Pursuits out there. Good friend Jerry. How's it going? 110 awesome people still watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everybody's having a good day out there. Uh, not as busy as last week, but still some fish being caught. <laughs> That's right. Want to be outdoors, Matt. is saying winning is not the goal when Daryl's involved. It's as long as I beat Daryl. <laughs> Holy crap. Missy Kennedy said I got run over by my own SUV last night. What in the world? Well, I hope you're all right. Stan, I'll be right back. All right, my friend. Burrito catfishing ladies. Daryl says anyone can beat him. <laughs> Woo. So let's see. We've got one, two anglers on the move. Here is. Here is the score sheet from today. So, so far today, Bobcat and Fashizzle have a, uh, 40.32 40 pound lead 
over second place, Kayak Mike. Uh, my bad dude, seventy five point eight. Kayak Mike, thirty five point five. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Ryan Bort, seventeen point nine. Chad and D at five point four. And Chris and Telly got the catfish on the board. There's our good friend Uncle Lou is in the house. He's saying, let's go, Chad and Hooks. What the what? Denny Stone is saying, did y'all know Jerry Parker is hanging from a rope on the side of a skyscraper watching this? He's not kidding. That dude, Jerry's nuts. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, Missy. Uh, and of course, Daryl is from Trophy Seekers Outdoors. Dan three cheering on Bob and Brandon saying, let's go. Y'all got this. I think it's just great seeing everybody so focused on fishing. That's one thing with bumping. If you look at the bumping, they're constantly for, for somebody that, that, uh, if you think catfishing is boring, you need to try bumping that that might be uh that might be the way to do it holy crap yep just got the picture from missy dang missy Be still out there with us. So trying to keep the eyes open here. We've got pretty much everybody muted because there is pretty much wind across the entire state of Tennessee. There you go. People say they want to fish with me until they fish with me. We work over here drifting, dragging, bumping, none of that sitting. <laughs> yep, some days that's... uh. That is what it takes. You got to get it in front of the act of fish. Mike definitely is out there putting his time in. Matt said, got down to 35 in northern Arkansas last night. Wind was horrible. Yeah, I think cold front swept across the country pretty much. I see Nightbot's being a little uh, friendlier to Brian B. <laughs> David Smith out there. Great to see you again. He's been in here with us today. Uncle Don R saying he can't sit still while fishing. Got 
Got to keep moving as much as he can. <laughs> Uncle Jeep says, everyone is muted. I guess that everyone is suffering from Daryl disease. They're blowing so much hot air, it's overloading their mic. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome, Uncle Jeep. Uh, Missy Kennedy saying, come on, D and Chad. I'm pulling for you. It's still, there's a, still two hours and 20 minutes left. It's still anybody's game. Brian B is saying that sitting and waiting is the fun part of fishing. <laughs> there's Lynn out there. 35, that's a heat wave. <laughs> Matt was on the heading out to fish until he got to the river. Mother Nature, she he sees that Mother Nature's back on the tequila. <laughs> well, and Don R, that's why you need those guard dogs. That's why you. Uh, that's why you use them. Yeah, James on Cool Cat's uh, boat will use guard dogs. I don't know if he's using them today. James, are you using any guard dogs today? To me? Yes, sir. No. He'll use them sometimes. I know when he's anchored up. Yep, I think they're pretty cool. You end up spending time. You know, they're supposed to be so you don't have to watch your rods, but then you got them hooked up and you spend more time watching your rods because you want to see it go off. Well, they scare the heck out of you. <laughs> I actually got to feel it at CatCon, and it does put a pretty good. Uh, it 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 doesn't jerk. It. It's a it's a strong pull, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Catfish fever and outdoors. Saying that was me. Who's your daddy? Got to lighten the mood in here. <laughs> that's right. You know, that's uh, Brian B's got the dossier. He's got the secret files on everybody. Screenshots included. <laughs> Knows everybody's aliases and second and third channel names. And <laughs> Whew, Uncle Lou saying, Brian, you don't know squat. It could be, could be. Uncle Jeep is saying, Ryan Bortz has got this in the bag. He knows people like tourneys that come down to the last few minutes, so he's holding back. <laughs> he knows that no one wants to relive another Brian B. Dinkins. Fish on, fish on, fish on tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Jody could even see the cast that with the wind blowing the hair across her face like that. That was pretty impressive cast, Jody. Yeah, it's pretty much, uh, yep, everybody's muted. Otherwise, no. it would be nothing, nothing but yeah, wind guess, noise here. What I'm doing is I'm going through there and just making sure. I mean, I'm watching this yeah. really close. Yeah. And what I yeah. do is I'll go through, and some of these anglers have their own mics muted, and I'm having to mute some of them. But you don't want to sit here and listen to wind. Nope. But, but if it's anybody wants channel. I'll say I've been listening to YouTube for a couple hours now, so... 
<laughs> you don't hear me it's not that we have a choice, but. <laughs> so while you're there, Chad, Joshua Parham has a question. Does What's anybody up, have Joshua? A, does anybody have a preferred hook they like to use? Hmm. Not yet. I have been tested. I've probably tested out about 10 different hooks the last two years trying to find the one. And I actually have some new ones that I just got on some of these rigs, but unfortunately, the fish don't want to cooperate today. And, you know, of course, Chad's hook of choice right now is the FOA hooks. Actually, that is there is one of those that are actually really growing on me, and that's the bright bite hook. I really like those. That that tends to be one of our favorites too, and by we I mean Stan Three. You know, you I know the, him... the one thing I don't like about that hook stand. What's that? I think it's so flipping sharp. All I I catch myself every flipping time <laughs> I use it. I know. Look, I got I got a boo boo from the last time I it still ain't healed. <laughs> I got one caught in my jersey, just the tip of it though, right <laughs> in the. <laughs> yeah, now they are they're they're. It's, a, it's like a super long point, and it is sharp. Uncle Lou is saying, Chad, stop running your flappers and hurry and start catching some fish. Woo. Dude, I, we, we're we now down towards the deeper end of Wilson trying to figure it out because, yeah, we've done about every depth up to about 65 feet is where we're at now. The bank Unless. didn't do nothing. 20, 30, 40s didn't do nothing. Well, we caught the one the one little five pounder, but I don't want to catch those little Brian B. Dinkin fish. Brian B. Catfishing says river stickers and bright fights work pretty good. There you go. Catfish Fever and Outdoors is saying Trophy Cat Tackle has awesome hooks, and they just uh, released some new ones. Uh, let's see. That's right. That's right. We the FOA codes we have. We use two stands 10, FTW 10, uh, Hammocks 10, TSW 10. We brought up uh, Trophy Cats Tackle, River Cats Tackle. Anybody else out there? Anybody else have a... Uh, Hook of choice, a preferred hook that they use, they have confidence in. Everybody's muted, so you just got to let me know if, if you want to answer. I'm not muted. Can I go again? Sure. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> There we go. There's some, uh, there's the hooks we were talking about there. I like them orange ones. That's the ones I've been using the most. Yep, the orange ones. Uh, Stand three likes the yellow ones. I've I've had real good luck with the. Uh, I've had real good luck with the green ones there. Uh, Joshua Parham says he likes the River Cats tackle hooks. Actually, there's another one that Freddie has too, and I'm going to hopefully be able to use it a lot more this summer when I'm targeting flathead. And that's his river um, river hooks. Yeah, I definitely want to get some of those. The, that's the uh, the bigger ones. Yeah, but those will be great underneath a float. Fishing for flathead. Joe, Joe Garrett says he likes the Whisker Seeker triple threats, eight aught or ten aught. Uncle Lou. Prefer his 10 aught wide. Absolutely. Oh. There you go, Jody. 10 aught Minotaur execution. No, they're 9 aught. My bad. Execution Minotaur hood. There you go. It's got a deep, it's got a deep uh, bend in it there. I know. That'd be they good for everything. That'd be good for big chunks of bait. Or Whatever they get, they stick. Awesome. Do you have a Do you have a code for Minotaur hooks? Jody, 
twenty. Jody twenty. No, there you Jody go. Jody twenty five. My bad. Jody twenty five. Now I think he's got on sale right now. Uh, la 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 la. That's Catfish Adventures saying she likes the river stickers. Uncle Loop for my ten aught wide. Honolulu oh. just likes stickers. <laughs> We caught a bunch of fish on Uncle Lou Hooks. Matter of fact, one of the biggest fish that I've ever seen came on an Uncle Lou Hook and an, um, a medium action Uncle Lou rod. Where is that picture that nobody's ever Don't seen? Do it. Stop it. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry, wrong show, wrong show. <laughs> I just got Brian says off. Brian says don't do it Stan don't do it who just got broke off I did Brian come on bro I'm I'm seriously not even putting baits on mine so you can take the belt hook back home with you <laughs> that's Bob training them fish with them knives down there <laughs> I don't even understand this right now. I mean, I literally, we're sitting in the bubble. Honolulu always says, follow the bubble. We're in the bubble. We're in the bubble. And no fish. Well, you know, Chad, you've been doing this for a while. So, you know, you're just getting that, building up that excitement to the end. Yeah, maybe we have a physical phys 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 end. Yeah, I can't say that. A branding ending. <laughs> this lake hates me, though. But I refuse to be conquered. I will conquer this lake sometime. Man, I got a uh, message here from FOA Customs and Gear. I've got some... Uh, new hook here that he's come out with and he says this is the all new FOA the donkey bait hooks 12 to 16 off are being uploaded this week they are epic approved and uh just so everybody knows that hook on the right there that is a 50 cent piece for uh you know the kids out there that don't know what they that actually is the one on the left is a quarter and that one on the right, yes, there actually is a 50 cent coin. And that's it right there. It's about twice the size of a quarter. So that's a pretty dang good gap right there. We need to get some of them up here on the James River. Get your weight up. Uh, Halana is saying, just don't follow your own bubbles, Uncle Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I keep having to mute myself? <laughs> that's right. That's right. There also used to be a dollar coin, too. <laughs> Don't follow. You know, that's pretty good advice. Sometimes you got to listen to the, the younger generation out there. That's pretty good advice. Don't follow your own bubbles. Alana, wise beyond her years. <laughs> Small water charter say 50 cent. What 50 cent the rapper? <laughs> oh. Good to see you, small water charters. Let's go over here and uh, check out, check on uh, kayak Mike here. JG, I'll be right back. 
Hey, Mike, how you holding up, brother? Uh, not too you bad. Know? You good? Yeah. Part of me wants to reduce my bait and hook size to get those little fish for the sake of the tournament, but also I live in Ohio. I don't get this chance very often, so I'm, I'm going bigger going home for the rest there of this. You go. I understand. You know, you got to commit. Yeah, commit with confidence. But um, just wave your hand or something. I just want to check on you. You can go back over here and check on check on Ryan over here bumping. Hey Ryan, how's you how's it going, man? You getting any bites? You're you got yourself muted. I just had my fish hit twice. It broke me off on the second hit. As soon as wow. I pulled back, it broke me off. Wow. Let that be a lesson to check your drag before you start. Hmm. That, that wouldn't be a hard pill to swallow. These uh, Alios reels I run, they got something like 35 pounds of drag or 30 pounds wow. of drag. If you get hung up, you tighten the drag down, break it off. Uh, yeah. It you. yeah, you used to do that when you were learning. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still learning today. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Some lessons you have to learn a lot of times. Yeah. You reckon we got Justin with kayak catfishing watching any of this mess, or do you think he's playing oh, with the dogs? Oh, he's busy today, I'm sure. He's probably fishing with a gulp minnow somewhere. Probably. He likes them gulp. What? Well, hook a big one, man. We're working on it. All right. We'll get back to you. You can go over here and find... Um, Weird to get all these people in here. It's hard to hard to find them. And Bobcat out there bumping. Got some more people in chat. Go railroad. We'll come back to Bobcat there a little bit. Like uh, Chris is either hung up or something out there with hooks and hammock. He's got himself muted. He's a rocking and a rolling out there for sure. Hopefully, um, Chris and Tell can get on a good fish here. Mm. We got the live fishing tournament league getting ready to crank up uh, April the 6th the uno tournament so that ought to be interesting we got mr chad fields and d in the house here uh, fields to water channel uh, they'll be hosting several uh live fishing tournament league um tournaments this year uh, let me see if i can get chad on the line here chad can you hear me huh 
Yeah, I wanted you to uh, see if you could talk about some of the uh, live fishing tournament leagues that you're going to uh, be hosting this year, if you if you don't mind. Just so that you know right off, he's a much better tournament, tournament dictator than he is fisherman. That's okay. He, that's <laughs> why you're out there, D. We've got to hey, cover from all angles. I don't see you catching a fish today. Uh-huh. Because I let you have the first one. Yeah, so uh, what is it? April 13th, we're going to have the first one on my channel. That, uh, that'll that be the Fish-a-thon. So it'll be a, the big three fish will be the overall winner. But we will also be raising money for veterans charities during that one as well. Nice. You can do any boat, bank, uh, kayak, as long as you're on the water, on legal water. Uh, let's see. Then the next one we have, I believe, is in June, and that will be the Bumping for Biggins tournament. So you can use the bumping technique only on in that uh, tournament. So yeah, be what June Ryan 1st. and Bob are doing today. Yeah, it'll be June 1st. Yep. Uh, let's see. December, we got the Dragon Seek. So that is a dragging baits only tournament, which will be yeah, interesting. That would be on December the 7th. That's the day before one of the greatest YouTubers alive's birthday. Uh, it's not Chad Fields, is it? Ding, 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 yeah. ding. And then when we got January, we got the Winter Blues. Those will be my all my all four of my tournaments that will be in that league. Yeah, that's uh, January the 11th. So if you... Uh, if you're in here, folks, and listening, uh, this will be part of the Live Fishing Tournament League. Uh, these are fun tournaments. You can uh, you can get in uh, on the points race, or you can fish them without being in the points race. Uh, you need you're automatically uh, entered if you fish them. Yeah, if you're going to uh, if you are going to fish in the points race and during the Live Fishing Tournament League, you will need a Mad Cat's Hawk Scale. That's going to be the official scale. Let me bring uh, bring that up full screen. Chad has one here. It's a good. Let me skill. model it for you. There you go. <laughs> Man, that, what a pose! Mad Cat Hall scale right there. That scale does go up to 110 pounds. It does have a tear weight on it, so you can tear weight your fish net. Uh, it does have a backlight on it. It works really well. Got a little. And you can even. Yep. Yeah. And you store that right in your fishing tackle box without getting all hung up. Aluminum. And I heard you can do. I heard you can do like uh, ghost hunting with this thing too. Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of look like some of that ghost uh, ghost equipment those people use on those uh, paranormal channels. Yeah. But uh, Chad, really appreciate you uh, and everything you do for the uh, catfish family and out here. Uh, helping everyone and putting on these tournaments is a lot of fun and we're really trying to generate a lot of people out there so share that out with your friends and family and and uh if you enjoy this kind of entertainment and and watching these guys get out here and fish and i know it's uh, i know i enjoy it and you know get out here and hang out with us and comment in the chat and you know and ask questions if you have any questions and Mr. Fields, also be sure and go over there and check out his channel, uh, Fields to Water. He has a great show at Bait Shop on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock. Hey, JG. Yes, sir. Just so you know, we also have tournaments that will not be in the live fishing league as well. Oh, yeah. We've so got we of those yeah. have one next week, weekend. Stan and I will be hosting that. That's going to be uh, Bank versus Boat. Uh, we'll be hosting that uh next saturday coming up so that will not be part of the live fishing league and it's fun you know you can you can uh shoot us an email and you can come in there and fish that um with us now i don't know uh we've got some team captains and there's a few rules going on there but we've got some uh plenty of other tournaments coming up we've got uh fishing fever is going to have a uh tournament on april the Six coming up. It's going to be from James Rip. He's got a uh, belt, a big belt. Like this tournament has a belt. Uh, so you can 
that will be hosting uh, your own Fish and Fever's channel. So you guys go over there and subscribe to him. Looks like we got two stands back in the house. And hey, Chad, what were some of those other tournaments that you were about to bring up, Chad? Well, B, actually, B and Nina, co-owner of FOACustomsandgear.com, they, in June, they will be putting on the ladies-only tournament. So it's the Ladies Catfish Rumble. This will be the third year that they've done that one. And then we also have the one that started them off, Stan, the one that your wife caught the first two fish in. <laughs> yeah, and, and the... she, she, wanted, she reminded me a little while ago that not only <laughs> did I not catch the first fish, I wasn't even there when she caught it. I was at the truck charging <laughs> you were. <the> battery. <laughs> yeah, I remember you got you got put in timeout, and she made you go to the car and sit and think about what you did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, this will be the fifth year of the uh, wow couples catfish showdown, man. Wow, and, and and look what it's look at what our little community has turned into since then, huh? It's insane. Who, who could have thought of it? But it's yeah, uh, JG. Know. That's the one that launched Stan's career. I know it. <laughs> it was it was supposed to launch Diane's career, but she didn't want to be the one talking all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stan does have that gift. I or never curse. noticed. It depends. <laughs> yeah, Tony Harrison made a comment in here, Chad. He said, uh, "Chad, we'll see how those skills work out next Saturday." What's next Saturday? The bank versus the boat. Oh, I don't know nothing about it because nobody likes me enough to think that I would even have a boat and be the well, best best yeah. looking anger out there that doesn't catch fish. I'm sure what? you can get in. We've already, you know, your boy over there, your uh, Brian B's done backed out, so there's a spot for you. So just come on up there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Brian B was in it? Uh-huh. <laughs> you all know he don't fish? Why did he get asked? <laughs> you know, apparently Stan 3 was trying to put together a team from every river, so that was the only person that he knew of on the on the Potomac River with a boat. So Yeah, but he got he got a boat don't work. <laughs> it's like having Kool-Aid no sugar. <laughs> Peanut butter no jelly. <laughs> I mean, come on. You definitely need your sugar with the with the Kool Aid. That's for sure. Man, you got to have some sugar with that Kool Aid because that's the good stuff right there. Wait, are you a grape or a black cherry kind of guy? Oh, I, I I'm a I like grape. I like grape, but black cherry is good too. So I like them. I like them both a lot. Great. What are we doing? What are we doing? You're YouTube. Okay, I'm YouTube. Oh, I'm glad you got up. I can put my feet up. <laughs> That's what I usually get to do, Chad. I, you know, I get out there and, you know, Stan Three gets to go fishing, and they make us do the hard work. Being yeah, right. On, being on camera, you know, and I, and I understand why. You know, just just look. All this, what what is it that uh, Josh used to say? Magnificence or uh, majestic? He's a majestic. Look, majestic. Just look at this, look at this majestic, majestic male. <laughs> My brain's and tongue's not Good working. Lord, you, you and D, I would love to have a hear a total conversation with you because neither one of you all can pronounce words. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to I did that stand three the other night. We're out fishing and he's he's got uh he's faced the other direction with a bite over there and I'm like the 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 pole the 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 horn the <laughs> <laughs> oh man I knew what words I wanted to say they just didn't go from here to here that's the fun thing about live and just you just gotta once you get going and stuff you gotta just say what you're saying <laughs> yeah <laughs> get it out of there <laughs> there's a big difference between lives and uh lives and videos that's for sure yeah yeah Brian, no editing Brian, he said he's been out fishing just not live no. Oh, that's right. So, Danny, we got to check with uh, 
Whose scale was it? I think it was Bob Katz and those. Danny said he just put out a two-minute video on how to set the Mad Cat's hog scale to lock. I couldn't take watching y'all screaming it won't lock. It was driving me insane. <laughs> so Danny just made... Danny I did just that made, and it still didn't work. <laughs> Danny just made and, and uh, dropped the video while watching the while watching the King of the Tennessee today. That's dedication right there. Yeah. Oh. He probably ran out and did it in his long johns, too. Oh, man. You want to touch puppy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I so, do. Stan, uh, oh, for the, these the, are amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the golden crispness of that. That looks like it's fried perfectly. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Look, can I weigh this? Catfish. Oh, holy smokes. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I don't think anybody would be opposed, Chad. You'd be able to add that to your score. Yeah, if uh, Chad wouldn't uh, uh, wouldn't uh, ditch us on stand day and come up and get a point two two points for that. Right. He tried to put one of our fried green tomatoes on a hook earlier. I was like, what are you doing? Trying to catch me? You already got me, baby. Uh, uh -oh. Weekly Lyle says, I have an emoji for you, Chad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Lyle, another shrimp. <laughs> Mark is saying, uh, now I know what to have for dinner. Thank you, Chad. You're welcome. Uh, Greenwell saying, when it's choppy, it's hard for any scale to lock in. Like, I think, I think what helps with the scales more than anything is not weighing them on a string. If you put them on a string, they really won't lock in very well. You need something sturdy to hook them to. Uh, Tony Harrison said he bought two of the scales. There's a Johnny Small Pepper. Ask him, what is the score? All right. Just, oh, wait, just, look, just, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Oh, there's oh a, my. There, there's, there's a third shrimp. Just saying. Go ahead. Do the, <laughs> do the, do the wait, man. Wow. I don't know what restaurant you got that at, but they definitely know what they're doing. <laughs> the Catfish Cabin. Well, there's you can, you know, I did 20 years in the, that industry, and by the color of that fry, I can tell that they know what they're doing. They They clean their oil regularly. So that looks that's that looks like it's coming from a really great place. Man, that makes me hungry now. But here we go, Johnny. Here is the score for for day two. Currently, Bobcat for Shizzle, uh, Bobcat's in leading today's Perfect. round at seventy five point eight two. Uh, next is Kayak Mike. Got that thirty five point five. Jumped out to the early lead. Then uh, Bobcat for Shizzle caught three fish to come and take the lead. They got Ryan Bortz, who's caught that 117.9 pounder. Uh, Chad and D are on the board with a 5.3. Chris and Telly got a fish up on the board. So that is uh, the individual scores for day two. The total weight so far for day two is 135.9 almost 136 so uh 685 that puts us at about 685 686 points for the uh pounds for the whole tournament so far and there's the overall score the ones in pink fished last week so here's the overall ranking uh still in first place is ray ferguson that's right the uh, catfishing champion of the world for 2013, I believe it was. Uh, he's at 95.02. Pontoon Jody in second place still with the 84.4. She also has the big fish of the tournament at uh, just under 63 pounds. Bobcat for Sizzle. There's Bobcat is currently in third, 75.82. Their small fish of the day so far for Bobcat is 14.5. 14. So a, uh, he needs 20, 
just under 20 extra pounds. So he needs a uh, about a 34 to 35 pound fish to take the lead over. And there we go. That's the score update for right now. We still got uh, one hour and 46 minutes left. Still anybody's game. There's been 100 pounders caught out of the Tennessee. Uh, Woody has gotten one not that long ago. <laughs> Wabash Nate says, no wonder Chad ain't catching. He's feeding the cat there. We got Guerrero Bagre out there. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Johnny Small Pepper said, that shrimp was a bait 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Matt saying, there's a restaurant here called Eat My Catfish. It is so good. Uh, Edward Martin's out there. Edward Martin is asking, uh, Chad, what rod holders are those? Do they lay flat on deck when not using them? Chad, can you hear us? There was a question for you. Yeah, I heard, I heard you. Give me one. Oh. Give me one second. That that went down really hard, Bruce Allen. And well, we'll whew, I thought I was choking to death. Okay, I'm good now. Are those sure. multi bars? Yeah, these are multi bars with um, the SmackDown rod holders on them. And yeah, you. Can, I keep a wrench on my boat. That yeah, if you wanted to, you could lay them down flat. <laughs> I usually don't. I usually keep mine up uh, as they are when I'm riding with, driving with them and stuff and hauling the boat. No big deal. Yeah. But they do. They will lay flat if you want them to. Yeah. multi bar. You know, they're, they're fully adjustable. All that good stuff. Love them. Love them. Thanks to CatCon, I also just added uh, some accessories to my multi bars, which is the, uh, the multi bar trays. Oh yeah, put like um, bait in or something like that. Yeah, you can do that. I got my grip. You've got places to hold your bait knife, your grips, and different stuff like that. Nice. And then I'm waiting. Uh, supposedly here in the next month or within a month or so, they're supposed to have uh, bait tray mounts. So I'm waiting on that. Okay. And then, do they, do they have a place to put your Mountain Dew? That's what I need. They yeah. do actually. They do have. We have uh, cup, cup holder uh, cup holder mounts as well. <laughs> anything, well there, but there I, you I, go. anything that I have the holder, I, mean. I bought the uh, multi bar um, holder for my depth finder that's back here. I'm going to replace that when I get my bait board mount because I got to take all this off at once, and I don't want to do it twice. I did do it for you. Yeah, I've seen her with a hammer, but well, that one time she was really mad at me, and that we won't we won't talk that about that story. Oh, right. How meaner than I look! Well, we gotta, we gotta, go, we gotta go over here and check on uh, hooks and hammocks, man. He is getting rocked and rolled. And Fat boy Eric is saying, "Come on, Chad and D, let's go." We're trying, buddy. I don't know what else where to go. Maybe a creek or something. A creek mouth. Hey, Chris. Telly, can you hear us? Hooks and hammock. You are getting rocked and rolled, brother. You're muted. Yeah, you're muted. You got yourself muted, Chris. You're still muted. Now or not. There you go. Yeah, I was watching you, man, and you were just going back and forth and rock and roll. I thought you was on a roller coaster and you didn't quit fishing. We're gonna we're trying to get over here closer to the banks down to some of these bigger waves. Well we can see how this works. If this doesn't work, we're gonna pull out. But we yeah. have there is one hour and forty one minutes left, so yeah, it's, it's it's hard. It's hard. 
with all that all that wind and those waves and you got current going one way and the wind blowing another way and it's tough. we had some pretty good current there for a little while we, we lost it okay well just keep trying i wanted to check on you make sure y'all were good thank you yes sir We still have 103 awesome people out there watching. Thank. Why didn't everybody just pile up in the the boat of the year today and fish? There's room enough for all of those guys down there on that boat. Yeah. We've been shooting shooting for your boat next year, Chad. It'd be boat of the year. We just got to get you out there on tour a little more. Yeah, I need to, I need to do some more lives and stuff. <clears throat> get out on tour and go take them boys fishing over there to James River and go take J Dog fishing and you know you're gonna you're gonna have to build up your uh, your boat count. Something. <laughs> well, you know it, it is <laughs> tough though when you do run the uh, the number one live talk show. I know, I know, it's hard, man. Uh, stand three, that is a Mercury engine you're working on there. It's usually the first two, two numbers is the year. So it should it start out. No, I don't know. Put the serial number in the chat and then I'll be able to tell you what year it is. What's all this reeling? I couldn't tell if they had a fish on or not, but it looks like they may just be moving. Cap Morgan, you got a fish on? What you doing? I'm moving. You're moving? Okay. I'll check back with you. And, uh... I'm just asking for a friend. When Chad gets back, I had a friend just ask, uh... Wanted me to ask Chad why he doesn't fish with J-Dog anymore. I'm just asking for a friend. Mm-hmm. Well, because, you know, J-Dog is so great of an angler. One, he intimidates me. Uh, two, <laughs> he, he um, tends to have his schedule planned out to have 80 other different. So there's 52 weekends in a year. He has typically 103 days of weekends scheduled uh, with other anglers to not fish with me. Because he fishes with everybody else. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question, Stan? Um, yeah, I was just asking. I was just asking for. You're a friend. your friend's question. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. He was just wondering. So, Stan, for those folks that don't know, uh, that are just coming in, I know that uh, we're getting some new some new viewers in here. Can you tell them about this tournament and what what's going on here? Well, absolutely. Today is day two of the King of the Tennessee uh, River Tournament. It's uh, sponsored by Catfish Sumo. So there's the uh, Sumo Belt. Uh, currently, it is held by Ryan Bortz. Uh, Bobcat was the original winner. Then we had... Uh, Catfish Hunter TV. Catfish Hunters, John and Dana. And... Then it was Ryan Bortz, and now uh, Ryan is trying to be the first two-time, two-time champion, but it looks like Bobcat is close. Bobcat uh, could also be two-time champion. He needs uh, he only needs a 35-pound fish to take over the lead from Ray Ferguson, uh, but it's the king of the Tennessee. They do it every three months. Uh, Catfish Sumo has sponsored it. They got a, a big wrestling-type belt. And every three months, they have the King of the Tennessee. Uh, JG and I have been uh, truly honored to be part of this, and Daryl asked us to host it, so we're having a blast with it. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying themselves out there. Uh, been a lot of fun doing this. Uh, first week, there was a lot of fish caught, 29 or 30 fish, 550-something or 560 pounds. Uh, Let me bring that sheet up. Conditions today, all right, all right. Conditions today, a little bit tougher. And uh, that is why. So this is from day one. 
There we go. There's day one. There's a... And Ray is off to the right just a little bit there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me make it a little smaller. There we go. So there's Ray. That was... Uh, Ray's got the 95 pounds. Yeah. Uh, and by, by all accounts, it was a tough day fishing out there that day, too. Uh, you know, Jody's 84.43, currently in second place still. Uh, she's got the big fish so far of 62.89. Yep. And then uh, that total weight uh, for that day was 552.63 pounds of fish caught total. Yep. In a six-hour tournament. So averaging almost... Uh, Almost 100 pounds of fish an hour. Absolutely. Somewhere around 93 pounds. 94, somewhere in there. Yeah, so but, uh, we'll go back to uh, today's score for those that are just coming in. And then there's the score for today. Uh, you've got... Bobcat, 45 of 15 of 14, currently in the lead for Tay, uh, 75.82. Uh, Kayak Mike had uh, jumped out there with a 35.5 pound fish. He got that big one on, and I'm like, uh oh, here it goes. But it's just been a tough day. And uh, then Ryan Bortz got the 17.9. Chad and Deer on the board with a 5.3. And Chris and Telly got a fish up on the board. So they are, that's the score for today. All right, Dustin, thanks for coming in. Dustin's got to run. So there we go. So the winner at the end of today. We'll, be uh, we'll get the belt. We'll get the belt and they'll hold it for the next three months. And then they'll have to defend it in three months. Uh, that tournament is coming up. The date's already been set on that. Uh, do, 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 do you remember when that was? Let's the see. date for what? June 29th, I think, for the next. Uh, uh, yeah, he was, Tennessee. he was. Yeah, back and forth there with that. Let me see what James has got going on here. I think it was June 29th, and I do believe that's going to be a nighttime tournament, 7 to midnight. That's a, uh... Hey, James, cool cat. Yeah. That's a good-looking shot right there, man. Did you, see that? Did you see that photo I showed you, though? Yeah, that big old house photo. Missed nothing. About a 35-foot cabin cruiser. Wow. White man Curtis saying the Lickin' River is on fire today. Uh, my my river's not on fire today, at least where I've been. <laughs> <laughs> Did Stan 3 put the serial number in the chat? Yeah, he put it in up there. Uh, I didn't see it. I need to go back and look at that. James, catch us a fish, man. I, I, man, I'm telling you, I, I've been trying. I know, but you... you I've been putting you, fresh baits out on every, every stop. And... Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. So, great to see everybody out there. I'm going to go back up there and find oh. the serial number. We got you unmuted. Where'd they go? Be another hey, riddle. God. Fish on. All right. All right. Another little one. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, this, this, this day, who cares? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Stan, it's a 1989. Stan 3, it's a 1989 motor. It's the, it's the, it's the sixth month of 1989 is when the boat when it was manufactured. If you're listening. Let's 
Chad always saying about, ah, oh, you just float down the Tennessee River and you catch fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the James River. Nah, you, you, you should hear him talking, talking up about that. I could go down there and I catch fish blindfolded. Oh I yeah. Know. Probably should, probably should put that blindfold on. But hey, he's doing better than me. Oh. For the time being, anyway. We still have. That's the 90 minute warning, 90 minute warning, one hour and 30 minutes left. Oh, fish. It's too dead here. Let's go be glued. One. Okay. One, Point two for the grippers. Was that 1.38, Stan? Yes, yes, it was. Yep. So 1.18. All right. Thank you, sir. I will update. That's right. Nightbot. Uh, Nightbot's reminding everybody if, if uh, we do stand days every Sunday mornings. If you'd like to fish on a stand day, just uh, email me at two stands fish at gmail.com. Uh, Jody also does some. Look at that. He's got that uh, Everlast eel out there. Both those fish came on that same piece of eel. That, that piece of eel is bigger than fish. <laughs> it's amazing. I did a, I did a short the other day on that, how big of a piece of bait like a small catfish can get in their mouth. It's crazy. Danny Stone says, keep going, Chris. You're hot on Bob's tail. <laughs> Bob's tail? Bobby tail? Bobby Penn. Bobby Penn. Bobby Penn. New hook. Uh, let's see, let's see, what was I saying before that? Son of a gun, I was just saying something out of, right out of my brain. I was saying it, and next thing I know, halfway in a sentence, I forgot what I was saying. Hmm. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, you can fish with us on stand days. Uh, pretty similar to this, except you're fishing on your own home waters. You can fish anywhere you want to. Uh, just email me at two stands fishing. Jody does the pontoon Jody flathead challenge. She's, right now, it's fishing with friends. Uh, pretty soon, the flat challenge will be starting up again. Jody, if somebody wants to fish with you on Friday nights, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, last week of uh, March. Or not. <laughs> Uh, I'll get a hold of her. <laughs> it's good to hear that Curtis is out there catching fish on the on the licking. Are you out there, Curtis? Are you out there with my my BFF? Twenty feet away. Got the whole river. Twenty feet away. Uh, Randy Old Gray Hair Swain is asking uh, Josh Thompson from Thompson's Outdoors or More, three miles east of Watts Bar Dam. They've got any good spinning reels in the store? So four and a half hours in. You know, 104 people still watching. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I know chat's getting a little tired out there. It, it's uh chats even slowed down <laughs> it was funny last week the fish were on fire and it just keeps everybody excited oh absolutely you dealing and i would rather deal with uh rain and snow and everything else than wind wind is just uh oh uh, halana you you my BFN. <laughs> yeah, he he was my BFF, but then he, he just left me. Doesn't call. He doesn't write anymore. 
but you're always my BFF. I am, I la, 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 la. Oh, you got the boat full out there. Terror, Mason, J Doggy, Bugman, and Eric. Awesome. Hey, Mike. How, how you doing? What's the, what's the plan? You just bumping? Yeah, I'm bumping this. And then if I don't get a hit here, I'm going to go back to where I caught that big one and see if yeah. there's enough flow to bump. And if there's not enough flow to bump, I might take a nap. Hey. hey. I'm really sleepy. And there I'm not above know. sleeping on live. <laughs> there you go, man. Hey, hey, we're just checking in on you. Hey, I've seen lots of people catch big fish while they were sleeping. Just saying. Got Dominic Collis out there. What's up, Dominic? Good to see you. Mike Irvin in the house. How are you? How are you? Small Water Charters, our good friend from down in Florida. Yeah. If you haven't checked out that channel yet, like I said, I think they're just as crazy. He might even be a little crazier than I am. I'm 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 like uh, I'm not going on a limb and say that. It's close. It's close. John's a rocker now. That's right. He's a uh, originally a North Carolina boy. He was uh, not too far from me. Oh, there you go. Carolina. There you go. That explains it. But he just said seminar. Sayonara. He went down there to the to Florida, soak up the sun, never coming back. Well, that's because of that no state tax thing down there. Who knows? Uh, burrito catfishing lady. <laughs> You know, she got to get the shots in there on uh, 922. It says, if you do fish on a stand day, don't be like uh, 922 crappy barbecue and have to call her to borrow a fish. There Just say. <laughs> John said, then we got smart and moved south. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would definitely be a fun trip there. Yeah, I had uh, Agent Marillo went down there and fished with John not too long ago. He's got a video out on that. If you go check out Small Water Charter's channel, y'all, any of y'all in here, know Agent Marillo, our best Fish agent, family, brother, best agent in the game. Yeah, I heard I heard he had a blast. Uh, Lauren, more importantly, Lauren had a blast. So yeah, Quiet Man Curtis in the house, number one morning talk show host. 102 awesome people watching. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hey, if, if, if you're still awake out in chat, give me a thumbs up, a do sign, something, something. Let me know everybody's still awake out there. I'm getting nervous. I'm not seeing a lot of chat going on. I'm nervous that yeah. something happened out there. It's all good, man. 103 people watching. Thank you. Thank you. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, greatly appreciate it if you could. There's Dominic. You know, well, Dominic is always talking. He can talk almost as much as we can, JG. Uh-uh. Thank you, Butterflies. Butterfly is still, still doing good. She just brightens up a chat just by being in it. That's a great name for her, Butterflies and Sunshine. Uncle Jeep said he's away. Well, he's going through the tackle box, setting up rigs for a Monday lake fishing trip. There you go. Wow. Good luck to you, Uncle Jeep. Uh, Randy saying, Uncle uh, Captain Morgan, he just sent, Randy sent you a text. Don R is laughing, so he's got to be okay. Misplaced country girl fishing. I'm doing chores while listening. Two stands here with a 30 pound striped bass. He caught the sweep. That was a blast, man. That was a blast. That was stand three and I out having some fun. We caught uh we caught a few 30 pounders that night, but uh they were catfish. That was the only uh striper that we got that night. It's a nice fish. That was huge, dude. When it we had the complex light up at the boat and you know it was it was fight i was surprised because it was fighting like a big catfish 
you know, it was running up current, uh, just kind of steering it back to the boat, and it got towards that light. And, you know, your brain is expecting a catfish to come up, and here's a big fish that comes up that's not shaped like a catfish. Like, and your brain automatically starts going through the Rolodex of what that can be. And then it was like, uh, I think I got that the short. I don't know if I dropped it on there where I go, uh, well, the crack son is a striper. It's a striper. That's my PV striper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all excited. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. You know, that's fishing, man. If you don't have, I've been fishing for over 50 years and I'm still excited. You're old. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But, uh, you know, like I said, been fishing over 50 years, and I still get excited when we catch a fish. I still go out there, and some of the some of the best trips this past year or two was uh, just going out there and, and light tackle and catching a bunch of catfish, and I'm laughing and having a great time. And, uh, you know, I... I I'll say it a lot of times. It's not the size of the fish, the size of the excitement that it brings you, and that's the truth. It sure beats sitting on the couch. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, right, Danny oh, Stone. Oh. Danny Stone's been hanging with us. He's packing up. Going to go out to the river here in a little while. All right, all right. You know, Danny used to do Saturday night shows back in the summer. You know, he would come up on Saturday nights and over on Danny Stone's channel and fish something. <laughs> He may or may not be up this evening. Don't know. I remember Danny sometimes would get off work on Friday. He'd be live fishing <laughs> from Friday night. <laughs> fish Jody's thing, then go back out fish Saturday. Fish yeah. all Saturday night, and, and then end up, end up the rest of uh, end up his uh, his overnight fishing on stand day morning, and fish with us till noon and. Uh, yeah, but Lyle over at Catfish Weekly said, knocking out another order of jigs while watching and listening. Appreciate the comment there, Lyle. Awesome, awesome. I got, I got, I was lucky enough to uh, see some of Lyle's jigs. Uh, I was fishing with Goober Time Guide Service. He had ordered some jigs from Lyle. Uh, nice. We were out trying to do, this <laughs> is going back a month or two now. Mr. Jeff Bill in the house. He said he's at work listening. Appreciate you, Mr. Bill. Great looking jigs. 922 said, Lisa, no fair firing shots while I'm working. Can't fight back. <laughs> there you go, 922. Yeah, that was from uh, Lisa that was getting him on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, she was, she was all over him last week. Oh, yeah. But, but uh, congratulations to 922. He did catch that uh caught that nice uh chanel cat at the end of uh stand day last week there we go chat's moving now we got a hundred awesome people out there still watching thank you everybody for coming in uh waiting on uh one more fish one more fish bobcat my team my bad dude they uh they need a 35 pounder to take the lead for the day I mean, for the whole tournament, they're currently in the lead right now for the day. <laughs> but uh, about 35 pounds behind. No, wait, about 20 pounds behind uh, uh, Ray Ferguson. Let me bring up that sheet. This is a uh, overall weight score sheet that we have here. So we got Ray Ferguson out there and the overall weight. Now the, uh, the uh, scores that are in pink, uh, they fished last week. And then the ones in blue are fishing this weekend. So, um, you know, got Ray Ferguson out there at 95.02 pounds and this is for the biggest three fish now they caught a lot more fish than that but we only uh score in the top the biggest three catfish and that includes flatheads channel cats and blue cats 
Pontoon Jody with 84.43 in second place. Bob Cat and Fish Sizzle out there. Team Bad Dudes at 75.82. Yak Shore uh, out there and his family was out there fishing last weekend. Or they had the little one out there with them. And uh, Lisa, the burrito lady, and uh, Lisa and them were out there on their pontoon boat with Yak and the family. And they caught, they uh, did really well at 74.35. Woody and Daryl were fishing last weekend. They got they're at sixty point oh five. Ed and his son Cole were out there fishing. They got forty two point five. Kayak Mike uh, it's got uh, thirty five point five today. Caught one fish bumping and Catfish Hunter TV last last weekend with twenty four point three two. Mr. Ryan Bortz on the board at seventeen point nine zero and. Chad and D got some score, and Chris and Telly got some numbers on here. So um, we'll keep this going. I appreciate that. And um, if you guys have any questions for us, uh, please don't hesitate to ask us. Be glad to, to, uh, <laughs> to help you with any questions you may have. Let's see. We got uh, Dominic out there stirring the pot. Surely we'll not. We'll say it now. We'll we'll get Ryan's reaction to it when he comes back. But he's out there asking how the Justin Johnson wannabe is doing. He says, "Oops, I mean Ryan." <laughs> yeah, that's your buddies for you right there. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, he got you confused with Mike, huh? <laughs> well, y'all are so close in you know in in, in size. He gets, yeah. You know, yeah. Easy to confuse y'all. You're only uh, about three foot taller than he is. I wouldn't say three. I would probably go four. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it looks like we're both coming up short today, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's why it's fishing, man. How many how many times have you been out there? And you're out there 18 hours, and all of a sudden, you come across that fish. Yeah, I mean, who made this a six-hour tournament anyway? That would be Daryl. Oh, well, that <laughs> makes sense. But he is he is going to narrow it down to one day, and then I I think he may adjust the hours. So the June, I think they're going to fish June 29th, so it's going to be a lot different. We got yeah, the I gathering think... coming up before then, though, right? We got, what's that? I'm sorry. The gathering, it comes up before then, though, right? Yeah, it's May seventeenth uh, for the night. Yes, yes, because the uh, the next the next King of the Tennessee is June 29th, and uh, the gathering is May fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth, I believe. May seventeenth through the nineteenth. Seventeenth and nineteenth. I knew it was something like that. So we'll uh. We'll mute Ryan back there again. We hate to keep everybody muted, uh, but it's just so windy. And just having one person unmuted, you can hear all the background noise. So imagine the eight of them or seven anglers that we have now. Uh, looks like Derek has dropped out. He's fishing up there around Ryan and... Uh, He's fishing up there around Ryan and, and uh, Mike. But he broke his uh, phone holder back in the beginning. and So it's tough on the kayak to have your phone sitting there with nothing to hold it securely. So we about an hour and 15, a little under an hour and 15 minutes left. Matt is heading to the Black River himself. I have a feeling we're going to see, you know, it's not over yet. We got an hour and 12 minutes. I got a feeling that this, uh, during this last hour, I think we're going to see some, some nice fish caught. I'm sitting here just talking away to you, Stan, and my mic's muted. <laughs> that, that's rookie stuff right there. 
Hey, well, you know what? That was the good thing about having the uh, picture up there because nobody knew it until you just said something. But all right, so <laughs> I've got um, I've got I'm rattling something here. Can anybody tell me what that is? If you were watching the show earlier, you might know what this is. Can you name that sound? Mm, name the sound. I know what it is. I was watching earlier. It's kind of like, you know, when you go to school and you're not paying attention at the beginning of the class, there's always a test. There you go. Danny's paying attention. What? Oh, Danny did guess it, didn't he? Good for you, Dano. Demon dragon. Good stuff, man. Keep those. Hundred. I think Bob's out there bumping with demon dragons. I don't think Ron's using any demon dragons. He might. Do what? He might be using any floats. We I were said talking Bob, about. We were Bob's talking about there. demon dragons. Demon dragons. You're out there bumping with demon dragons. Oh yeah, the brutes, baby, brutes. Hey, while we got a minute, I'll show you on my rig if you want to put me on full screen. Oh, Absolutely. As long as you're we're talking sitting, about fishing here. Yeah, well, we're sitting here uh, <laughs> soaking some baits. Here we go. Here's a rig. This is a crimp rig. All right. Keep his pre tied in one of the uh, envelopes. Yeah, that works good. Speeds things up. Yeah, yeah. it's rare that we break these off. But... So we got a train coming, guys. It's going to get long. You might want to meet me for a second. Yeah, he's got that, uh, Bobcat's got that visual fish sizzle guy in the boat with him. He always gets you there in the last couple of tournaments. He'll get you in the last five minutes of the tournament. He'll sneak up on you. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. We got a, got a bumping swivel right here, a three-way swivel. And I buy these at Tackle Bandit. This would be your main line right here. In my case, I use 65 pound braid. Okay, and then coming down directly in line with the main line is a 20 pound mono sinker or mo mono uh, sinker dropper to a cannonball sinker. This is about a three ounce. But I use, uh, I use, also use, uh, I like bank sinkers actually better than I do cannonball. And you can see that's a well bump sinker. Yeah, I didn't holy that smokes. That's been done over time. That's so crazy. That's, yeah, that's yeah. how they get. But and then Bob, going, for, Bob, for those that don't know, why are you using a, a lighter line on the on the sinker? Well, we also call that a breakaway a breakaway there, line. There so you go. When you get when your sinker gets hung, which it will, that twenty pound mono will snap. Sometimes I'll actually use like 30 pound braid on my sinker dropper too. Uh, but, but then that's tied to to uh, the leader. And Bob, one more question if I can there. Do you adjust the uh, length of that or is that pretty much standard what you use most of the time? Sometimes if I feel like the fish are really hanging on the bottom, I'll use a, a shorter breakaway Great. sinker. Uh, but this is a 150 pound uh, braid, um, 150 pound mono crimped to the middle of the of the uh, three-way uh -huh. the sinker's in line with the main line and then this is a 150 pound mono going down to uh, a chain swivel if i can get that in there oh uh, yeah this is going down to a chain swivel because you get a lot of twist in these lines in heavy current so you want to be you don't you want to use a lot of swivels yeah 
and then going down from the from the chain swivel it's our demon dragon uh brute this is the muddy river catfishing series uh i don't pay much attention to the color but i think that dot you know might help out on it again that's crept on 150 pound then down to a diachi uh i believe that's a 10 alt circle hook offset circle super sharp snailed on with a quick snail knot but that's basically my my, my leader and that whole leader is about well it's about four and a half feet long so wow i use a long leader right now it's basically an arm length on look me. at that so but that, that's the rig we use and i get all this uh this tackle the the three ways the, the barrel the uh, chain swivels i get all this out uh and the demon dragons get it tackle banded well yeah, thank that's, you. The, that's the basic bumping rig thank you thank you bob appreciate that so there you go there's the basic rig you need and what makes a uh oh, go ahead i'll show you the like i keep all the rigs pre-tied in one of these uh these little folder things little trapper keeper little things i call yeah them. that's so a great idea nice off, and we one off. nice and flat and secure i'll show you something else we too do also when we're bumping we've got a bunch of uh pre-tied sinker droppers laying right here and if we break one off we just simply grab another sinker and another breakaway and we've got them all tied up right there and i use a clip to clip them to the uh the thing so if we break off all we have to do is just grab another sinker dropper and tile but that's all of our twos threes we got twos threes and fours up here depending on the current and where we're at so that is awesome and, speed and efficiency when you're fishing a tournament well we appreciate you taking the time to uh show us that no and worry. what makes the what's the difference with a uh i know you know, just like anything else, you can use any rod for, for, for anything, but what makes a good bumping rod? A good bumping rod is made out of carbon fiber for sensitivity. It's stiff, it's light, it's lightweight. And the reason I heard somebody asked about low profile reels earlier, the reason why you, that I use low profile reels is because you're holding this rod all day long and you want comfort. I like the rod to fit in the palm of my hand. So, because you're constantly keeping your finger on the spool and you're letting line slip off that spool as you're walking that bait back. So comfort, lightweight, the carbon fiber is light, it's sensitive. Um, the real low profile, close to the close to the rod, and you're constantly doing this all day long, letting line out and you know, opening and closing the spool all day hey, long yeah. you're doing that. So, so that, that that's the thumb trigger on that is like key, it seems like. Oh, absolutely. It, some people do use a round reel for bumping with a, a side trigger. Yeah. But I don't like that. I like, I like you know, having the thumb trigger because absolutely. I, keep, I keep my thumb on the spool almost all yeah, day yeah. long when I'm bumping. Because you're doing this right here all day long. And so that's the trick. It's uh, you're you're letting line out. You want your line moving. You just you want to keep it ticking on the bottom, but not sitting on the bottom. And yeah. you don't want it up above the bottom. You're doing this right here all day long because you're every time that sinker hits, you got to pick it up. If you leave that sinker sitting for a second too long, your sinker's hung, and then your bait's not moving. Uh huh. Oh man, we got a. Got an interaction going on over there. Both run up on our bumpers, our kayak bumpers over there. <laughs> what? But yeah, and, you know, basically, you're. I take the butt of the rod right here, and I bury it in my hip around where you wear your belt at. So I'm uh -huh. doing, I'm doing this all day long with the with the butt buried. So I'm kind of using my my hand to pivot the rod all day long, laying a line out, picking it up. I mean, that's pretty, pretty much it. That is and, uh, awesome. You know, and here's another trick too. We got a, we've got a, you know, depending on the current, we'll change the size of our bait 
uh, depending on the current, like here, Brandon and I, since they turned the current down, we went to bigger baits to pull out behind the boat more because they dropped the current on it. So when you run a bigger bait, it's like running a bigger parachute. And you, you, if you get if you if you get to where that bait is not pulling out behind the boat into the current, then you can upsize your bait and create more drag on your whole system. Or you can conversely, you can go to a, a smaller sinker. sinker. So you can you, all day long you're making adjustments. That's why we've got <laughs> twos and threes and fours over here, and we've got different sized baits cut. We've got smaller cuts of bait. We've got larger cuts of bait. So all day long when you're bumping, you're making decisions based on the current, where you're at, what the fish are doing. I mean, it that's, really is. That's great. That's great. I appreciate you taking the time, Bob. We got, we are at the one hour, one hour left, Mark. So we need a 35 pounder, Bob, to take this tournament over. We're trying, man. This things are just, things are just sizzled out out here right now but we're trying <laughs> i was trying to see if, if anybody jeff bill saying that's a nice low profile reel if anybody had any other questions yeah that's that's a shimano tranks 400 on that reel and that's a really smooth just awesome reel somebody gave that reel to me because i've never played that much for a reel <laughs> yeah, uh, you know Shimano reels are something else. I, yeah, Dan it's an awesome uh, Goober, reel. Goober Time has the Shimano Dakotas and amazing, amazing reels. But <laughs> amazing, amazing prices to go with them. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, um, people, people who are just getting into bumping want to start out. One of the best reels, and I think the kayak guys are using these. Is that uh is that a PC Fun and I've got that, three of them, the PC Fun uh Alios three and yeah. four hundred for the price, man, you just can't beat them. I've had Dude, them for three years now and they are just I mean, they're tough, they're they're smooth, and you just can't beat them for the price. That's the real that Stan three has started using recently. They've got they also have thirty three pounds of drag. These, Isn't that nuts? These, yeah, these Shimano's only have like eighteen twenty. I mean, realistically, and there are times when when that much drag comes in handy. You're trying to pull a big fish out of, out of the current in front of one of these pieces of structure. Having that much drag gives you the option to really pull on that fish if you want to, if you need to. Absolutely. Yeah, we've lost Ryan. I don't know how long he's been gone. I see him over there, so he's 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 doing his thing. Did did, yeah. did you say there was some sort of dispute with a boater? <laughs> well, a boater ran up on our bumping kayakers over there, and there was a bit of a an interaction, uh, <laughs> a, little, a little verbal like interaction going on. And they did run right up on him. What in the world? People are nuts. Yeah, he's not on, he's not on screen. I'm sure he'll be back here shortly. Well, that's, that's good. Great. If he catches a big fish, it don't count. <laughs> it on. Uh, and it's with the Pisky funds there. If you use code, uh, I know Palmetto's got the code for that. It's Cat18, C-A-T-18. You can get an extra 18% uh, uh, off. And that usually works even if it's already on sale. So, Yeah. I mean, they're, they're great reels for the price. Don't let the price fool you. They they do the job. I've I've had really good luck with the uh, the chaos reels. And another cool thing about the, those um, those PC phones, the Alioses, are that they ha actually have a uh, they have a thumb trigger on the side of the spool that instead of having to turn the handle, you can actually click it and engage the reel. So instead of having to reach up there. You can actually take your finger off the spool and move over and, and click it and engage the reel without having to turn the handle. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, cool feature. Oh, hooks and hammocks is frozen. <laughs> they're they're green screen fishing. <laughs> green We're losing them. Fishing. They're dropping fish, dropping quick, JG. They're dropping quick. <laughs>
Yeah, I wonder. I wonder why Ryan. Ryan's sitting there. I don't know why he's not on camera. He might not even know he's not on camera. He might not. I don't think I can yell that far at him. <laughs> Are we back? What's that? There you go, Chris. You're back. My phone tried to do a software update. <laughs> gotta love that. I'm glad you said something because when I got up here, the screen was black. It was it was actually our our beautiful niece Halalalana out there that noticed it. Says, "Hey, hooks and hammocks are frozen." Thanks for letting us know. You're welcome. You're welcome. And, and you can mute us again if you'd like. I think you need to, <laughs> I think you need to fire the producer of this show. <laughs> Cold Creek Catfish and Billy's out there. Okuma Komodo is a good reel also. There you go. I've liked, I've had good luck with Okumas. I like the, uh, for spinning reels, the Akuma Avengers a good reel. I know, uh, Ancient Mariner's got some great reels out. You can check those reels out at uh, River Cats Tackle. Ancient Mariner rod and reels they have there. I believe I believe Chad's ready to just kick back in the chair with his flip flops on and pick with fishing, enjoying the sun. I don't even. I don't even have shoes on anymore. I'm just relaxing. I don't care. He's turned, he's turned into a pleasure boater. Okay. So Pretty much. Chad, have you officially turned the fishing over to D for right now? I did that hours ago. Oh, <laughs> and that didn't help. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. wow. It is a tough day out there. Look, I went ahead and got my little fish out of the way <laughs> and turned it over to her for all the big fish. <laughs> I guess well, she's trying to wait till the last minute. Well, you know, she does. She does run one of the, not one of the, highest rated uh, weekly talk shows. So she does. She yep. knows what she's doing. She's an HR person. And boy, it's a handful being HR of the bait shop. I can't, ima <laughs> I can't imagine handling all them boys. <laughs> let me see yeah. if Ryan, let me see if Ryan I mean if um Mike is anywhere near Ryan. Hey Mike, you got me? Yeah, you guys didn't have me unmuted for my little uh tussle I had with that vassal, did you? No, yeah, we no. Had, we had we had you muted, yeah. All right, very good. <laughs> so, uh, hey, is Ryan anywhere near you? Starts a hundred pound brain is motor. Wow. Yeah, he came, he just came straight up right over my line. The uh is is uh Ryan near you? He's not on screen. Yeah, his phone died. He's right next to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> just wanna make sure he knew that. So right, well, hope he smacks the thunder in. And it don't count. That's right, it don't. You might have to you might have to film it for him. Yeah, yeah. You would have to uh it has to be on on film. <laughs> so yeah, you'd have to record it or you'd have to, to video it. <laughs> his his thought of fish that video it for him, would that count for him? Yeah, if you what have to turn the camera over there. Yeah, as long as we see it caught on camera. Oh, okay, cool. Actually, no. <laughs> well, that gives you all the power. That gives you all the power, Mike. <laughs> I got. I don't get to compete anymore. I have to have one win over him this season. There you, go. <laughs> you can't have. You can't let them boys have all the glory all the time, Mike. You're gonna have to get out there and get your own glory. That wind's picked uh, uh, picked back up a little bit, and it, it's chillier now than it was this morning. Yeah. And you know, as as a as a non rookie YouTuber, uh, 
Ryan's making a pretty rookie move there, letting the phone die. Yeah. Ryan, don't you got a battery pack? <laughs> oh, his battery pack died and his phone died. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Y'all have got so much room on those uh, kayaks. I don't know why you're not running generator. Sucks for him. <laughs> hey, we got a uh, Rebel Austin River Cats has a now. Snag or a snag? Oh, I snag. We got some anchor rods thrown out. We're just praying and praying. Oh, I got I got excited. I saw Chad standing up with a rod. I thought possibly. Nope, does not look like it. He's just knocking the dust off of it. Uh, Danny Stone Outdoors says he'll be fishing with a brand new Ancient Mariner rod and reel this afternoon, which I'm sure he got from River Cats Tackle over there. Yeah, I think he made a video about it. Go up beyond the bridge and walk them again. Trophy Seekers Outdoors saying, What the what? The great Ryan was not prepared in his phone. Oh, you had to oh, get oh, it back up? You're heading back up? Uh, are you heading back? Good catch, good catch. Uh, fishing with bacon. Just got back from Costco getting fishing bait. Bacon, did Chad, I mean D, catch any good fish? Chad, I'm not sure what you did to the to uh, fishing with bacon here, but he does not seem to have much love for you. Well, seeing that he fishes with bacon, his opinion does not matter. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. Well, saying, I mean, I don't, I don't even know, you know what else to say about that. Yeah, you, you, you pretty much summed it up, I guess. Uh, we'll, I, we'll, I got to give you credit for it. And uh, Let's see. Oh, let's see. Mike, were you trying to say something or you're just looking a different direction? I'm just looking. All right, all right. We're, we're muting you back. I couldn't tell if he was trying to say something or not, JG. He had the uh, I'm talking turn going. Mm. Remote in his hand. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Almost, uh, let's see, just a little over 45 minutes left. Yeah. Uncle Jeep said, you already, Chad ain't fishing. He's on some pleasure boat somewhere waiting on refills of his fruity yeah. adult beverage with umbrellas. I mean, you already saw yeah. the food that he ordered. <laughs> I don't know. I bet Chad got more in stock. He got more in stock somewhere. He was eating fried green tomatoes, and then he had catfish. Up. All kinds. I got. I got to be honest, man. That fried catfish and sh and shrimp that and the tomatoes they that has me going. See, I told you you had more stash. <laughs> Oh look, I found another shrimp. Oh yeah. man. Hmm. You got any cocktail sauce? Hmm. You know this No, this, this, I don't have no cocktail sauce. This usually works the other way around. It's usually the host at home that is showing off food. Hmm. And uh, getting the, are, getting the people angling jealous. But you are talking about Chad and Dee. Chad. Look at that. So, thing. Like, so let, let's see if Chad can help. Chad, how much cheese did you buy last time you went to Mendota? <laughs> we don't talk about that. How much <laughs> cheese did you buy, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> Catfish Weekly Lyle saying, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> he could have had the boat sooner if he wouldn't have bought so much cheese. I don't know. I think I spent like Mm, 200 nah <laughs> that's always a lie when you're telling your wife how much something costs you know it was a lie that's one great thing about me and d 
She's always there when I buy these crazy ham chips. Ham chips. <laughs> and she just five. shakes her head. She says, "You you made the money. Go ahead." Yeah, Lyle in here says, "Stop." Hungry. <laughs> I think I think you're tormenting Lyle with the shrimp is what it is. I think well, the so. sad thing is right now I'm out of shrimp. That was my last That's one. But doesn't, doesn't Lyle have a thing with like buffets and shrimp or something? He can go eat like look a at lot you. of shrimp at the buffet. I just want to look at that. You see how there is no that is just perfectly fried. It's it's yellow, it's got that golden color. There's no little black, those little black dots, that's uh, the breading and stuff that's burnt into carbon, and it leaves a really horrible taste. And that is just perfect. Oh, let me let, let me double check, make sure. Oh, man. <laughs> Not, there's no bad taste to add at all. Oh, oh, my look at how oh. white that is. Son of a gun. Oh. Oh. Well, that's like their coleslaw and their hush puppies, neither of which I like. But Catfish Cabin, they are awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Miss well, Clay, country girl in here said, oh, I smell bread in the oven. She's uh, got some homemade baked bread going. Miss Clay's country girl. That's right. Nothing like home baked bread. And the next trip I go down to, when I, I've got to get down there to... Uh, LG's and Michelle's and spend a couple of days with them. I will be doing a nobody food ever review. says they need to get to the Ohio. Yeah, you ever notice that? <laughs> nobody wants to ever go to Ohio. <laughs> I probably would have caught more fish if I would have stayed on the Ohio today. Apparently, that's what they're saying. Yeah. Uh, Curtis said the licking was on fire. Yeah, but yeah. ain't nobody believes a word Curtis says. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you did win this thing last year. That's right. I, I did, uh, I did, you, did you hear that you won it, Chad. I heard you I won. I technically won the last one, yeah. Uh, Want to be outdoors? We'll have to see if we can get Daryl make you an honorary belt. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I'm sure Freddie could come up with something. <laughs> Now I just realized why I'm not. We're not fishing very well. I had every intention of bringing my my uh, king's crown with me to fish oh. in, and I forgot it. Oh, yeah. that probably did it. Yeah. Hey, there's you, you jinxed yourself before you got out of the driveway. Because you got to dress for the position you want, not the one you have. There you go. Fishing with Steve Mosley in the house. How's it going, Steve? JG, if you could pop the scorecard up for us, we haven't done that in a little bit. Oh, I'm just Martin! Learning how. You got to tell me. I have had I have had the pleasure of having the breakfast sandwich. Um, Michelle made some homemade Italian food for dinner. Uh, let's see, solo layout. Here we go. So here is uh, here is day two. Here, wait, I gotta fix it. There we go. There we go. Uh, currently in first place, you got Bobcat and Fishizzle. They're at 75.82. Now, they're first place for today. Uh, 75.82. Kayak Mike, 35.5. Ryan Bortz is 17.9. Chad and D got the 5.3. And Chad and, uh, Chad and Chris and I Kelly did, 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 did. Sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, my oh, is cracking. My brain's not working. <laughs> my tongue is all tied. I'm too old for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Chris and Telly are at 2.5. They're on the board. And for total weight today so far, 137 pounds. It's a tough day out there today. And well, we do have way worse conditions this weekend than the last, so... And, and, Chad, how do you feel about this? I think that's one of the reasons I like what uh, I like what's what's starting to happen is we're doing the the bank and boat on two different channels next week. You know, they got the Live Fishing Tournament League going to be broadcast every tournament on different. So everybody's fishing the same time. 
uh, you know, they're fishing across the country, so you may have dis- different conditions, but everybody's fishing that one day. What, what, do you, what do you think about that? you think that's a good idea? I do think it might be a pretty decent idea. Absolutely, absolutely. Because uh, had we fished last weekend, the weather probably would have been better and we would have won. <laughs> With yeah, all those no. little thirty pounders that Ray was catching, would would not have held up to the high standards of one people that live in Kentucky and two Ohio River fishermen because we just are <laughs> the greatest Excuse me. anglers. Uh, <laughs> Randy, <laughs> my, my, good job my doing that with a straight face. <laughs> Randy, old gray hair Swain was saying, weather's no worse this weekend than last. He said just better fishermen last weekend. Uh, old gray hair, look, he, he's getting that Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's thingy. Old, he done old forgot what last week even was. <laughs> Lyle's saying, can someone please mute him? <laughs> oh, Pops, come on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You know what's really nice? You know what the really nice thing is, Stan? What's that? Chad? We're gonna leave we're gonna leave here and I, we'll probably there's a there's a seafood place up the road here for maybe for dinner. And then uh, we're gonna drive home and after a long hard drive home, I've got a tray, like I mean it is like this big. A tray of shrimp ready to eat. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> And it does come with cocktail sauce, too. Shut up, Chad. Wow. <laughs> Don't eat them now. <laughs> Green. <laughs> oh. You're good, Chris. Look at that view. Heck yeah. And you notice almost all the white caps are gone. The tournament's almost over, and the wind's stopping. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, you've got thirty-nine minutes. You can go catch a fish. As soon as we move this boat, the wind will start blowing. Uh, I can see the wind again already. Thank you, baby. Yep, wind back. Never mind. Here it goes. <laughs> uh, so Williams did ask me to please catch a fish, so you can stop talking. <laughs> We have moved to, we have fished 10 different spots. And another. Just an announcement. It's 2.22. We can continue with our regular scheduled program now. Oh my God, somebody mute him. <laughs> uh, Buck Williams is saying, D, please catch a fish so Chad stops talking. Greenwell was saying, uh, um, amen, Chad. If we can catch fish on the Ohio, Imagine what we can do on a good fishery. Uh, you know, it's funny. I mean, I've done well. I mean, I've caught some decent. We've caught some decent fish out of this, both of us, but not that many. This this lake does seem to get the better of us most of the time. Wait, look at this. Chris was just the saying about how the wind died. Really <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Man, that's tough fishing right there. I think the wind dang near blew Telly out of the boat. I saw her holding on to that. Uh, she was holding on to the rod rack to stay in the boat, I think. <laughs> ah. That is, I love it. Chris was like, yeah, look at this. The wind, look at the view. No. And now it's 80 miles per hour again. <laughs> <laughs> uh Fishing with bacon is saying everyone knows Kentucky fishermen can't catch fish. Ohio fishermen are the best. We got time out for that. <laughs> Trophy Seekers Outdoors saying four boats all trying to catch fish out of the same hole. Not the most productive idea. There's Rebel River Cats. Doug is out there. We'll be fishing with Doug and his son. They won the Hickory Heavyweight last year here on the James River. So they've had that belt for a whole year. Oh, man. Can you imagine if I get a hold of a championship belt? Y'all thought the Sturgeon pitcher was talked about a lot. 
But I digress. Did Stan you take the trophy home so you could stop claiming it? He did, but I reconfiscated it. <laughs> yeah, then his phone alert went off when Stan went and got it. Yeah, he had the motion detector on it. Uh, let's see. Pontoon Jody said it was almost the queen of the Tennessee. Yeah, Jody caught that monster fish. She still got the big fish of the tournament at just under 63 pounds. Great fish. She needed one more one more fish, one more 16-pounder, and sometimes it's just that kicker fish. That is the difference. You say a liquor fish? Kicker, kicker, kicker fish. Kicker. Kicker. I did. I got my voice cracking a little today. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got me, Chad. <laughs> oh man. Oh, biscuits. <laughs> there we go there we go there's uh oh come on now do you really think that looks like chat i can't believe they did really? that to you chad chad did you see that picture uh-huh i thought you did Oh, look. You are as adorable as ever. That's right. <laughs> In the cube. So, Sam. Yes, sir. So, this whole not catching fish stuff. So, you, you see what happened was. <laughs> Do you remember the Iron Cat boat tournament that you and I fished and we let Brian B. win it? Oh, of course. Yeah, I remember that one. I mean, basically... Yeah. I was the champion of the Tennessee last time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you see what happened was I started remembering it's nice to share. And uh, I figured I would let somebody else win. Well, to the community. And you know, yeah, we want Ray to stick around. Right, right. So, you know, I thought it would be nice. Yeah, that was kind of, you know, how we did that for Brian. You know, you sent me those rubber hooks that we were both using. and Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and uh, you know, look yeah. what it did for Brian's confidence, man. He won that, and it just his confidence just shot right up. You know, we were we were tired of hearing all the Brian B. Dinkins things, so you know right. that was really. And now look at him. Now he's co-host on the number one rated talk show. I mean, just yeah, uh, it doesn't you know, fish anymore. I will say he won so much. He basically he, he's just stopped fishing for like the yeah, last year yeah. and a half. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, caught a 70 pound fish and they just ruined him. That's awesome, <laughs> y'all. Really is. Tony says it's what had happened, was Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's got the whole book, he's got it covered already. Yeah. Look, Tony takes I know notes. I'm not as great as the Tony Harrison. Oh. I drop. <laughs> oh, um. Uh, Speaking of Brian, there he is there, Chad. He's saying it's lies, all lies. Okay, that's how effective you. that's how effective Chad and I were at selling that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I just yeah. hope him and E make up and you know E lets it takes him back out, lets him fish again one one day. <laughs> but it's been so long now, I don't even think E knows who he is anymore. <laughs> Daryl's saying it's getting really, really deep in here. And Daryl would know. <laughs> yeah, he knows all about wearing shorts, doesn't he? Wow. <laughs> not, the, not the day I expected. That's for sure. No, no, not at all. Six, I, I knew it was going to be a little Seven hour conditions. drive for a five pound fish. Woohoo! <laughs> but hey, but you got some good food. Yeah. That is true. Yep, you wouldn't have got that catfish if you didn't go. So, I meant the fried kind. Well, yeah, and that's what's like down here. You, can't, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to bump. They're not running anything. 
They're you can't track because the wind's blowing so freaking hard every which way, and you can't. I'm spin drifting. You'd be. That's what happened to us in the winter. God blues. knows where. We got out there. We got that one nice fish, and next thing you know, it was uh, sustained winds in the twenties, gusts of like forty. And you just you can't drift. You can't drag. You can't even really anchor because your boat's dragging Spinning. the base everywhere. Yeah, it's uh, it was tough. We, to we got the thirty minutes to go. Warning there. Thirty mm -hmm. minutes to go, boat anglers. I wonder if it doesn't work if there's too many people on screen. I I don't get it. Go over there and check on Captain Morgan. Let's see how Captain Morgan's doing. Talk to us, Morgan. What you doing, man? I'm telling you, I'm sitting here just uh, wasting time. <laughs> days and wasted nights. Yeah. We can't. We can't. Can you, couldn't can find a place to fish at all. I mean, well, everybody's have having a hey, problem. When you don't catch fish, you're gonna have to do a little dance. You're gonna have to sing or something if you can't catch. <laughs> you can't entertain these people. I don't know what the story is. Uh, I wish you, you it had been last be, weekend. This weekend. You know what, Captain? You must not be standing in the right pose. That's probably what it is. What? You're not standing in the right captain's pose. That's what it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It don't make no difference now. <laughs> I get blown over. <laughs> We've got uh, catfish sure. regulators out there. Sure. Uh, See there? Jody, Jody and I, great minds think alike there, Jody. Great minds think alike. Jody wants, hey, Jody wants you to do the captain pose. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I was wondering when this guy was going to try to come Wait back. Minute, I got I got to bring him up. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. Okay, Captain Morgan, you're off the hook. It made no right. difference. Nothing happened. Let's watch. No, come on. This would be perfect. Come on, fish. Bite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll uh, get four rods. Get him, get him, get him. I guarantee right. if he if he was to catch a fish right now, you'd have everybody in their boat. Fish on D. Cap fish oh, look on at that. D. Captain, it worked for the wrong boat, but it worked. Yeah, that's the best of my life. <laughs> the captain pose worked. Just happened to work on the wrong boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. House, everybody, everybody, mind your manners. Daryl's in the house. I'm glad to see that D finally convinced Chad to move to where the fish were. It's probably a little too little, too late. But What's that has done so that's it. How, that's how it works. You start complaining about catching fish, not catching fish, and you catch one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is probably their big, biggest fish of the day. I can tell by the way that that pole is bent. <laughs> Thank you, D, for giving us some little excitement this last thirty minutes because it's not like your husband has done anything but filled his mouth full of, well, lies and food today. So we might have doubled our score. Look at that! <laughs> oh yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Look, look, look at that! Six point two two. Randy, Randy, old gray hair Swain is saying, and Daryl's still wearing that god awful hat. Yeah, I was. I, I want to talk about this hat and, and a few things since you know we're right in the we're in the home stretch. That's right. That's right. Let them get this. This is the. What do you say, a nice fish, guys? What's up, Woody? Uh, guess, what, guess what, man? Woody's going to be doing tonight. Nine points. So nine point three four off of that. Nine point. Uh, four, there we go. Four. So Here, I can make him look real big. 
There you go. That just proves that D's twice the fisherman is Chad, because that one's twice as big as the one he caught. So we got Busy. catfish regulators out there fishing with Big Mike, Rebel River Cats. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Randy Swain was saying, quit crying. We had twice as much wind, and twice as much current, and no fish finder. Thank you, thank you. Oh, who's copying and Chad and Wayman now? <laughs> <laughs> good job, D. Glad that somebody can catch a good fish on that boat. <laughs> There's your score update. And here we go. So there it is. I mean, it's still a half. So we got 25 minutes left. Bobcat has still got the chance. He needs a 35 pounder. And he will be able to take a, take over the lead from uh, from Ray Ferguson. But we got a uh, Bobcat for Shizzle, seventy five point eight. You got Ryan Bortz. I'm sorry, uh, Kayak Mike at thirty five point five. Ryan Bortz at seventeen nine. Chad and D are now up to fourteen point eight. Uh, Chris and Kelly have put a couple fish in the boat. They're on the board. So we are now at. Uh, Total weight for the day of 146, almost 150 pounds for the day. What a shame. I thought we really had some ringers. So almost, oh, we got a catfish sumo, baby. Mike's saying something, but he's got it. He's muted. Oh. What you saying, Mike? I'm going over to Ryan. Ryan saw one. Oh, you're going to put your camera on him? Yeah. Wait a minute. You're going to do this for Ryan? Yeah, I mean, what's the score right now? 17? Yeah. If this looks like an 18-pound fish, he ain't going on camera. The camera's going <laughs> to get off, right? I mean, how do we know he didn't use a treble hook or something? Oh, man. you got to be kidding me. One toners for life. You gotta to to turn that camera around though. He's gone. If he lands it. Can you turn your camera or is it on a um once I'm, if all I right, go up right. here my towel go under the water. One I second. hear you, I hear you. I'll be Pontoon. I'll be up with him in ten seconds. Pontoon Jody says oh, I man, want that's some a, damn, that's a damn good one. I want some shrimp, but I'm sure I'll get a roller dog. <laughs> Your camera is flickering. Your camera is flickering. It's a good yeah. what? what? It's flickering. Yeah. Okay, we can see Mike. Hundred awesome people out there can watching. Go, can, you see can you can you lock right there? Yeah, the spot lock. Yeah. Oh no, it came off. Oh no, it's still it there. Came off? <laughs> what? Here, it. I'm going to take my phone off the holder, and I'm going to do it by hand for you guys. Still on? All right. You know how to keep them fish from coming off? 5.30. We Hook got them in three the minutes left. He's still on. He's still on. Bad it don't count. He's supposed to use his own camera. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think that was in the rules. Well, Daryl will do anything to keep a Kentucky boy from doing it again. Hey, did we see him? Did 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 he have on camera catching the fish? Yeah. Here oh comes. man. Sorry, Ryan, but you didn't have this on camera catching it. So look at the tail on this thing. Wow. I'm see him. I'm gonna go help him. I'm gonna run over his line. <laughs> hey, come on, fish. Come over here, buddy. Oh. Wow. He's got, there it's it in is. The it's in the net. In the monster net. Good job, Mike. That's Ooh. why you get that's why you get a big net right there. That's Uncle a good Jesus. one. Nice. You can't let me have no no wins. <laughs> Uncle Jeep said he got uh, called that Ryan's been holding back. Oh, wait, which side? Oh, you want me on that side? Okay. Oh, oh, you're you want oh you're going you want going slack water, okay. 
boy. You want to go throw it in that asshole's boat? <laughs> Say, hey, this is what we're fishing for. One ton fishing club. Great to see you. All right. Well, there's well, he better be. He better at least be buying you some dinner tonight. Mike. Is this this gun We're good here. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Staying on this side. All right. It'll probably be easier for me to spot lock over here. Let me know when you're spot lock so I can come over. Trying to. Says motor not found. I saw. Gone? Uh oh. Wore it out today. We're done. Oh, you lost your trolling motor, Bobcat? Yeah, batteries are dead. We done. That's right. Fishing with Big Mike is saying go over to the bass holes and tell them that we use what y'all catch for bait. <laughs> 20 minutes. Uncle Jeep is saying, oh, geez, I guess someone is going to be saying, who's your daddy after this live? Go ahead and pull the trouble. Why are you getting ready to weigh that? Let's talk about something. I'm going to use the excuse that uh, I'm, my line's not in the water right now. I'd be catching a fish. There you go, <laughs> there you go Mike. Hey, I don't know how Ryan's going to show the weight on, on camera. It must be shown on camera, Ryan. What are you going to do about that, brother? That's a nice fish. Yeah. He still has the bait in the mouth. Take off three pounds. <laughs> I saw it. 33 I see, even. I seen him shoving lead as he was going up through there. Uh, sorry, don't, don't do anything on don't the safe. Right, well, okay. right. 30, 33 even. 33 even. All right. So, Is it teared out? Oh, uh, yeah. It, lo it locked out. So take off the weight of the grippers. Oh, oh. You already had it? Okay, no. It's, yeah, it's 30. He tears it. Yeah, yeah, it's he got that at thirty three even. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure his grippers God. were thirty two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah. He he owes you he owes you uh a good um hearty <laughs> biscuit or something. You're gonna have to buy you a biscuit. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I thought I thought since Mike had to film it that he got at least like half the weight for his oh, total. There you go. Oh, did he? <laughs> Oh, I'm about. Oh, my whole bow was in the water. That was dumb. <laughs> yeah, don't try this. How much time we got left? Uh, it's two forty-two. All right, forty-two right now. Got to catch a seventeen-pound fish in eighteen minutes. There you go. There you go. So, Mike, you got right. this. So, all right. So we had some excitement there. <laughs> Ryan is up to hey, hey Stan. Let's talk about. Oh, no I've got a score update here, Stan. Look at that. Daryl shows up and like nobody wants him to talk, so everything's gonna start happening. <laughs> so there we go. Don't tell him our secret. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, we got a uh, Bobcat Sizzles at seventy-five point eight. Still, Ryan Bortz is now at fifty point nine. Kayak Mike thirty-five point five. Chat and D fourteen eight, and Chris and Telly are on board there. Here is the rankings. That moves. Uh, Ryan is up to sixth place. Bobcat and Fashizzle still in third. And there we go. So it's still anybody's game. There's eighteen minutes left. No, it's not. It's only one forty three. <laughs> <laughs> That's in that other time. Absolutely, absolutely. Great sportsmanship right there. And that's what it's all about. That was we've, fun. We've had a similar situation, and other people have uh, been nice enough to, to, to put it on camera for us. So. Hey, guys. Great yeah, job, Mike. We're, we're bumping with no trolling motor. All right. Hey, you got you're Brandon. starting a new trend. Brandon, you're starting a new trend. Brandon, I'm saying you got Brandon up at the front just with the paddle. No, he's bumping the motor in and out of gear at idle. 
<laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? Never give up. That's right. You never know. I thought maybe you had Brandon doing the Brian B up there paddling, trying to keep up with the, you know, speed. Okay, so Daryl, what did you want to? Hey, Stan, I don't know why they don't have your coal paddles in there. I know. The coal shovels are amazing. They were great. Yeah, they need to put a couple of those in the boat. So next Saturday is No Excuse Saturday, isn't it, Stan? The boats versus the bank fishermen. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we don't want to hear this excuse that the wind's too heavy or the water too fast or, you know. It just is what it is. Bring what you got. Go out there and get some fish. I want to tell you. Sick. And I'm, it's a great boat team. I'm not going to take away from the boat team at all. They got a great team out there. But I'm going to tell you something. The bank team has. I want. Let's just put it this way. They've got a dang top of the notch boat uh, bank fishermen that, that they recruited. Me. <laughs> Me. I'm a fishing <laughs> from the bank, baby. Uh, I don't think I don't think anybody has. Have we seen you bank fishing before? No, y'all have never seen me bank fish. I've got some spots baited up. I mean, looked out after, but I, I, I said baited up. I mean, look, I've looked after them and found me some good places. Took and went and took the chainsaw and cut places out. You know, the landowners got a little bad about it, but a couple hundred dollars calmed them down, so it's good. It's all good. Local sheriff said he wasn't taking me to jail, so we're good there. And so, hey man, hey man, we even got a couple of bank rods, and we got cat claw bank uh, bank rod holders. I mean, we're professional, buddy. So next week, and it's going to be. Can you tell how those rules are working, Stan? How the rules working? Well, we've yeah. got a. Uh, we it's got crazy. Something. It's a great process. Tell it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We got the bank team on two cents fish. We got the boat team is over on JG's. And the winner is going to be determined by, first of all, the single biggest fish from each team. So, you know, if, if my bank team, our bank team there can put together that 122 pound fish, and, you know, the boat team can only manage the 2.2 pound fish, well, there we go. The boat team has a point. I mean, the bank team has the point. Now, it, when it's uh, the next thing is the single biggest fish from each angler on the boat team versus the single biggest fish from each angler on the bank team. Again, whoever's got the most weight there, they get a point. So, again, when each angler on the bank team catches between, you know, an 80 and 122 pound fish, they're just going to be hundreds of pounds ahead of the, the, the boat team. He's so, dreaming. dreaming. We're going to blow our competition away, baby. We're going to blow our competition away. So y'all be there. And, and then, you know, the bank team is trying to make it a little fair for the boat anglers. So they're allowing the third point is whichever team catches the most fish. So they get one point for every fish that's caught. So whichever team catches the most fish, that is the third point. So whichever team wins at least two out of the three, they are going to be the winner. And, you know, they, the bank team is saying, all right, we'll let the boat guys catch a 122 of those uh, those two-pounders, but we are winning the rest of it. That's right. Wow. Can you believe yeah. that? Where yeah. does, all, does that just come out of your head, or you just you living in a fantasy land? No, that's what Daryl told me. Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, and by the way, mm -hmm. also on that same day, I got my hat will be burned. Will be burning. JG, it came out of somewhere, but it wasn't out of the. You know what? I've had, had to put up with. I've had to deal. I've had to deal with Daryl for weeks, man. I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is my show. Shut up. I'm gonna have to go to therapy. Chad, Thank you know you. a good therapist. I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, None of these guys. I can tell you also, that. Uh, also, next Saturday. Woody will be shooting me five times with, a, with paintball. a paintball gun, and he's putting it in an ice chest to make oh my balls God. part of the rock. Go, Woody! Don't try this at home. <laughs> it's like, go, Woody! <laughs> well, that's myself, Woody, Stan 3, will be diving in the end, at the end, diving into the river, because that was the deal we made if we got over $5,000. 
And Stan's supposed to be doing it with a pacifier in his mouth, wearing a pair of pins, singing, what was it? I forgot what all that. <laughs> oh, oh, the good ship, Lolly. I, I never yeah. thought that we were going yeah, we'll, we'll to get uh, past We'll have to figure out when he's going to do that because uh, he's got to host a tournament. So we'll get all he his He lives right on the side of the river. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about 15 minutes from the river. But, uh, yeah, we will we'll definitely do it. Maybe I'll be able to do it on uh, – Maybe I can maybe I can get out to the water on that next on the sand day after Saturday. Oh no, that's Easter. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure we'll it out. out. Don't, but anyway, well, it's gonna be guys, tell everybody about this fishing show. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. Burning stuff. Stuff's gonna be burning up. Stuff's gonna get shot. Stuff's gonna be flying into the river. And, and then uh, gonna what, be a tournament also. And what that was from is that was from the uh in all seriousness, Daryl, uh, great job with putting the uh, putting the benefit together, the benefit raffle. I know a lot of hours put into that and uh, talking with a lot of people and getting everything set up. And uh, has, is your hand uncramped yet from all those tickets you had to write? Finally. On? Oh, but one other thing, and I, I apologize, I forgot. Danny Stone will be cutting his beard off with a pair of bait scissors. Also, I forgot that. That's right. And it's going to be fun. I mean, we are going, you know what? Come, hey, come for the sh for the fishing. Stay there for the show, baby, because it's going to be right. a show. We're going to have a good time. Hey, they, they may not be the first firework go off, but there's going to be some hot flames of, of blowing out there for sure. It's going to be fun. So, so everybody share that out. Share. I'm sure you've got that up on, already on your page, Stan. Yep. Yep. Okay, guys, we did share that out and let's see if we can get 200 people because this is going to be a great show. I mean, it's going to be and a fun show. There seems to be, if I'm remembering right, you know, we got stand day in the morning, but then there's something, there's some show tomorrow. We're supposed to do something yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow oh. night. It's 7 p.m. Eastern time. Guard Dog LLC. Excuse Yeah, Guard Dog LLC, the automatic fish, fish hooker. We'll be having a show, and we've got this old codger. He's he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> he might be talking about winning some some tournament. Mister Stan too will be in the house. No, oh, it's gonna be a good show. That's right. <laughs> we t we say welcome to the dog pound. He'll be in the dog pound with us. Hopefully, Stan three will get back in time to be in the dog pound with us. We're gonna have a great time, a great show. Hey, when me and Stan mix it up. <laughs> and we'll be talking never. about uh, let me tell you what what me and woody will be doing tonight you remember we used to own a uh, wrestling show we sold that well we're going to watch that show tonight with the, the guy that we sold it to so we're going to be going to the wrestling show tonight we might even talk about some of that on sunday night what well, we saw you oh, never know you never know i can talk old school wrestling yeah, we might do. We might, but anyway, we're going there tonight. Might be some, might be some hurt feelings when I get over there to my <laughs> We could have a storyline going. We don't know, but anyway, Uncle Jeep says no one has ever seen Daryl bank fish. He usually has a hood over his head and a getaway driver <laughs> when he's fishing banks. It's amazing what he can catch with a ten aught hook when the vault door is open. There we go. What's JG doing production there? Look at him. Man, you, you just speak about something, and JG's right on top of it. The best co host. Down, in that's right. Because we've got to get somebody to do a co host award for sure. I've got my great co host, Mr. Randy, over there on uh, the Dog Pound, the Dog uh, Guard Dog LLC. Yeah. That will also be broadcast through my channel, also. So, but we'd rather you go to, uh, to uh, Guard Dog LLC. They're trying to grow that channel, but it'll be also going through my channel, too. So it's going to be a fun night for sure. So there is that. We have these. And we got the the next. Uh, as of right now, it looks like Ray Ferguson. We still got six and a half minutes left. As of right now, it looks like Ray Ferguson coming in on his first tournament. Yeah. And bringing home the belt. I was really hoping that, the, that us uh, live streamers were going to this is actually the second one. He got he did he had a bad bad show in the last tournament. He fished the last tournament, but it didn't work out so good for him. And he said, "I gave him such a hard time in the last tournament." Uh, he said all he wanted to do was beat me this year. 
or this tournament. <laughs> he, he said, I don't care if anybody beats me the second time, he, uh, the second tur- or day. Long, I beat you, and that's all that mattered. <laughs> Did, didn't it, didn't everybody beat Daryl this time? Uh, no, no, no. You're still behind me, Mister. Oh, Chad. Well, you yeah, you was updating the sheet Ch- during Chad, the off week. Chad, you might want to get your weight up. Oh my God! Somebody mute him. Get your weight up. <laughs> See, but I gotta uh, I gotta say the general consensus, even in chat, was like, uh, "Yep, I didn't care if I won. I just wanted to beat Daryl." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got uh, Woody. Woody and Daryl's at uh, let's see fifth place, sixty point oh five. Don't be playing no games with us, Chad. Where's Chad? Where's he at? How many? How many people's fish have you stolen and put and given to him? You're in tenth place, Junior. There's some conspiracy crap going on here because there ain't no way, Junior, that Daryl <laughs> is in fifth place. <laughs> Oh, Woody's in fifth place. That makes more sense. Junior, Junior, you're in tenth place. Know your role. Hey, top ten. Woo, baby. <laughs> you be. I like these thought over there. there you go. get some rah rahs out. Five minutes left. We got five minutes left. Yeah, we're going to play that. We got five minutes left. Five minutes. I'm tired of people oh. not taking me serious. <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah uh oh 700 pounds of catfish caught in the two tournaments two days of the tournament so <laughs> definitely definitely a great showing uh the next one is going to be june 29th seven to midnight right daryl yes ma'am sir oh shucks Aren't you stop special? it? Stop it. You're you're just a pudding. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, I, you know food <laughs> beat no Chad over there though, didn't he? Got the gathering coming up, guys, May seven May seventeenth through the nineteenth. Let Daryl talk about that just a few minutes. Yeah, we'll just talk about that in a minute. Yep, May seventeenth through nineteenth. Free food, a free longest fish contest. First place is going to pay one thousand dollars. Second place, five hundred dollars. Third place, two hundred and fifty dollars. We'll have thousands of dollars of door prizes, guys. This is, like I said, a place where friends meet. We're going to all gather. Uh, this is uh, going to be the greatest thing, uh, greatest time we've had so far. And we all know Mr. Kenneth. Uh, we wanted to honor him, so every one of these will be in honor of him. So, guys, come out with us. Get you a hotel room. Get you a bed and breakfast. Get you a campsite. Just get there is all I can tell you. I've got five campsites that's down on the river. We've got about a quarter mile of the well, I, I, lake, I guess. Chickamauga Lake. We've got about a quarter mile of fishing for everybody uh, mm. that I booked up so we could make sure and have plenty of room for people that wanted to bait fish. So come out. Have a great time. We're going to have a great time and lots of barbecue and hot dogs. Yeah, and if you want a uh, gathering t-shirt, you can uh, pre-order those from um bobcat he'll uh he won't he's not shipping them but i think if you know someone going or you can pre-order them and pick those up there uh while you're there there you go let's see we, we're even gonna have a wedding there we're gonna we're gonna marry old a burrito and oh uh gray old gray man uh, gray old man we're gonna marry them right there on <laughs> they're gonna come and we're gonna give them a a, a wedding reception i told him i said why y'all won't have your own wedding chest? We're gonna have barbecue. We're gonna have free drinks. Two minute warning. We got the two minute warning. And uh, you know, Pepsi Cola is uh, sponsoring us. We will give us all the drinks. You know, you got a contest you can enter the uh, the Monster Rod Holders Longest Fish Contest and uh, win a thousand dollars for your honeymoon. Why would they want to go get married somewhere else on Saturday? Come to uh, the Big shout out to Monster Rod Holders there. Uh, can't say enough good stuff about Steve and the whole team at Monster Rod Holders. Yeah, he came on board and uh, really made it help us where we could gather up the money and help finish out giving us the money for that, uh, for the longest fish contest. Gave us a place at CatCon to let people know about it and doing raffles and stuff. If it wasn't for him, we would not be doing this longest fish contest and giving away seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. 
And speaking of CatCon, tickets are already on sale. They've got an amazing new... Uh, I have the link out tomorrow morning. All the other videos, I didn't put it in this one, but the... Uh, Oh, just kidding. Oh, my bad, oh, dude. Come me. on. You got me. We got 40 seconds. Uh, big shout out to Steve Douglas and Hervé. CatCon was the biggest and best one yet. And this new one is going to be even better. But uh, check out the tickets. They have the VIP passes. They now have a, uh, a package above that. So you can use, again, you can still use code uh, two stands over there. And that'll save you some money on the CatCon tickets. Munch the rod holders. They blow the competition away, baby. Absolutely. Yeah. All Five, right. four, three, two, one. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a ball game, kitties. My bad, there it is. Got a little catfish going in there for you. Yeah. Now there it is. Right. It is over. Right. First. So let's see. Who wants to go first? Chad, you're right there. What would you like yeah, to sure. say? Well, my, my dreams of being a back to back champ have, have been squashed. Should have should have went to Chattanooga. Um uh, great great job to everybody. It, you know. Fishing conditions suck, but at least, you know, I think pretty much everybody had a great day, caught some fish. Congratulations to Ray Ferguson for all of his little fish that he caught. And it was, you know, I want to catch little fish like Ray. Yeah, just it was just a pain in his side to catch nothing but 30 pound plus fish. I feel for him. But great job, everybody. Thanks for having us. Maybe we'll, we'll do this again sometime. Congratulations. Well, if you, if you are game. available, if you're available next Saturday, you come on up and fish the boats with us on the boats. I'll let you know. I got to see what the, uh, next weekend is. Yeah. You can always pull a Brian B and say, okay. And then say, no, I can't come. And the wind's blowing. It's raining. It's too sunny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brian B said he already got his hotel for cat. Trolling motor. Trolling motor. <laughs> right. D, does HR yeah. want to add anything? Thanks for having us. Yeah, had well, fun. Boy, good to see you. Congratulations yeah. to everybody, and I hope you had fun. Man, it's some fantastic looking rods right there. I'm telling you what. Wow. That back is the rods. wow factor. They're nice. Real nice. Well, catching the biggest fish on the boat again, D. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what's going on? Back back to the next. Tony, <laughs> <laughs> <Somebody> mute him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, James, Jody. Yeah. Uh, we're all done we're here. Really you guys look like y'all went at it pretty hard. Do you anything you want to say to the people? Yeah, great job to the people that caught fish. I never even got a bite today. I hit 10 different places. I don't know. It just wasn't meant to be. Uh, well. It wasn't because you weren't trying. You might, you might be. A, why don't you guys pack it in and go, uh, go get you some sleep. Nah, I gotta go lay down somewhere. Well, we appreciate the effort. Thank you, thank you guys for all you do. Nah, like I said, we tried. Good, good show though. I'm glad I got somebody caught stuff. Absolutely, man. Congratulations to uh, Bobcat and the Zizzle. They did good. Well, uh, maybe next time. <laughs> all right, well, good to We're see you, here. Jody. All right, all right. Yeah, actually, nice JJ, you want to pop up the score one more time so we can everybody can see what the final was today and what the final was for the uh, Catfish Fever and Outdoors. Congratulations, everyone. Awesome job, Ray Ferguson, the new champ. So here's the overall weight. Thank you, thank you. That? Yeah, we'll do that one because that'll show everything. Got some wind somewhere. I'll find it. All right. While you're looking for that, JG, it's not. Uh, the thing's not up yet. We'll go over here to uh, Captain Morgan. Sorry. Go ahead. You're good. 
Uh, anything you want to add before we get out of here, Cap? I got you. Here you uh, go. Thanks for having me, and I got to try my best. What? I'm not good at these kind of days. <laughs> well, hey, Captain, you know thank you for the pose earlier. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. That's right. The Captain Post did work. It just worked for D, so. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you for all you do, Captain. Appreciate you seeing out there. Appreciate I'll you see you in the next one. Us. Yep, good to see you. All right. Now let me go back to my uh, scoreboard here. Congrats, everyone. Here we go. So, uh, so Ray is the winner uh 95 pounds jody second place 84.4 bobcat for shizzle had the most weight for today at 75.82 they took third place followed by the the yak swains yak shore was uh fourth place 74.35 woody and daryl down there rounding out the top uh five at 60.05 ryan bortz had the two nice fish 50.9 ed ed uh ed jenkins 42.5 with his son cole kayak mike 35.5 he had that one big fish jumped right out there 21 minutes in and then just couldn't find him after that catfish hunters was 24.3 chad and d 14.8 rounding out the top 10 chris and telly did get on the board and there we go so congratulations there uh oh. so let's see who is right there that's why mike we got mike mike hanging in there anything you want to add mike let me get him on mute. i don't think that's have me uh which more fish hooked up we could have been in clinic those first four hours if you know <laughs> fish decided to actually get the hook in their mouth not just the bait but yeah we're out of here i think ryan's behind me there awesome oh. you guys gotta be exhausted yeah my left arm's gonna feel it but I have about 12 burgers to go eat, so looking forward to that. <laughs> I was wondering you, if you were going to do the burgers with a couple of pizzas. Do you think <laughs> 12 burgers would do it? Uh, but whoops. thank you, Mike. Uh, make sure you all check out Mike's. Uh, the, uh, uh, we have had the links in there before for the kayak cat fit. The, oh, wow. the kayak tournaments. Yep. Yep. Uh, Fishing Chaos app, um, online catfishing tournaments. There is the Facebook page. So, thank you, you guys. Was there. Oh, thank you, was there. For, uh, From there, it didn't go to there. <laughs> All right, man. When you get that kayak loaded up, thank you so much, uh, Mike, for coming in and fishing with us today. It means more than you uh, than you know, and uh, we'll uh, keep supporting you and your uh, efforts out there and everything that you do. And really appreciate what you do for the catfishing world. You're awesome. Thank you guys. That means a lot. Thanks, uh, man. We'll catch Carol, up. What, what are they? What is uh, Brian, Ryan? Uh, what is Ryan supposed to do with the belt? Ryan's gonna have to get it over to his big daddy, uh, Ray. We'll figure that one out. I'll talk to him uh, after the show. All right, all right. Uh, Chris, we'll, hooks and hammocks. Anything you want to add? <laughs> You're muted, that. Chris. We love it. We love it down here. Can you hear me? Yep, yeah, gotcha. And we we love coming down here. We'd come down here even if there wasn't a tournament, but come down here and be part of something like this is a lot of fun. So thanks again for letting us do it. Uh, you know, congratulations to Ray, and can't wait till the next one. And we're going to River Drifters. If anybody in the area wants to join us, we'll be there. <laughs> awesome. There you go to River Drifters. Cheers. Thank you, Chris and Telly. Appreciate you being out there. And all the links are out in the description. Bobcat, I think that brings us to you. Howdy, howdy. Well, almost. You were right there. Uh, hey. Yeah, we tried. We did our very best. I mean, considering the conditions today, with the wind, we, we didn't want to leave the dam. Bye wasn't on fire up there, but hey, man, we tried our very best. And we had fun uh, competing against some some good anglers. Uh, congratulations, Ray. You know, best years, man. 
there you go. And uh, uh, thank everybody for all the hosts for hosting today, JG and you, Stan, and uh, yes, sir. And oh, first and pleasure. foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior for saving my soul. Without Him, I'd be a be a wretch of a man. There so, you go, uh, sir. You wouldn't like me very much at all, old old Bob. <laughs> well, amen to that. God bless everyone in chat, and uh, love you guys, all of you. The whole community is just awesome. Well, yeah. And Bob, we love you too. And I, I know I speak for everybody. It does all of our hearts good, and hopefully yours too, to be back out there today. We're oh, glad man, yeah. to see you back out. I mean, what I went through just seven months ago, I mean, I am so blessed to be back out here doing what I love. I mean, I, I don't, when I think about how close I come to not being here, it makes it all that much sweeter. That's the truth. Yes, Brother, sir. don't get any better than that, does it? Nope, right. it don't. Well, God bless you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Bless you. Thank you. All right, see you, Brandon. Daryl, thank you, thank you for allowing JG and I to uh, be part of this great tournament, and uh, I hope that we, uh, I hope that we did justice for the uh, King of the Tennessee tournament. Absolutely, great job, and that's why I ask you to do it. And uh, hopefully, you'll be willing to do it on the next one because that uh, I plan on fishing it, and uh, hopefully, we'll have enough for two channels so both of you can host it. And, Hey, hopefully I can win one of these belts. I'll go. I got started. I ain't gonna do it, and I can't even win one. So at least I beat Ryan Bors. At least I mean, you know, <laughs> if anybody needed to be beat, it was Ryan. So. I hope you feel real bad. Hey, y'all did. Oh, Ryan, that's right. Ryan never even made it to the end and tried to claim a fish after he didn't even prepare enough to keep a good charge battery. Can you believe that? What what a loser! How the professional, the, the professional kayak angler. I can't believe it. Yeah, no, but uh, appreciate everybody that participated. Thank you to our sponsors, uh, Catfish Sumo. Daniel's an awesome guy. If you guys want any uh, Catfish Sumo bait uh, tackle, use uh, ESO ten and you can get ten percent off. And always remember free shipping uh, for anything you buy through them also. So. And don't forget the sumo spoons. Anybody out there that's on the uh, any of the tidal rivers that have the hickory shad run and the shad run right now, those sumo spoons, are they're great for hickory shad, but, I mean for uh, skipjack, but they're also great for that shad run that's doing right now on, on the East Coast here. So yeah. check out the out, sumo spoons. Yeah, and you just put out braid and mono at a reasonable price, guys. I've just started using it, so I can't make a penny on it yet. But uh, I'm going to fish for a few months, and I'll let you know what I think of it because I'm going to be straight <laughs> up and honest with you. There's some things that I don't do like about catfish so and I found one thing I didn't like. So you know, I, I, I well, straight up with things, and I and Daniel appreciates me for that. So we've I, always, you know, that's the big thing we're trying to trying to show right now is uh, brotherhood before a brand. We're loyal to the brands that we that we represent, but you're not going to like everything. And nope. so, you know, you're going to use some different things out there. So, uh, with that being said, don't forget about, uh, Daryl's show tomorrow night. Going to be the best, amazing. <laughs> one of the best guests out there myself. And by, by me, I mean me. <laughs> <laughs> and you might have stand three there too. And uh, stand JG, in the morning. JG, anything you want to add before we get out of here? Oh, well, I just appreciate y'all having me. I hope I did a pretty good job for you. You know, I'm uh, learning the uh, tools and uh, how to do some production work here and, and working on my hosting skills. And, uh, you know, I, I think the main thing is uh, just keep it real and keep it, you know, keep it moving and hope everybody you know, did have a good time. It's, it's it's a long term. It's six hours a really long time to uh, keep folks' attention. But, you know, hopefully you uh, had it going on the television and while you were doing other things at the house and, and uh, you know, we'd ring the cowbell when we'd uh, get a fish <laughs> on. And so hopefully everybody uh, enjoyed it. I know I did. I'm glad I was here. And a uh, uh, big thanks to uh, Daryl Catfish Sumo. Uh, Daryl is responsible for bringing up some of the uh, real big-time pro anglers. Ray Ferguson, uh uh, definitely uh, came on because of Daryl and Daryl's a uh, uh, really good marketer and we appreciate everything you do for the catfish community Daryl Daryl is a uh, stellar at taking care of folks that are in need and we really appreciate you Daryl and thank you well I, 
you know, with everybody saying all that, there's not much I got left to say. So I'm going to say, I've got, to say. I, you know, I got a little something to say. We'll see you tomorrow morning on stand day, nine to noon. We'll see you tomorrow night on, uh, on Daryl's show and over at guard dog. With that being said, deuces, we are out of here. We're going to get the music going and we'll be on. Check us out. JD, check us out. We appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.